and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome. Looks like Mr. Metal Dave had a winner's choice last night. Mr. Jason Hurts in the room. How are you? How are you? How are you? Guess who's here? Mr. Robert Delaney. Come on in here, Mr. Robert Delaney. The phony pony, brothers. That's right. Famous Robert Delaney. My goodness gracious. And we got all kinds of stories to tell. Um, there, Mr. Robert Delaney's in here. He's going to be leaving tomorrow morning. He's been here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He'll be heading back. Tim Hall in the house. Boom goes the dynamite. I think we were talking. What were we talking about him earlier? Um, yeah, we were talking about him earlier. How you doing, brother? How you doing, brother? Mr. Robert Delaney's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, phase three, no, show three of the week with Mr. Delaney is right here at Diecast TV. The fun starts now. Daddy Magic in the house from Ohio. How you doing, kids? How you doing? Wow, wow, wow. If you haven't been here in the last couple of weeks, we've been having our guest host here is Robert Delaney, the famous phony pony, uh, their famous drag racer. Uh, his, him and his dad, he used to race with the snake and mongoose. We've had all kinds of cool things. Jason says hello. Say hello to Robert Delaney, brothers. I'm um, there. We've had all kinds of crazy stories in here. He was here a couple weeks ago. He's been here three days this week. And let me tell you, every time I go to dinner with him, we hear more and more of his great past and his great racing legend career. I'm um, there. And let me tell you something. When we put up uh, racing cars, it's pretty cool to have the story behind it because uh, Robert Delaney knows these men personally, absolutely personally. Nicholas River says, hey, Rick. Hi, Robert Delaney. I'm um, there. He's from uh, Winterpeg. Uh, there now if you go if you go as far north as you possibly can go all right where there's magnets don't work uh compasses don't work you got to go further up all right. <laughs> all right above the tree line where animals don't even live right nothing moves because it's all absolute zero that's where nicholas rimmer lives up the, that's nicknamed winter peg uh, oh, it's winnipeg man. but uh, the only place i've ever ever experienced minus 54 degrees let me tell you about minus 54 degrees you breathe in like that you know, freeze together. <laughs> There's Cody Munger, Thomas Mattis Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we got killer cars in here. We're going to get into the storytelling, and we got some cars going up here. We got some cool things on there. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's get the clock cars up here. There's a camera number one. Let's get camera number one in the house. Camera number one in the house. Check it out, check it out. Whoo, brothers. Oh, what do we got here? Now, you were telling me about this Tommy Evo character, um, NHRA, that he, you know, I'm a television guy. And, uh, and then he actually helped put, you say NHRA on TV? He helped put drag racing on TV. TV Tommy Ivo, he promoted dra the drag racing NHRA circuit just about all over the country. And he got several different channels to promote it. Wow. John Sisko's in the house. Bring up the rock walls. All right, Mr. Lady, where, where were you ever at Island Dragway in Great Meadows, New Jersey? I, that's what I was just reading. I don't believe I've ever been to that. You've side. never been to that one? Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, was, you, it a, was it an HRA or IHRA or NHRA track? John, was it an HRA, IHRA, or NHRA that track on there in the island, Great Island, Island Red Dragway in Great Meadows, New Jersey? Now, tell me about Tommy Ivo and his car. Like what? So he was a drag racer, but he sounds like a TV promoter, too. He, he pretty much was a TV, TV promoter. But he would run around with Snake and Mongoose and all them others, and he was just as competitive as, it, as all the rest of them. Yeah. All right. And I got, we're going to put a couple on there. Let's get this on the block. Let's get this on the block. Ten on the bid. How about a ten? I, I made that assumption. Ten on the bid. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not my car. I looked, I looked at Mr. Delaney. He nodded his head. We're good. Give me a ten on this. Uh, the great Tommy Ivo, TV Tommy. That's right. There's his dragster right there, engine in the back. Ah, uh, there we've been showing some great stories, racing stories. There it is. If you want to pick that one up, throw a 10 on the board, and we'll get that one on the board. We've got all kinds of super treasure ones back here. We've all kinds of great uh, 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 oil cans. Are these yours? These oil cans? Uh, there, what's that? Bizarro. Look at this oil can. The Bizarro. Now, I've seen the Bizarro a couple times. NHRA, Don Garland set 200 mile per hour, rec mile per hour record there. Oh, there. So that's pretty cool. It's an NHRA track. John Sisko says... Tell me about the Bizarro. What's going on with this uh, cool and custom series, this Bizarro? Do you know anything about this well, backstory? That's, that's some of them customs. Of, I really don't know which one made it. I don't think it was Chip. But you think it was Chip Foose? I don't think so. You don't think so? 
Are there anybody know about this Bizarro? There's a nice uh, oil can back here. It's a custom by one of those customizers. The Bizarro in the house. All right, so we have that one. And we also, oh, I love the Duesenberg. Oh, I know, if Straight Shooter's here, he'll tell you about the Peterson Museum, this Duesenberg probably in there, right? The 32 Duesenberg SJ. That's a cool little old car. Nice, love these old cars. Right up Daddy Magic Sally, brother. Right up Daddy Magic Sally, who to bid? Let's get some cars sold. Let's get some cars sold. Let's get her going. Let's get her flowing. I'm littered with super treasure hunts back here also. But let's play. Does Chad Howard own this Volkswagen? <laughs> Does Chad Howard open since 1964, says John Cisco. Aye, aye, aye. Look at that. Look at that. This is the Volkswagen Beetle, the 187. Um, there. Now, there's a couple. Tell me about these 187s. Now, we haven't seen these 187s in Hot Wheels. Um, they only came out like a little bit, didn't they? They yeah, don't really even focus on them. That's that all they ran in. That's all they ran. And there was, they were popular, though. People oh, do yeah. like them. People all right, really people. Like them. I got five on the bud. Now, let's, let's, let's take a look. It's Cody Munger out of Minnesota. Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minneapolis. What am I talking about? I speak for a living on television. I should be able to forward, form some words, you know what I mean? <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. Five on the bug. What's that bug worth, really? It's probably about a $10, $15 piece. Probably a $10, $15 piece. Who'd like the bug? Who likes the bug? Come on, come on. Let me get the other camera set up. We got the cameras going on here. This is from Robert Delaney's collection. And we've been helping the brother out. We've been helping the brother out. He'd like to sell some of his collection. He's got a, a few medical bills to pay. And uh, we're helping the brother out. Let's get this out of 10. Can we get this out of 10, please? How about a 10? Let's go. It's a, it's a Spectre Flame paint. It looks kind of Spectre Flamey, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So did these, these guys actually take the, uh, you know, I remember this one. I remember the uh, Bone Shaker. I remember the Plymouth. A GTX in here. There was like eight or nine of these things, wasn't there? I think there was a total of ten. Total of ten of these. That's right. And I think there were. Really, and there was a Chase too. Which one was the Chase? The Chase was the Volkswagen. It was the bug? What was the difference between the Chase and the? Do you remember the difference between the Chase and the? I don't right off the bat. I know oh. there was a blue one. Is this not the Chase? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Is this not the Chase? Hey Tim Hall, is this the Chase of this one? Who can tell me? Uh, Red Eye. Uh, uh, Rolling easy wheels, are you in the room? Are, are, this might be the chase. I think this might, we're looking it up right now. I think this might be the chase because I believe, uh, does it come signed? Yes, Jason Hurts, he will sign these. No chase on those. Thanks, Mikey. Thanks, Mike Young. All right, so there's just two different color beetles. Thanks, Mike. Mike, uh, Mike jumped in there. Um, they said there was no chase on these. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Who'd have been, who'd have been? Now, if you like, hey, hey, Chad Howard. <laughs> uh, thank you, Chad, for joining us. Uh, does Chad Howard own this 187 Volkswagen Beetle? I'm looking for a $10 to get her flowing. I'm looking for a $10 to get her going. It's probably worth a little bit more than that, but let's see if somebody gives me a 10. Now, we've been digging through Robert Delaney's collection, and we have found some very interesting pieces. Now, this is a more modern piece, but it is an NHRA piece. Thank you very much, Cody Collins. Tell me about this sucker here, this NHRA uh, National Hot Rod Association. That's a great little gasser there. What do we got here? Well, M2 finally done, some, done it right, and they, they got the right cars with the right trucks in the right era for the NHRA. Wow. So When so, I seen that, I could not find it anywhere, and I had some help when, from a fella on, out of Diecast TV. A fella out uh, of Diecast TV. I name his name. Don't name his name. All right. But he he did send that to me. Of course, I had to pay for it. But All right. So what do you want for this NHRA gasser in the truck here? I'd have to take about $30. How about a 30 on this? How about a 30 on this? It's a pretty cool one. NHRA. There's Metal Dave. How you doing? Metal Dave. Metal, Metal Dave is in the house. You going to join us? Uh, yeah. You going to hop in? Yeah, if you need me to. Yeah, I'd like you to do a little bit. I'd like you to do a little bit. I want you to work with uh, Robert Delaney a little bit. Uh, they work a little bit together. There it is. Who did it? 30 on this one. I love the gasser on there. What is that, a 57? Got a 57, 57 Chevy back there. 57 Chevy and 58 uh, Cameo pickup. 58 Cameo pickup, 57 Chevy with the trailer. What I love, you showed me a video. Uh, you were showing my brother and I a video uh, on the on the on the race car tracks. Right. They don't just do drag racing. They do they, they do this sort of show right. where they line up all the cars and they rev them all at the same time, basically deafening the entire audience. But the but the vintage cars were pushing them in, right? right? Tell me about that. What was that like? It's called Crackle Fest. Crackle Fest. And they're held all across the country at major tracks, and it's it's a really a sight to go see. You see all these old, old drag cars and the push cars that pushed them back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. 
Whew. It, it's a matching pair, and what they'll do is they'll come up the starting line, they'll turn around, and they'll park on the drag strip cat corner across from each other, pointing towards the stands. And everybody will crank up the motors, and it's just sitting there, and they'll rev them up a little bit. It's, it's, it's so loud and so powerful, you feel the ground shaking underneath. <laughs> and if you're sitting in the stands, I mean, you're just vibrating in the stands. That's got to be as exciting as the races, I got to tell you. It is. It is so good. Hey, Metal, have you ever been to a Crackle Fest? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get the right button. I'm pushing I mean, sold here. Let me... Don't they have those just up the road, uh, you know, behind the... Uh... Gas station there? And oh, no, those, those are crack fest. Oh, those are crack fest, not a crackle fest. It's very different. Yeah, 30 right. up the bit, 30 yeah, up yeah, the yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Metal Dave, make it funny. I got felon in the house. Check it out, check it out. 30 on the bit. Go, brothers. Go, brothers. Aye, aye, aye. Let's put some uh, drag racers in here. What do I do here, Metal? He's got a bunch of drag racing cars in here, and uh, he's got stories about all of them. <laughs> so we'll get him, we'll put him up here in the loose room here. We'll put him up in the loose and let uh, Mr. Delaney rip on these. Uh, let him go on there. Pick one of these. Uh, we'll pick one of these drag racers. We got it going. Here comes Felon. Let's go. Thirty on the bid. I got Felon on the deal. I got Felon on the steal. Check it out. Check it out. Derek Garcia. How you doing? How you doing? Thirty bones in a basket. Well, there's the crackle fest right here. I'll show it to you again. You gonna put it sideways? We'll show it to you again. All right. Put pause that. Pause that, brother. All right, I'll show you this one. What was the Hertz hauler? What was the Hertz hauler? The hauler the, for the Hertz on this. What was the Hertz hauler? Felon's asking. I don't remember. You don't remember? The Hertz hauler? Yeah. He's thinking about it. Uh, Thomas Mattis, Metal Days, I, I did all the mess last night, but did not get invoiced for it. Uh, on there, uh, Thomas Mattis on there. And Metal Dave is thinking about what's the Hearst hauler also. Well, you know what I didn't do? I didn't, I, when I get to leave, I'm gonna put the leave, uh, I'm gonna put the Twitch up here if I can. All right, check it out, check it out. Sold, sold, sold. Here is the video, brothers. Let me check Thomas. All out. right, check it out. Same hall bit 31. Thank you. I don't have the video. Hold on. Sorry about that. I am missing. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Tim Hall bit 31. Check it out, check it out. Hold on. So private messages, Darren Swanson, on their private messages. Check it out, check it out. All right, my friends. All right, so hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Let me get my Twitch up here. I miss, I missed the missed a bit again. I don't have the Twitch live on the front of me here. Let me just double check. So, uh, Chad, uh, Derek Garcia, I had a thirty-one dollar bid come in. It was not on my board. Be fair to him at thirty-one. Okay, thank you, brother. Thirty-one on the bid. I'll open it up and again. I'll open it up again. Here we go. Thirty-one on the bid. Tim Hall's got the deal. Tim Hall's got the steal. It's all good. We got it, brother. Thirty-one on the bid. Thirty-one on the bid. I got the Twitch open now. And as soon as I come off, Metal Dave will be taking over. I wanted him to get a little experience working with Robert Delaney also sharing sharing some stories because, you know, Metal Dave, um, their Metal Dave is, uh, works for the Indy 500 Raceway, the uh, Indianapolis 500, up there, Indy, Indy Speedway, right? Um, there. So you guys together will probably have some good stories, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking to myself, and it'd probably be good stories together. 31, Tim Hall has it, brothers. Let's go. All right, give me a, give me a drag strip there. Give me a drag strip there you want to talk about there. Which one? Okay. Probably. Oh, Soupy Sales, a good idea. Soupy Sales. I, mean, I just remember Soupy Sales. Was it What's My Line? Was it What's My Line? You guys are too young. You, maybe, 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 maybe Mr. Delaney's old enough to remember so, uh, What's My End. Ah, uh, there, check it out, check it out. Wait, Soupy Sales, you mean the comedian that always get, would get pies in the face? Pies in the face. Ah. Pies in the face. Check it out, check it out. All right, so uh, there's Chris Thomas. How you doing, brother? All right, so yeah, Soupy Sales. Was it What's My Line? I can't remember. When I was a kid, uh, Derek Garcia will remember. Derek, so Derek uh, Felon, was it, uh, was it, uh, what's my line, what was it? Well, what I didn't realize, that the comedian Soapy Sales drag racer. was a drag racer. I didn't know that. Who names their killed Soupy? Drunk people. <laughs> did not, I did not know that either. All right, why don't you, why don't you step in there for me? All right, so I'm gonna get you the I'm gonna get you the Twitch stuff up somewhere so you can see the Twitch. I, 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 you watching it too? Okay. Yeah. All right, because I've been missing bits on the on the re, on, on the stream. So Soapy Sales. Now this car has the engine in the front. So this is before right. Don Garlic's that, that, cut off his feet. Before Don Garlic's time. Before Don Garlic's accident time. Before Don Garlic's accident time. So this car. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Was his name Steve Carbone? What was his name? Steve Carbone is the one who got, actually drove it. But uh, it's Soapy Sales' car. He got into drag racing. Uh, a lot of your famous people like 
TV stars and uh, athletes. I've met uh, Reggie Jackson. I've met several different ones in drag racing. Uh, and here's Soapy Sales. So Soapy Sales, I may have it wrong because Fallon says there's a Soapy Sales and there's a Soapy Sales. It is Soapy Sales. Who, who is the same guy? Same guy. Same guy. Apparently it's the same guy. Uh, they're appara apparently he changed his name for racing. <laughs> what am I going to call myself? I'll call myself, uh, uh, I'll call myself Soapy, not Soapy. All right, $10 for the Soapy. All right, let's go. Check it out, check it out. And there, all right, let's go. Let's go get the Twitch Twitch account up here for you. All righty. All right, folks, so we got 10 on Soapy here. 10 on this cool little front engine dragster there. Jason's got the deal right now. We got the hot clock in the house, folks. And here we go. All right. I don't feel like I've been to bed. <laughs> I think I left here about 1.30 after I got all the logging done last night, and apparently I missed another one. Uh, so I'll get that. We'll get that worked out. All right. So how? So how long was he in? Oh, an owner. Do you know? Uh, he owned that car probably for about two or three years. And of course, as in all famous people, they they want to get into it, and it's just too much for them to to do that and and do what their other doing. Right. To them. They, they just got out. Right, right, right. Reggie yeah. Jackson had the Rick Straw uh, Ricer car. Oh, wow. He just kind of raced a little bit, no certain track or anything, just whenever he was able to. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, yeah, you know, it's interesting because, you know, the, some, you know, like Brad Doherty owns, you know, as far as NASCAR, you know, he owns, he co-owns a team. And, of course, Michael Jordan just got into racing this year right. in NASCAR also, but... Uh, I think they're spending quite a bit more money than probably they did <laughs> there. But uh, I, I know that racing is definitely not a cheap sport to get into, unless uh, even if you're doing a lot of it yourself there. So Jason grabs that one. The Jungle Gym, no kidding. Jungle Gym, oh, hey, check this out over here on the turntable, folks. So look what we got here, rear engine top fuel uh, dragster there, the Jungle Jim. I have Jim Lieberman, he tried his hand it. Uh, yes, I sure can. He wants me to sign it. Uh, yeah, I think so. No problem there, let's see, let me make sure we got a good writing Sharpie here. That one looks, yep, that's good. There we go. All right, so the Jungle Gym. Now I've seen the I've seen the funny car, but I've never seen. I, I didn't realize he was a, he had a top fuel. So that's interesting. That's really really neat. There, of course. Now these are what Johnny Lightning castings, correct? Right. These. I think that was a Johnny Lightning. Yeah, well, let's, let me take a look here at the bottom on this one. I believe so, but, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Praying Menace, Johnny Lightning there. That's awesome sauce. So, yeah, we'll give you the, yeah, let's, uh, let's get up front there. You see right there, Mr. Delaney is uh, finishing off the signature there for you. So there you go. Thank you, Jason. Cool stuff right there. I'll tell you what, folks. All right, so let's jump back over here. We got on the loose side, right there. Now, Robert, you were starting to tell us about uh, the, the Jim Lieberman, you said? Yeah, J Jim Lieberman and Pat Lieberman, uh, Jungle Pat, as they call him. Uh, he was real famous with the funny car racing, but he decided to <coughs> try his hand at uh, rail jobs. Mm -hmm. This was a very short period. I think it got ran twice or maybe three times. Oh, okay. I never did get to see it run myself. Yeah. I'd like to say I wasn't even aware. I, you know, I always know it from the uh, from the uh, from the funny car, but not the not the you know rear engine top fuel piece like like we're seeing right there. And what is, and what is your start on this? We'll start it at five. At five, all right, so it is five. Now, John Cisco, I know you typed in loose there, but uh, we're looking for five to start it here. 
All right, looking for five to start it. Is there, is there a Robert Delaney exclusive autograph card? Uh, now, Dan, you know, here's the funny thing about that is I know, I think we're actually working on getting... It's coming. It's coming. That's all it's going to be saying. Yeah, it, it's coming. So there you go. And speaking of that, so how did the, um, how did the, the con, you know, the, I know you, you drove the phony pony. Right. So wh how did that come about? I always wanted to ask you about that. Okay, Judy Brockton actually started in the rail jobs, mm -hmm. and he wanted to get into the funny car. So instead of changing his frame and stuff, he took a 65 Mustang, extended the front end, and set this extended front end body on a rail job. Oh, and wow. turned it into a funny car. Oh, okay. And that's what he ran as a pony pony. And everybody knew that car in, in Southern California at all the tracks. Uh, he never really was competitive with it. He tried dual motors. He tried two uh, Ford motors. He tried two Hemi motors. He tried several different combinations. And never really was competitive for it. Ah. So then he built the car that my father had bought. And he started doing really good. But he was also getting up at his age at that time. And uh, he wanted to kind of backtrack out, out of drag racing and step down a little bit. And my father had what they called the Little Red Baron Piat. Okay. And he also had a uh, Snoopy Piat, the blue one. The Red oh. Baron was red. Oh, okay. And my father and, and Junior kind of done some swapping, and I'm sure there was some money involved, but I never was told how much. Uh, and my father ended up with the Pony Pony. There was no motor in it. My father built the motor in the thing, put it in. Mm -hmm. And it was because it had a Chrysler motor in it, but a Mustang body. Thus, it was called the Pony Pony. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. So, um, in all your years of racing, was there a facility you preferred to race at over? I love Famosa Drag Strip. Uh, they have uh, the good, good old go good old guys races there. Mm -hmm. They have the Bakersfield March Meet. Uh, there's several different races they have there, but that's that's that would be my home track to be. Okay. And uh, did you have a least favorite facility? Mile high in Denver, Colorado. Now is that just because of the altitude or cause? Pretty much. It's, it's a it's a rough track. Yeah. It's actually a good track, but it's a rough track to race on. Ah, okay. I didn't know if it had something to do with the altitude because I know. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It, it, it kind of kind of have an effect on the engines and things like that. But yeah. we have to change the pills and everything. So ah, all right. Now when I say pills, these are little brass fittings that go in the fuel line that actually has is different size holes in it, and it either puts less gas or less fuel into the motor or more fuel into the motor. Oh, okay. And we call them pills. We had an old 100, old 110, and so forth. So. Oh, wow. Ah, man. You know, I'll tell you, uh, now, my, my father, he, he, you know, he he just ran locally there at the Action uh, the action Dragway, uh, part of the Action Track in Terre Haute, Indiana. He just mm -hmm. kind of, he raced go-karts and did a little bit of drag racing, but never, never on the super serious side of it. But, uh, and of course, this is before I come along. I've only seen pictures and heard some stories, but uh, nothing uh, that would, you know, that even come close to, you know, your experiences, of course, but, all right, so what we got here is, this is a 66 Dodge L600 cab over engine with the Hemi Charger. This is the Hurst. Right, that's the Hurst uh, gasser. There's nothing special about that. That's one of the first M2s I bought. Uh, I never really got into M2s, but Rick, was showing them gassers and that, there was one called the apple gasser or something like that the, the, the red the red apple one yeah, yeah the red apple and man that thing was sharp and i wanted to get it and <clears throat> i just couldn't bring myself to it because it, it was an m2 i didn't it wasn't a hot wheel uh-huh right but uh now what i like about this one though it's got the and i just actually purchased the the replica sign the repop of that sign of this hearst logo of the shifter right I actually just purchased a couple of those this past weekend, uh, those signs. Uh, so I, I so I find that kind of ironic and really cool there on that. But check that out, folks. Man, when I, oh man. When I bought that, I just opened up and put it in my cabinet mm -hmm. with all my other drag racing stuff. Yeah. It just ma matched so good. I loved it. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's a, it, yeah, it's a great looking piece all the way around. The end. Uh, what are you looking for? We'll start it at 20. 20. Oh, 20 on this one, folks. Hey, you know what? That's, a, that's actually a pretty good deal. Now think about that, 20. You'll get the cab over engine, the Dodge uh, L600, and of course that killer Charger Hemi. 66 Charger Hemi. Incredible piece there. Now check that out, folks. What do you say? How about a 20 here? How about a 20? 20 for the hearse. That's a pretty good deal, folks. Man, I mean, whew, even even loose, even loose. We, you, <laughs> but here, you know, it's still got this. Got your uh, acrylic case over it. Still looks great. It's a great looking piece, though, guys. What do you say? Who wants it? Hmm. All right. Uh oh. What do we got over here? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is Mattel's first gasser. Uh, everybody will agree with it. It's got the injector sticking out of the hood. Mm -hmm. They wasn't called gassers, but they're they're based af after the gassers. Okay. Uh, it's a 57 Chevy. It's the gold one. It's got the yellow tinted windows. It's, it's pretty sought after car. Now, was this did this come out of a set or was this an individual package? It's an individual car? package. Was it? Okay. Cool. All right, and there you go. Take a look, folks. If you want. The very first Hot Wheels gasser, right there it is. Check that out, my friends. And uh, Robert, what'd you start on that? Started at five. At five, ooh, five. What do you say, guys? How about it, how about a five? Let's go. How about a five here? Let's give us the bid, give us the bid here, my friends. Oops. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna start right there, just like that for now. All right, so who's in on it here, folks? Who's in on it here? What do you say? Oh, the tea hunt. Yep, the tea hunt. Holy cow. Oh, where well, you're finding these things at, but by <laughs> 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 All right, guys, what do you say there? But hey, look what we got up front here. Man, I wish Boss Mopar were here because this is right up his alley. Check it out, folks. We have none other than the Little Red Express here, but it's not red. Uh, check it out. Check it out. Uh, what's that thing right there on the rear quarter? Hmm, looks like a little flame symbol, don't it? It is. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is actually the tea hunt, folks. The Dodge Little Red Express treasure hunt. Check that out. Now, I know this one, I, I know a lot of people, and they've said it in here on various shows, that this is one of the uh, treasure hunts that they've been waiting on. And there it is. Check it out, folks. Good little tea hunter there. Man, oh man. Dodge Little Red Express. Uh, little Green Express. We'll call it, I guess. There you right? go. Little Green Express. Yeah, Little Green Expl Express. What do you, so what do you say here, Robert? What are you looking for? Started at 10. 10? All right, so what do you say, folks? 10 on this tea hunt. 10 on the treasure hunt here. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it here? Hmm. All of a sudden, it's a little quiet. Yeah, but that's all right. They're always hiding in the shadows waiting out here on it. Check it out, folks. Nice little treasure hunt here. Holy cow. That thing is really cool. There, take a look, folks. Man, oh, man. Hmm. Uh, Thomas is asking, how do these become loose as far as loose cars go? A lot of my, my cars, I wasn't a card collector. Very few of my cars went on, you know, stayed in the box and stuff. A lot of it got loose and got put in cabinets, got put in uh, little collector deals on the wall. And so I opened them up. It didn't bother me. Mm -hmm. I, like the, I like to feel the cars and look at them. And I'm like back young. They just look so much better open. I, I, you know, I've, I've started getting getting that way myself here. Uh, mainly takes less room to store them. Right. Easier to display loose, but uh, but yeah, they are. They do look so much better. I, it, it's really wild the difference that it makes when you see it carded, but then when you take it out and you set it up loose, it it uh, you can just put yourself you know at the track. Right. You know, with the mark. Well, it's a little bit of card. Well, you know. I often thought about making a dialorama about Orange County International Raceway mm -hmm. or Lions or Irwindale. 
or even Saugus or, or Pomosa. Yeah. Uh, I never really decided which one, and I was going to have these dragsters and pony cars lined up all the way down south on the track, but I just never did get around to it. Oh, man. I know one of the first model kits that I ever had was, uh, was the uh, Snake... Uh, 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 yeah, this uh, snakes uh, top fuel. One of the first ones I ever built had the, you know had the plastic had the parachute that you know, you tied the thread to and hung it off the back there. Ah mm -hmm. oh, man, that that takes you back for sure. But all right, so nobody on the T hunt, huh? Nobody on that T hunt. What is up there? All right, I can't believe that one. Did we show this one? It is uh, the Nationwise Tommy. TV Tommy Ivo. Nobody, Ivo. Nobody wanted it. Uh, nobody wanted that? Nobody wanted it. No kidding. All right. Well, I guess what we'll have to do is we'll have to feed them something else, right? Here's the new good years. Holy crap. Holy crap, folks. Take a look. We got some new M2s here. Uh, I don't know how Robert got a hold of these because I've not even seen these yet, but holy cow. Where to start here? Well, you know what? Let's start with the... I don't know if Chad Howard's in here or not yet, but check it out. We have the 1960 VW delivery van Goodyear. M2. Only 9,000 pieces here. Only 9,000 of these made. Now, of course, you know, they say VW delivery van, but, you know, we call it... We affectionately call all these combies, you know, just because of the Hot Wheels... Well, Hot Wheels named them there. That's a pretty good one. But wait. Oh, <laughs> check out the Ford Bronco. Man, look at the real rider tires on this thing. Look at the, just, just, just look at these tires for a second. Man, oh man. That's some wicked looking real rubber there, folks. But there it is, the Ford Bronco. Good gear. Great little piece there as well. Also, only 9,000 of that one. Then I don't know if Doobie's out there, but uh, we have a 85 Camaro IROC Z. 85 Chevy Camaro IROC Z. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Man, oh man. Now that's pretty cool as well. So take a look at those, folks. We got three really nice Goodyear M2 pieces here. Check these out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get we'll go to the wide shot here on that and uh, let you guys take a closer look. And we're only looking for ten to start here, folks. Ten to start on any one of these. There, check that out now. Come on, come on, come on. Whoo wait, some goodies here. Some good ones here, folks. What do you say? Any interest? Any interest here? Take a look. Got some nice little pieces there. Wow. Holy cow, holy cow. What do you say, folks? How about a bid here? Who to bid? Who to bid? Who to bid? Just looking for that 10. Looking for that 10. Combi. Uh, Camaro and Bronco. Really good ones there. Really good ones there. Take a look. Take a look. How about it, folks? Nobody? Nobody, 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 huh? Well then, uh-oh. Looks like we're getting something a little vintage up over here on the loose side. Cool piece there as well. All right, so let's switch over. We'll jump over to the loose there. And what do we got over here? It's the cream. It is missing the hook. Uh, I imagine that's one of the pieces that generally does come up missing first off these. Now we see sometimes a lot of the records that, you know, the hook and that stuff will be gone off of them. They're just so thinly made that they break easy. Of course, then again, a lot of little kids sticking those things in their mouth too. That so. is true. And like, they like to chew them off. Right? Mm -hmm. So check it out there, folks. That's a nice little piece right there. Some, uh, It's got the retro style slots on the rims there. Black walls. Good little piece there. So what do you say here, folks? Five to start it. Five to start it, ladies and gentlemen. Five to start on that one. That one's pretty cool. All right. Pretty cool there, pretty cool there, folks. What do you say? What do you say? Five dollars five dollars for that one? Any on that one there, huh? Alright. 
All right, well, hey, let's keep going here. We'll keep putting some other things up. Some other things up out of here, like, I mean, you know, when you talk, when you talk funny cars, funny car racing especially, you know, certain names stand out. You know, you think of Snake and Mongoose, of course, um, but then uh, there's also this fella right here. Kenny Bernstein. Oh, Kenny Bernstein. King Kenny, as he uh, was affectionately called. Mm -hmm. First man to make a million dollars in drag racing. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Check it out, folks. Take you a look know, like here. Bill Elliott was the first man to make a million dollars in NASCAR. They called him Million Dollar Bill. Million Dollar Bill, uh huh. Last million, million Dollar Kenny. Ah, Million Dollar Kenny. King Kenny, check this out. Now, this is a Hot Wheels piece. This is the Hot Wheels Pro Circuit. I don't remember if that one's the four headlights or the two headlights. There is a variation. Uh, this one is four headlights on each side. Four headlights on each side there. Let that focus in and you can see it right there, right below the white, right above the King Kenny. You've got two sets of four headlights there. Check it out, the Hot Wheels Pro Circuit. Now, I remember, I remember when these came out, and these Pro Circuit cars were actually, and they kind of still are, kind of very highly sought after. Mm -hmm. uh, certain yeah, ones the wheels, in particular. They're, they're very, the wheels itself are only to the Pro Circuit. They actually got their own name, Pro Circuit wheel. Oh, really? Wow. You'll find them type wheels on several different cars, and they still call them Pro Circuit wheels today. That's really neat. Check it out, folks. Now, here's the other thing. When it comes to these Hot Wheels, you know, make, put these on oversized cards. And I gotta tell you, majority of the times, you'll find the cards to be in really bad shape. This one is really pretty good. It's pretty straight. See, we just got a little bend right there. But guys and gals, take a look. It's on a very good card here. Card looks great, and of course, you can't go wrong with this piece right here. Check it out there, folks. We're looking for a 20 here, 20 to start that one. And I'll tell you what, 20, from what I know of this piece, that's a steal of a deal. That would be a steal of a deal on that one, folks. <coughs> I, tell you, I know we had, uh, we've had a few of these in the past, uh, and uh, one was the Duracell uh, Camaro, the tra uh, Trans Am Racing Series Camaro. One that, which was really turned out to be pretty popular with the gang here, but <laughs> Guys, this one's really cool. So which is rare, the four or the two headlight? I believe the two headlights is rare. The two? Wow. Cool stuff here, folks. Check it out. What do you say here? A little 20? A little 20 on the Pro Circuit? A little 20 here on the Kenny Bernstein. Man, oh man, that's Budweiser colors too, correct? Right. But of course, Hot Wheels had the thing where they wouldn't put alcohol or tobacco sponsorship on their cars. And it took NASCAR a while to get on board with that too. And other racing series, but uh, Hot Wheels, you know, and of course it's got the Mac tools on there. All right, folks, well, I'll tell, oh, I like what I, High Raker? High Raker. Ah, check it out, folks. Check out over here on the loose. We've got Cor a Corvette. Corvette High Raker, whoo! Three Corvette. Nice. Look at that, folks. Nice little split window there in the back. High Raker. Now that's a cool piece right there, folks. Man, oh man, I know who was was asking for High Rakers not too long ago. Ooh, somebody was asking if we had High Rakers. Check it out there, folks. That's a good little one there. Good little one there. What do you say, folks? What do you say? What do you say? Who to bid, who to bid, who to bid here. Let's get it going. Let's get it going, folks. Give me a bid and let's go. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? How about it? How about it? <laughs> well, now that's a first. And this has definitely not been opened. Oh, now this is cool. All right, well. I'm learning something new every day here, folks, because I'll tell you what, uh, just looking for five here to start that high raker, folks, and that high raker works all the way. It does work all the way there, folks. You can raise it and lower it. I don't know, it just seems like Corvettes are a tough sell. 
I don't know what the deal is. Not sure there, but guys, check this out. Uh, got a crazy little gift pack here. And uh, somebody tell me what's wrong with this picture. I'll, I'll feed them through here as soon as it focuses. Okay, we got the Bronco. We got some really brightly colored car there. Another Ford, another Ford, another Ford. Something a little wrong here, folks. Something, um, one of these things is not like the other as the old Sesame Street line goes. This is the Ford gift pack, but uh, I have no idea that Ford actually made Ferraris. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of interesting. Check it out here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the wide shot. And even, even at that, you can't see the whole thing. But check it out, folks. Of course, you know, uh, got that killer blue Bronco there with the bike on the back. A lot of times we see that loose, but the bike is missing. Not here. And folks, I can tell you that this gift pack has not been opened. So this was definitely something done at the factory when it was made. Uh, there's no question that this thing is still completely sealed. And check it out there, folks. So we got a little bit of an error piece working here. Let me lay it this way. There we go. As you can see, you got the Bronco, you've got a Ferrari, and you got three other Fords there. What do you say here, folks? What do you say? Little 20 here on this. Little 20. Just a little 20 on this five packs, five packs, folks. Five pack, folks. Ah. Oh, I know I'm tired when I can't talk. I can't even talk when I'm not tired. So, what do you say here, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say? Oh man, Ferrari. Where's a Ferrari collector's at? Where's Warren Kimball? Where's Bad Timmy? Where's, uh, is it Tommy Williams? Man, this would be a good one to have. Good one to have in your collection, guys. Uh, this might be one of the more unique collect collectibles as, uh, from the Ferrari side of it. Man, oh man, I don't even think I've, and this could be the only one, I don't know. It's highly possible. Should be a candy apple red Ford Taurus instead of that Ferrari. There you go. There you go. Straight shooter. How you doing there, buddy? What's going on, straight? <coughs> All right, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say here? A little 20? A little 20? You can get that crazy Ferrari piece right there. Check it out, my friends. Check it out. I'll leave it right there for a second because Robert put up something cool here on the loose side, ladies and gentlemen. And Robert's got a selection of cars here that he brought in, and apparently he just wants $5 to start these things. Check it out. Now, here's a killer black wall. What casting is that? The Rockbuster. Rockbuster, this, it's a Malaysian base, copyright date 1975, all metal base. Great little black walls there. The Rockbuster. Who will give me a five to start that. Ooh, give me a five to start that one. What do you say there? Check that out. Cool piece. Really cool piece there. Hmm. All right, guys and gals. And we'll put something else up front here. Something I think is really, really cool. Really cool, really neat. All right, so there's that one. And we'll jump back up front here. Folks, check it out. From the M case... From the M case Hot Wheels, uh, I learned a few interesting things here. First of all, we have uh, the, from the first Mickey Mouse cartoon, right there. That is the Steamboat Willie. So there's the Steamboat from that one. The first Mickey Mouse uh, short, right there. And there's the boat. Uh, check it out, folks. That's a really cool piece. Really cool piece right there. I think this is going to be one of the more popular ones to come out of that M case. <laughs> and I know there's a variation. I know there is a variation. Apparently there's an extra piece, but I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Uh, I know they were saying that there is, uh, they're, they're reporting some uh, variants uh, on, on this boat. And I'm, I don't recall exactly what it is, but here we go, folks. And also, the other thing I learned was that Mickey wasn't exactly a kid-friendly cartoon back in the day. But then again, most, most of the cartoons in that era were, uh, had some pretty, uh, pretty adult themes to them that would be too racy for today. Chad says it's the black flags that are different. 
Ah, okay. Well, there we go. There we go. There we go. Chad's chiming in there. Chad, did you see that Goodyear Combi? The Goodyear M2 Combi we just had up there? Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see a picture of it to know what we're looking at there. But what do you say, guys? Who wants the Steamboat Willie? I'm going to back that up just a hair. You didn't? Ah, well, you're about to because here it is. M2, Walmart, Walmart exclusive 1960 VW delivery van. The Goodyear Combi. Check that out. Robert handed this to me. He said, these are the new Goodyears. And I'm like, what? I didn't even know they had such a thing coming out, let alone that he already had them. There you go. Check it out, folks. Right there, right there. And it's only a $10 start. $10 start. Just a $10 start. All right there, Chad, throw us the 10, and we'll clock it, and we'll run with it there. We also have the, an IROC Z Camaro and a Ford Bronco in these Goodyear pieces. And Chad says 10 then. All right. So here we go, folks. We got a 10 on the bid here, a tenner. A tenner, a tenner, a tenner. We'll start that clock, and here we go. <coughs> uh, little uh, frog in my throat today, too. So Chad's got this one right now. It is the VW delivery van, or like we call it, the Combi. Good one there. So check it out, my friends. Check it out. Check it out. Part of the Robert Delaney collection here. And I'll tell you, you know, it's so much fun. I tell you, I'm learning so much in the short time Robert's been here with us. And, uh, man, oh, man, good stuff. And right now, Chad's got the deal here. Chad's got the deal here. So check it out, folks. Check it out. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 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 Chad's got the deal. Sold, sold, sold there. Uh, Anthony, those white Camaros, my understanding is they're supposed to be here Friday. Now, the thing about that is, is you guys, you guys know and we know that uh, even though they tell us it's going to be here, it may not be here till Monday or Tuesday. Shipping, shipping right now is a total cluster you know what. All right, Chad, you got this one, buddy. Nice little grab there. Awesomeness there. All right, so hey, no way. No, my goodness gracious. Look over here on the loose side, guys. A 300ZX. This thing is clean, ladies and gentlemen. Take a good look at this as it rolls around. And Robert's only asking five on the start here. Five on the start, that is a super clean piece right there. That is just nice. Check that out, my friends. What do you say there? What do you say there, ladies and gentlemen? Good little piece there. Good little piece. You know, what? Uh, for those of you that were just joining this, uh, one of the things, especially when I get to talk to pro racers, as you know, I work in, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and I've uh, been able to talk to some of the greats in IndyCar racing uh, and NASCAR, but uh, Never really got to talk to too many, um, you know, of the drag races, you know, even from early, er, back in the day when the founding years of the sport up to where it is today. And talking to Robert, you know, it's really interesting because you learn quite a bit. This man's got all kinds of knowledge, but uh, I asked him earlier about his least favorite track and he was talking about uh, the one in Denver, Colorado. The, you know, uh, said it was a rough track to race on, but the air, of course, being so thin affected the motors. And I can I can see that, and that makes perfectly good sense to me. What do you say here, folks? Five dollars to start this loose. Five dollars to start that loose. Holy cow. Guys, it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. Look how clean this is. This is such a good little piece there. Good little piece. Holy crap. What's that say? It says it's a Nissan 300ZX Turbo. Good little one there. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Holy cow, holy cow. What other kind of goodies does he have here? Oh, you gotta be kidding. You got to be kidding here. All right, folks, I'll tell you what. This one, check this one out. The California Cruising 
black wall. Yeah, that's the painted version. That's not the chrome one. That's, oh, the painted? Ah, there you go. Take a look, folks. This thing is clean as clean can be. Let me show you the base. You can see right there. Check that out, folks. Man, oh man. And you only, you only start that at five? No kidding. All right, guys, you heard it. Five dollars start on that. Five dollars start. We've had them. Uh, now we've had them in a lot worse shape. Sell for more than five bucks. I mean, come on. So check this out. Here's a here's a nice clean one. Nice clean one for your collection. Check it out, folks. Five dollars start. Just a five dollar bid here is all we're looking for. Who will give us the five? Just give us a five here. Let's go. What do you say, man? Such a nice piece there. Really cool little piece. Ay, ay, ay. Man, oh man. So Robert, do you have a favorite casting that's probably your most, more favorite than any other? In Hot Wheels? Yeah. It'd be the Noodle Head. The Noodle Head? The Noodle Head. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I, I, could ne I never quote was able to really grasp the noodle head by looking at it, how they gave it its name, but uh, really cool. It's a really nice piece. And we've had it, I think, in the, um, uh, what was it, the Neo Classic, I think, uh, did a version of it. We've seen it in there before. Nobody for that, I cannot believe this. This California cruising van can't get a fiber on it. Wow. Well then, how about a little Greyhound bus? Oh, this is cool. This is cool little Greyhound bus. Now that's some heavy metal right there, folks. That's a lot of metal. That thing weighs quite a bit. You know, I would say things from time to time. You can put that in a pillowcase and whack somebody upside the head and knock them into next week. That one would do it. <laughs> this is just a special one. It's got the 427 on the hood, yep. Nice on that Cobra. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, these are these are cool ones as well. So what do you say here, folks? Come on, looking for a bid, looking for a bid. Looking for a bid here. Let's get it going, get it going. Greyhound bus. Greyhound bus. All right, well, I'll tell you. We'll, we'll pull that because check this out. Now, you know, you, we've got these Cobras. And you'll be, we see them sometimes, the ones that just say Cobra on the hood. Folks, this isn't it. This has got the 427 on the hood as well. This is, as Robert said, this is the special one. This is the special one there. Check it out, the Cobra 427. And I will tell you guys, I actually purchased one of these at the flea market about three weeks ago. I paid 12 for it at the flea market because I wanted one with the 427 on it. Check it out here, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? What do you say? How about a bid here? How about a bid? Robert says he's showing me five fingers, folks. Five dollars for it. Five dollars for it. Man, oh man. If I just waited three more weeks, right? <laughs> Check it out here, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? What do you say? Anybody want the Cobra 427? Hmm. Well then, I'll tell you what. Spider-Man versus Dr. Doom, cool piece here. All right, folks, I can't believe it, but I'll tell you what, check this out. Amazing Spider-Man. This is one where you look through the window there and you see there's an image inside the vehicle, Spider-Man facing off against Dr. Doom. This is a really good piece as well, folks. What do you say, what do you say? Five bucks here, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. Five bucks for these folks, I'm, Oh, no way. Dang almighty. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? Jump in here. Jump in here. Feel free to jump in here, folks. Cool, cool stuff here. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Looking for a five? Looking for a five? Well, I'll keep showing, I'll keep showing you some really cool loose ones Robert's brought out. And he's only wanting five on the starts here, folks. Five to start these. It's insane. Insane, insane, insane. What do you say here, folks? What do you say? What do you say? The glasser? Original tuck. 
original topper. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. And it's got the clip that pulls out the uh, right there. Parachute. Oh, okay, that's what that's for. Of course. Of course, of course. Whoops. And you never find that clip. No, you don't. You don't just rarely see it. Just what you have, what happened to you right there, and all what's happened. Mm hmm. All right, folks, check this out. I just have to have a little bit more. All right, we have an original topper here, folks. And Robert pointed a very unique feature out on this. You see this metal clip right here? That was used to pull the parachute out on the track across the line it would pull it would pull the chute out and he pointed out the fact because as I was looking at it that clip fell off so you know you don't really see these that often with the clip now this is an original topper original topper here folks check it out check this thing out now this is a very interesting piece right there uh, now I don't know a whole lot about this it's called the glasser uh, is what it says on the bottom but I don't know a whole lot more about that other than that. Oh, the original Wasp, a vintage. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Got some really killer Johnnies here. Now, Robert said he does need a little bit more on the start for this. So what do you say here, guys? 20 on this one? 20 on this one? That seems more than reasonable. Man, cool looking piece there, guys. Check that out. Any Redline Mustangs, RLCs, or higher end cars today? Well, I, I tell you, Robert is digging. He's bring, he's bringing up he's bringing out some really cool pieces here, folks. Another vintage Johnny Lightning, an original topper, the Wasp. The Wasp right there. Check that out. Holy crap! And holy crap! Man, oh man, oh man. It's really weird when you when you got these things and you're holding them in your hand because they are just so, it's just, you know, most of these were made before I was born or were not long after I was born, I should say, right? Oh, good night. All right, guys, nobody on the Wasp? Well, how about the vintage, the original, original dragster? Check that out. Man, oh man, oh man. What is the Ooh. Hong Kong based black wall hemi hauler in gold. This is cool. This is cool here as well. Alright guys, there's another original topper there. Alright. And if you see guys, if you think you know you see any of these and you want to see it again, let me know. But check this out. You want vintage, you want the goods, there it is. The Hemi Hauler. Hong Kong based black wall retro style slots as we know them today. I'm not sure what they called them back then, but, uh, and check it out there. So what, what's the deal with this one? That's just the gold chrome coming in a gold chrome six pack. Oh, okay, cool. And that'd be $5. $5, no kidding. You heard it folks, $5 to start that. What do you say? What do you say there? What do you say? What do you say? Looking for five? Looking for a five? Gotcha. All right, so check it out, my friends. So what's the deal with the little button on the bottom of this one? It caught little deals, uh, like the jump plane. Mm -hmm. uh, just kicked it. Johnny Lightning loved to make uh, kids use other parts on the tracks. Oh, okay. And they just different things. And that fact, I, I've got one here I did have. It may have already sold. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Check it out there, folks. That's a good little piece right there. Good little vintage piece. Hong Kong base, black wall. Let me show you the base. There you go, folks. We'll close it down and we'll let it make a couple turns here. Then I'm going to switch over. I'm going to put up another original topper here. Oh, goodness gracious, the Johnny Lightning double drag strip. That's what this car comes in. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what that one. Okay. Oh, cool We're beans. I'm selling the car set. Uh huh. Uh, greetings from Pennsylvania, says Char. They're on a trip. Char, what are you doing way up there? 
Way up there, Shari, way up there in Pennsylvania. Well, stay safe, Shari. Take it easy. Take care of yourself on the road there. Check out the original topper. Check out that original topper right there. Twenty dollars, folks. That is the vicious bet. And if you turn on the bottom and look at it, but it, it is a topper. It's not a vintage or anything like that. It is original. Yeah, there you go, folks. The original topper. I was just asking Robert about that button on the bottom. You know, you see that white little button there? And Robert was just explaining how it would make you do different things with the track. Johnny Lightning, uh, he was saying that Johnny wanted, you know, to, uh, kids to use more of the track than what they're on. So right there, ladies and gentlemen, check that beauty out. That is a cool, cool piece there as well. All right, so Robert did pull out a really cool uh, racetrack. We'll put that up there here in a minute. And then he also he also put this up here. So let me let me go to the wide shot here and let me set this up front. We have a vintage, 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 vintage. Because you know, I mean, some people will say antique, but uh, the traditional definition of an antique is something has to be a hundred years old before you can designate it as an antique. So we call these things vintage. Look at this Johnny Lightning lunchbox. Now it is missing the, the handle up top. It does have the it does have the hooks that it attaches to, the clips that they attach to there. But check this out. Really decent shape here, folks. Looks really good. Man, oh man, this is cool stuff here. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Now the 1970 Topper Corporation says right there, this was done from Aladdin Industries in Nashville, Tennessee. And there it is, my friends. Take a look at that Johnny Lightning lunchbox there. Now, how, how unique and how different is that? There you go, folks. There, actually, you know what? I bumped the camera up just a little bit. That's all I got to do here is raise that. Like so, there we go. Take a look there, take a look there, folks. Take a look there. The fire leap set. Hey, that, that shows it's the same picture that's on the side of the lunchbox. <laughs> Just a different color on the car. All right, folks. Well, what do you say here, folks? Anybody interested in the lunchbox? The vintage Johnny Lightning lunchbox. That's a cool piece. Really cool piece there, folks. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say here? Robert, what are you going to let that go for, man? 25. 25 for a lunchbox, that's cheap. It is missing the handle. Well, even at that, <laughs> even at that, even at that. <laughs> Doobie's in the house. Doobie jumps in there with his, uh, with his way of saying hello. So there you go folks on that. Hey Doobie, check this out. M2, Walmart, IROC Z. IROC Z Camaro, the Goodyear, brand new. Robert Delaney just brought these out today, as a matter of fact. And it's only 10 bucks, buddy. Only 10 bucks. Check it out there. Check it out there. There's your IROC. It's a 1985, 85 IROC Camaro in the good year. And he says, cool, I done got two. Well, why not three? Why not three, right? Why not three? Aha, cool beans there. Nice, 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 <laughs> all right. Well, I'll tell you what, Robert has shown, uh, he's got a couple vintage Johnny Lightning drag strip, uh, racetracks here drag strips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's, we'll go to the wide shot here though, because these are cool stuff here. We'll start you out with the, none other than the double drag strip. Let me clear a little room here. Ignore my backside there, folks. It's just kind of jumping in front of the camera, but for good reason. All right, so here we go. This is the Johnny Lightning drag strip, real drag racing with the winners. It includes the double start unit, clamp, 
uh, six two foot long uh, drag strip track pieces, five couplers, the dual finish line with winning indicator, and the two Johnny Lightning racing cars. Check it out, folks. This is a great little piece here. Uh, 20, whoop, 25 on the lunchbox, Doobie. Looking for 25 on the lunchbox. And here you go, folks. Check it out, man. Oh, man. What do you say here, ladies and gentlemen? Vintage. Vintage, vintage, vintage. What year did this come out? 70, I believe. 1970. Holy cow. I do have the dragster here, but it'll bring it up to $70. Aha! Uh -huh. So there you go. You heard that, folks. You heard that right there. Uh, he's looking for 50 on this set. 50 on this set. He says he does have the dragster as well, but he said, but that'll, it'll, if you want that as well, 70 bucks. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Let's widen that shot a little bit. There you go. Great little Johnny Lightning strip there. I didn't even. Well, I wasn't that familiar with Johnny Lightning's anyway, but I didn't realize they made their own racetracks. Yes, it's totally different. It looks cool. Look, just looking at the pictures, it looks cool. Looks so. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Put these oil cans over out of the way here for a sec. Oh, wow. Look, oh, I see it. And you know what? I've got, I've ordered a new one for this, and I've got it. It's just, oh, that's just real thin paper, isn't it? Plastic. Plastic, yeah. Holy cow. What do you say, guys? $50 on the Johnny Lightning track? 50 on that track, folks. It's a cool deal. Cool deal, cool deal, cool deal. There, and that lunchbox, yeah, I do be that lunchbox. We need a 20. Robert wants 25 for it there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, man, oh man, oh man. All righty there, folks, nobody on that one. All right, we'll set this one to the side. Robert's prepping another one up there for us, but in the meantime, let me put another set up here. Let me put another set up here. This is the Dash and Crash Speedway Hot Wheels featuring the Hot Ones. The Dash and Crash Speedway. Cody, what's up, buddy? What's up, what's up? Double loop racetrack, uh, but instead of a finish line, it's got a crisscross section where they kind of wreck each other. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Who didn't love bashing up their cars when they were kids? You know, making them, making them crash was, you know, was all about having them out and playing with them, right? Check it out there, folks. The Dash and Crash Hot Wheels. Beating the crunch at the Danger Changer. Be the first through the finish gate. Going away. Check it out, check it out. Let me show you the back of this, folks. As the back of it tells the tale. Back of it gives you a complete diagram of what it looks like there. Uh, no, no thermos with that lunchbox, right? Whoa! That's a total, man, I'm glad we didn't have those tracks. Mom used to spank, bust my butt with the Hot Wheels ones. Those Johnny Lightning ones are a little more flexible and would probably hurt more. <laughs> no, no, uh, no thermos with that lunchbox, Doobie. Here you go, folks. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. The Dash and Crash. Great little set here, ladies and gentlemen. Great little set. Um, we're looking for, whoops, 50's not, not, 50, that's even, that's low, I think, but, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, whenever I see these vintage tracks, it's just like, wow. You know, so what do you say, guys? How about it, how about it, how about it? Hmm, all righty. All righty, all righty. I'll set that down there, because Robert put, the, put this one racing set together, folks. It is, it is the Fire Leap set. And guys, this thing is insane. Absolutely insane. Check this out, folks. Got the paperwork with it. You have your paperwork. But they're brand, and that is brand new, right? The right. the crash through for the flame, the flames. 
Man, that is cool. It's got both sections of track. Look at this thing. Man, oh man, let's show them the box here that goes with that. Oops. The Johnny Lightning Fire Leaf <laughs> set. Now guys, I'm telling you what. When is the last time you've seen this many different tracks? Of uh, different styles, your Johnny Lightnings, your Hot Wheels, your, your Flying Colors, your Action Command sets, your Stunt sets, your Spiral Speedways, Dash and Crash. I, I don't think you even see this many in a hobby store. I, you know? Are there even hobby stores anymore? <laughs> Not like there used to be, definitely. Check it out here, folks. What do you say here? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's got both sections of track. It's got more track inside the box. And more track inside the box. And, and the, the clamp. clamp. I think is in where your hand's at. Yep. Yep, we've got the clamp right here. Yep. There's the clamp. As you know, you know, we always used to clamp it to the coffee table. Always used to clamp that to the coffee table, of course. But this is really cool because I don't recall any other set that had an actual flaming hoop that it would go through that looks like it's actually on fire. Right. And that is, that's what this is, folks. I'm trying to do this very, very carefully here. You can see that is complete. That is complete. Now, a lot of the times these would be busted and missing in these kind of sets. But every piece is there, folks. Every piece is there on that. Now, check that out. Crazy good. Ah, there we go. Yeah, and do the track. Yeah. Check it out, my friends. Here's your box. Here's your box, ladies and gentlemen, the Fire Leap set, Johnny Lightning. What, even back then, even back then, they had the as seen on TV tag. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really cool set. Robert, what are you looking for on that set, buddy? 50. 50 for this set, folks. Come on, guys and gals, holy cow. I mean, it's got the original Topper logo on it, Daring Jump Through the Flame Loop. I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, here is a set to have. Man, oh man. You can buy all the Hot Wheels sets you want, but I gotta tell you, you know, if you want something that's cool, cool collectible, these Johnny Lightning ones are it. These Johnny Lightning ones are definitely it. I mean, it's got everything with it. It's got the original paperwork, all the track, the, the bridge that it's jumping over. It's a great set, folks. What do you say here? Throw a 50 at it. Somebody give me a 50 and let's go. What do you say here? What do you say? What do you say? I think I think we're suffering from the Wednesday blahs today. Ah, something out of the room. Yeah. It's either that or it's the host. So I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. So you know, it might be the host today. They're not used to seeing me in the afternoons. All right, I'll hand that back to you, Robert. Uh, we do have one GNC Sierra uh, left four by four left here, folks, and uh, we'll let's see, zoom that back in like so. There we go. Oops. Keep that thing in focus. All right, guys, I'll take you to the close up. I'm um, Holy crap! Hot ones, Cobra Mustang set. Good night, guys and gals. If you could only see what I'm seeing here, you guys would freak. You would absolutely freak out. This is better than being a kid in a candy store. Better than being a kid in a candy store. Char is going to grab the Goodyear Camaro for a 10. All right, let me get that up there. The IROC, the Goodyear IROC right here. Right there it is. This one right here, correct, Char? Char is on the, on the road on the way to Pennsylvania there. And we got 10 on this one, folks. 10 on this one here, here we go. Let's start that clock, 10 on the bid. 10 on the bid, char has got it right now. We got a 10 here. Here's a the remake of that Bishop's Bed. Aha. Uh -huh. Now you see the difference. Yeah, so it didn't have the, the original didn't have the plastic pipes. Aha, uh -huh. and the motor totally different. Mm-hmm. Hmm, interesting. We got 10 on the bid here, folks. 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. How's the weather up that way, Char? Well, I know some up north, they've been having some rough weather that way as well. Here we go, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. Char has got the deal. Char has got the deal for 10. Good little piece there, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out, nice stuff there. 
Hoka says Actually, anybody. He's in. Uh, no, Hocus, there was uh, no thermos with the lunchbox. I, I, I've got Twitch. I've got Twitch up on my phone, so I see it. I see it now, but it wasn't popping up there. Um, oh no, yeah, Hocus did. Yeah, there it is. It's over there, but it's not there. Got it. Sold, sold, sold. Here, no, no thermos with that one, Hocus. All right, so we are sold, sold, sold. Shara's got this one. You need to look inside of it, Hocus. I'll be happy to open it. There we go. Yeah, we'll get that back up there. The, the ring we left caught up to us, says Shark. <laughs> All right, so here we go, folks. Here we go, here we go. Robert will show you the inside of the lunchbox there. I'll tell you what. A lot of... Um, I used to collect lunchboxes. I ha I, I've sold them all. Uh, I sold off that part of my collection and moved on to other things, but um, I have to tell you, I've, I've, I've had some without, without the thermoses that were $50, $60, and I mean complete, they were worth, you know, 100, 100 or more. So, these lunch boxes are just crazy. Crazy good and always generally a good, a good collectible to have. Really a very good collectible to have there, so check that out. Just looking for a little 25 here on that. And then uh, we'll jump over here to the loose side. Oh man, five bucks for that one? Wow, five bucks for that loose? That's a... Ah, okay, cool. Oh, this is a neat one, folks. This is a neat one. Five bucks here, five bucks, five bucks. What do you say there, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say there? Little five there, little five there. G body, yeah. G body. Now, since I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the obvious question, and I may have asked this before, but why do they call it a G body? General Motors. Aha, General Motors. Well, there we go. See, I always, you know, I always ask the obvious questions, just like I didn't know what Copo stood for, and now I do. Central Office Production Order. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it meant something really special, you know, but uh, as you can see, I guess it does depend on how you look. But hey, folks, okay, so uh, we do have one of the 76 GMC Sierra Grande, 50, uh, or Sierra, yeah, Sierra Grande or Grande, however they pronounce that. The 4x4 in the M2 with that killer Firebird logo. So check that out, folks. Right here, right here, right here. What do you say here, folks? What do you say here? The last one that Robert has is that one right there. That's a good one. That is a good one, good one, good one. Good one there. Man, oh man. Lots of cool. Last major movies. That's it. Man. Oh my gosh. Oh. My gosh, the photo finish set. It's not a remake, it is the real thing. The photo finish, oh, holy <coughs> crap. All right, guys. Does Mr. Delaney have any Grand Prix G-Body cars? They were called stunt cars on the Hot Wheels cards, too. I don't believe I do. All right, guys, we're going to go to the wide shot here because, uh, oh, man, it doesn't get any better than this. This is, this is the real deal. Check this out. I will let Robert talk, talk you through this one, folks, because uh, let me, I'll widen out the camera shot here a bit. There we go. All this, right. This is the last of the Snake and Mongoose sets that are not re remade. This was... So this really, is really hard to come by. A lot of people didn't even know about it. So this is the original. It's not a repop. It's not a not a repop. Matter of fact, I don't know that they made a repop of this particular set. This is the one that had this the special snake in it. That's hard to come by. Most of the time they were the yellow ones instead of the white ones. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's where a lot of the yellow ones come from. Right. Man, check that out, folks. I mean, that's the, the photo finish set. Now the track is multicolored. It's got the, I think the red, the yellow 
There with the yellow stripes, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Now that's the track I'm familiar with getting my butt slapped with. My mom, oh man. Uh, I tell you what. Man, that is a cool set, ladies and gentlemen. The photo finish set. I like that. It's got the photo, it's got the finish line box there. Man, that is just way too cool. Check that out, folks. That's got the, you see now, that's got the special color uh, mongoose, right? Snake. A uh, snake. Okay, the snake. Okay. The mongoose, that looks like on that photo, it's like the old English colors. It is. Now, there was a special mon uh, mongoose, but it was only Canadian. And it did come in this. And I did see one blister, but I'm, I'm, I can't guarantee that the fella didn't do that itself. Oh, uh -huh, okay. It was at the convention when I see it. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. All right, folks, this is a really special set here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, hey, All right. I have one left. It's just a four by four. Okay, yeah, one, yeah, one, just one, yeah, the four by four there, Damon, the, on that one. All right, folks, <laughs> check this out. Robert, what do you got to have for this one? I've got to have $100 for this one. Oh, man. 100, 100 bones in the basket here, folks. That's, uh, that's a drop in the bucket. Uh, you guys know these snake and mongoose pieces, especially this one has a has a different color card than the norm, as you heard Robert say. Uh, this is a, this is this is good. This is as good as it gets, folks. Hundred dollars to start this. This uh, on the on the truck. Uh, it's your ten on the truck, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ten on the square body. Ten on that square right there, Damon. We need a hundred on this set, folks. And I tell you what. Uh, I have a funny feeling that that's uh, probably low. I do believe that is low, 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 but that's such a good set, ladies and gentlemen. So it's got two launchers, and then it does it ha goes into a loop, and then it flies into the photo finish box. That is cool stuff now. So Damon's going to go 10 on the square, 10 on the square. So we'll get go to that one here in a second. But uh, anybody for this photo finish set? What do you say here, guys? If you guys, if you're wanting vintage pieces right here, this is as vintage as it gets. Will we ever, I mean, we may never see this set again. I think it's the first time we've ever had this set on Diecast TV. I don't think we'll ever see this set again, folks. 100 bucks. And we will, if you need to, we'll open the invoice. We will open the invoice. All right? So if you want it, Grab it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll set that to the side and we'll go back to the GMC right there. Damon's at 10, here we go, here we go. 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid here. Damon's got it. Damon's got this one right now for a 10 spot. So the last one we got, the last one that Robert has right there. So there you go, folks, there you go. 10 is the bid. 10 is the bid there. <laughs> Char's son is laughing out loud while they're in the car. Uh, laughing at me, Char, or what's the deal? That's all right, I'm a goofy looking guy. You can laugh at me, that's not, you know. But anyway, here we go, folks. 10 is the bid, 10 is the bid, 10 is the bid, 10 is the bid. Isn't that the truth, T? I'm a walking zombie today myself. And that is sold, sold, sold. Damon on the deal. All right. What you got? Oh, we got that. Yeah, you heard about. Uh, where's that Cobra one? Guys, check this one out. You want to see a cool set? I know somebody was asking about Mustangs a little bit ago. Hot Wheels, the Cobra. What you got there, Robert? What? It's the Cobra stunt set, and it's from 1984. <laughs> ah, 1984, the Cobra stunt set. Huh, yeah, my getting my butt whooped with that track. <laughs> I'm not kidding when it comes to that. I, and I think several of us can, uh, several of us have had that happen. I mean, you know, you didn't have Hot Wheels track unless your mother spanked your. Uh, but when my mom got me, 
It was usually bare butt. I can't believe I just said that, but you know, it was right on the bare back side with that track, and it wasn't the smooth end either. <laughs> All right, folks, check out this Kill Cobra set. So now that track snakes, right? Right, it's set up in various different con uh, configurations. Most of the people just, most of the kids just set it up and just wherever it is, it, it is. Putting books under it like I, I used to do. Mm hmm. It's a pretty cool set. It really is, and it has, it has the Mustang Cobra car? It's not in there. Oh, not the car, okay. The car is it, not with it? It was here, but I think he's gone. Ah! Aha! Check it out, folks. This is a cool little set here. Cool little set. Check that out there. What do you What do you need for that, Robert? I'd have to have 40 for this one. 40 for that set, folks. 40 for the Cobra set. Man, oh man, oh man. That is cool, cool, cool. Now, the car that was with that, was was that the, did that have the Corgi? Was it, mm, no, was this it the, was the red cobra? cobra. The red cobra. It had the cobra symbol on the front. Of the oh, okay, okay. And uh, that was the only way you knew that it come with the track set because it couldn't get any blister. Oh, really? It had the cobra on the. Oh wow, that's cool. All right, guys, what do you say there? How about the bid? How about a bid? How about a bid? That's a cool little track set too. The cobra. That's that's wicked. It's a nice little set there. What do you say, folks? How about a bid? How about the bid? How about the bid here? What do you say there, ladies and gents? What do you say? What do you say? Aha. All right. Well, we'll put, okay, we'll switch that out. We'll put something else up here on the loose. Um, a little uh, chrome Z-Wiz. <laughs> little chrome Z-Wiz there. Check that out, folks. Check that out. And believe it or not, believe it or not, I believe, and Robert, stop me if I'm wrong, but uh, you said five for that, right? Right. $5 start for that Z-Wiz. $5 start for the Z-Wiz there, folks. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, Char, it does not, it does not have the car. Uh, you said on that Cobra set? Uh, $40. It does not have the car. $40 for the set, sure, but it doesn't have the car with it. Although I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if uh, and somewhere in Robert's uh, wide collection of loose cars. I'm sure I probably got another one. I'd have to find one. So, uh, so yeah, you know, if anybody purchases that set and we do come across the car, we'll uh, we'll make sure that it gets with it. But in the meantime, what do you say there, folks? How about five for that Z Wiz? You know, get a Z Wiz in your collection. Have a, have a little talking point there. Yeah, I got a Z-Wiz. I got a Z-Wiz. I got a Wiz Z. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Now, Robert put something kind of interesting up front here, folks. A little black box 1963 Plymouth. And this is the Melrose Missile 3. Mm -hmm. Melrose Missile 3. So what can you tell me about that one, Robert? I'm not familiar that, with that particular that's one. That's one that ran against my father, and it seemed like every time we went somewhere, that's, that's who we ended up breaking on. Oh, man. Oh. There you go, it's folks. Really good. Yeah. I had to get it just, just because of that. Right. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. He was also sponsored by Chrysler. And had the good motors and stuff, and could beat my father. Mainly because we didn't have the money. All right. We wasn't a corporation sponsor. Yeah. I don't. You know, I like I like the grassroots style racing. Where you know you build it yourself, you run what you run kind of things. You know, but uh, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. That's a cool piece there. That's a cool piece. But yeah, when corporations started getting involved, and in I was. Um, there was a really cool documentary about uh, the uh, uh, the Hemi uh, when they introduced the Hemi into NASCAR, mm -hmm. and uh, how um, a lot of a lot of the teams pulled out. Then they banned it for a while. Then they allowed it, and then uh, and then Ford uh, brought out their higher horsepower motor, and then it caused a stink. And 
I don't know, corporations, I think, in a lot of ways, have ruined racing to a point. But, uh, but still, man, oh man, so that's cool. So what do you need for that one there, Robert? I have to have 15 ports. 15 is the start on that, folks, on the Melrose Missile 3. All right, all right. This, this is a pretty sentimental piece. Pretty sentimental piece for Robert there, you know. He grew up watching his dad run against this guy. So uh, check it out there, folks. Holy cow, holy cow. What's your, uh, what's your absolute uh, all-time favorite memory in your racing? Don Perdon picked me up by the back of my collar and set me in his drag drag car. Oh man, that would be flipping cool. <laughs> Dang almighty. Man, oh man. Holy cow, holy cow. Oh, nice little real rider Mustang. No. But, oh, yeah. Okay. Aha. Oh, we got we got some goodies here, folks. We got some goodies here. What do you say here, folks? 15 on the start. 15 on the start on that one. Check out this real rider. Check out this wicked little real rider. This is a Hot Wheels, by the way. Nice little Hot Wheels piece right there, real rider. Check that out, folks. How about it? How about it? How about a bid here? What do you say? What do you say? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a cool piece as well. All kinds of goodies here. All kinds of goodies here. So with this, uh, so this Melrose missile, would that have been the uh, toughest, you would say probably your toughest competitor? Or? That would have been our tough, my father's toughest competitor. Mm -hmm. uh, he ran a next wedge, my father ran uh, a 413 at the time. Mm -hmm. And eventually he did go to the max, max wedge when he painted red and got up there and was able to compete with him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who, who, what was your biggest rivalry in your Mine? career? Uh, just about all of them. Just about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I did it for fun. A lot of them done it. All right, we got five on the bid here. So, uh, so, so you just did, you say you did it more for fun, huh? Right. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so we got five on the bid here, folks. Patrick's giving us a five, and here we go. Here we go. Clock is hot. Clock is hot. We got a five on the bid here. Five on the bid. Five on the bid. Five on the bid. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Man, oh man, oh man. Another question I got for you, Robert. What was your scariest moment in your racing career as far as an on track? The scariest moment was when, and this was at Irwin Day. Um, my mother was the one that pinned the front, front of the body. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a little push pin that, uh, to help hold it up, and you twist it one, a quarter turn to make it lock. Okay. Well, she didn't do it. Oh no. And about a quarter of the track down, my body went up about 100 foot in the air. But when it did, it grabbed the, uh, the fuel tank, fuel cell. And so it became a, a fiery situation. Oh geez. Uh, part of the body got the firewall and it got into my hand. You can see where. Oh yeah, still see that. Yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, there's, that was about my scariest, because I couldn't see, and uh, David was beside me at the time, and I didn't know where he was with his car, so I was trying to, trying to just grip my teeth and hold on, and I prayed that, I said, please don't let me hit Right. Because at 200 miles an hour, you hit somebody, and it's, it's just... Oh, yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. It's hard, especially when you can't see. Right. Holy cow. Dang. <laughs> All right, folks, check this out. We have a Hot Wheels flat out. Hot Wheels flat out black wall. I can I can I couldn't even begin to imagine what that would be like. Uh, that I mean, let, you know, the body flying up like that. But then, of course, uh, then erupting into a fireball. That jeez, so Pete, man, it happens. Well, I know. I know. They say that you know that's the driver's biggest fear is fire. But 
There's my father at San Fernando Drag Strip right there. Oh, wow. And what's he running right there? He's running that same body style. Oh, okay, the same as that Mopar, uh, the, uh, the mm -hmm. Melrose Missile 3. And oh, then, wow. And then he bought this car. Now, this is when I, this is Don Perdon Snake right here, okay? Mm -hmm. He's actually, this, the tall one in behind, where are they there? Mm -hmm. And uh, I was standing back here watching his car while my father was getting ready to race. And he picked me up by the collar like this and he <laughs> me in, in the car. Oh, man. Wow. Now, I'm at, these these were the ones you were talking about with a handful to race? Right. The altars, they uh -huh. are really tough to handle. I bet. Oh, man. <laughs> man, oh, man. All right, folks. Hey, let me let me come up here. Let me show you. I'm going to put this photo up here, folks. Uh, Robert was... I, I think you may have seen this one already, folks, but... Uh, the car in the front of the line here is Robert's father. Uh, and you said this was a what track? San Fernando Drag Strip. San Fernando San Drag Strip. San Fernando, California. There you go, folks. And it's the same style car that we're looking at right here. On that one right there. Man, oh man, that is something else. Absolutely something else That's there. That's just a copy of some family Oh, wow. Man, oh man, oh man. Alrighty, folks, so we're sitting on that one at 15. All right, let's get something else over here. Uh, let's go over here on the loose. We've got the flat out. Just looking for a five, looking for a five. Five on that one. What do you say there, my friends? What do you say there? Anybody like mail trucks? Hong Kong base, even. All right, folks, here we go, here we go, here. Take a look, take a look. U.S. mail. That may not be the best piece to be putting up here right now, <laughs> considering the way the Postal Service has been here lately, yeah, but uh, check it out. Hong Kong base, ladies and gentlemen. Hong Kong base, black wall. $5 is the start. $5 there is the start. And uh, I know we've still got a few supers in the backyard for, uh, out of Robert's. Ah, the Hawaiian. There we go. Somebody wanted the Hawaiian. Aha, well, let's get this up front. Let's get this up front straight away. All right, Johnny Lightning, 50 years. Here it is, folks. Here is the Hawaiian. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, right there. There it is, my friends. All right. So now, this car was sponsored by the state of Hawaii? It was sponsored. Actually, the state of Hawaii owned it. Owned it, okay. And they hired Roland Leon to race it. Uh -huh. okay. And Roman was actually one of the better drivers, better than Don Verdone. Oh, wow. Uh, he had a heck of a reaction time. <laughs> and he done so good that he was able to buy the, the whole thing from the state of Florida and keep racing itself. He oh, later wow. went into drag racing uh, top fuel dragsters mm -hmm. and really done good in that category as well. Oh, wow. Amazing. Uh, that's cool that you know the state owned that car initially. That's wild. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a really good looking piece there, folks. There it is, the Hawaiian. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say here? What's your start there, Robert? I will start at at fifteen. We need fifteen on this one, ladies and gentlemen. A little fifteen to get that one going. How about it? How about it? What do you say? There it is. That's a Johnny Lightning piece. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Take a look. Let me bring this. In a little closer, a little closer. There we go. Check it out. Now on the wheels, it says it's got the years because this is the uh, 50 year anniversary. So it's 1969 to 20, 2019. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Right there on the tires, folks. That's a good piece right there. There's a Hawaiian. I know somebody. I remember somebody asking about Hawaiians, and there it is. I don't remember who it was. Uh, I don't know. We get we get requests in there like that. We just can't remember them all from time to time. But uh, we try to get to them as we can. There. What do you say, folks? How about it? How about it? How about a bit here? Let's get in there and let's get it. Get in there and let's get it. That's a good little piece there. All right. So check that out. That I'll we'll leave that right here in the backyard. If anybody wants that? Uh, we do have a few supers, and you brought a few supers in, right? Mm -hmm. Check this out. Hey, Shardy, you got this one. It's a 2007 Ford Mustang Super T-Hunt. 
Now, uh, who else? Somebody else was asking about Mustangs just today. Here is the Super Treasure Hunt. Look at the rim. I love the rim pattern on that. It's like, what, 10 spoke or something like that? I don't know. I'm not going to count them. <laughs> but uh, that's a great little Super T Hunt there, folks. Check that out, man. Oh, man. That's a nice one. Then we also have, and this was my second ever Super that I found in the wild, was a 65 Ford Galaxy. First one I ever found in the wild was the pink 57. And here we go, folks, here we go. And I just scored my third one earlier this week, of course. So we got that Super. We have, oh, the King Cuda. King Cuda Super T Hunt. Where's that King Cuda? Uh, then we've got, looks like we've got, ooh, what's this? What's this, what's this? The Porsche 918 Spider. So the Porsche Spider Super T Hunt right here in the backyard as well. So check those out, folks. Some really nice Super T Hunts here. Really nice Super Treasure Hunts here. Check it out. Who will give me 45 to start the Mustang? Let's, let's, get the, let's go with this Mustang here. Let's go with this Mustang. That Spectra Flame paint on this is just killer. This is probably one of the better looking as far as color patterns on a Super I've seen in a while. That thing just really pops. It's a really nice Super there, folks. What do you say, 45 for it? Let's go, let's go. Any, any of the Supers that I showed you, 45 will start them. Right there, right there. I, uh, yeah, I tell you, ah. Man, oh man, good stuff here. Good stuff here in the backyard, folks. All right. So what we got, what do we got going on over here? Oh, a hot bird? Hot bird. Hot bird, ooh, check Blue that out, folks. With the flames. Blue with the flames. Instead of a black eagle, it's a white eagle. Aha, so a bit of a variation there. There is variations on that. Uh, Justin says, are we seeing his messages? Oh yeah, you're getting the orange 70 RLC Boss Mustang 302 and the 2021 RLC after work. Cool beans, man. There you go. That's awesome. Awesome there. All right, folks, check it out. There it is, my friends. That is the Hot Bird. Uh, Firebird along the side there. It's got the White Bird, so that's a variation. Just, and I don't think there's no high, higher price between the black and the white. Okay. I think they're about the same price. Oh, all right. So there you go there, there you go there. And your start on that is? Five bucks, folks. Five bucks on this thing. Look at this thing. I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is good. This is clean. It's got just a, just a few little blemishes. I mean, but think about this, folks. Look how good this is. Really nice looking piece here, folks, for only five bucks. Five bucks there. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Throw us a five. Throw the five and let's get it. Throw the five and let's go, 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 go. Hmm. Let's see here. There's so many goodies in this box. I tell you what. <laughs> All kinds of good ones here. Uh, let's go with a little front engine. What do we got there? That's the... I can't even read it. My eyes are going bad on me, apparently. Bernie... Oh, that's the one I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a few in here that I don't know, I promise you. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Motown, ah, oh, here we go, Motown Shaker. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, check this out. Right here from Johnny Lightning, it is the Motown Shaker Funny Car. Now check that crazy thing out. Man, oh man, oh man. Pretty good one there. So, uh, what can you tell us about this one, Robert? Well, uh, he was from Detroit. I don't remember exactly when he started running the, the exact NHRA my father did, mm -hmm. but it was way later in the game, and I did get to meet him. He is not with us no more. Okay. Uh, but he's a, he was a real good guy. Oh, man. It's a great looking car. It really is. Mm -hmm. Let me put, let me close it down here. Him in Chi Town used to have grudge mat races all across the northern states. Oh, what okay. they call the Chi Town Hustle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that car come through here a few times, but I don't recall seeing this one ever coming through here. 
And what do you need out of this one, Robert? Uh, ten to start. Ten to start it, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little ten dollar start here on that one. Check that out, folks. That's a good little piece. Nice flame work on that thing. I, I love how it's got the blue nose, and then it, it, it's got the two color flames, the orange, and then the, uh, uh, I don't know, would you call it yellow? I don't know. On the flames, it kind of blends in well with the orange there. Really good looking piece. What do you say, folks? Look, look uh, we got 10 on the bid. Doobie throws the 10. Doobie throws the 10. Let's see if I can hit the right buttons here. I'm looking at them upside down. <laughs> here we go, here we go. 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. Doobie's got the deal. We got Doobie on the deal right now at 10. Check it out there, folks. That's a good little piece, folks. Good little, I'm gonna step in front of the camera here. Excuse me there, ladies and gentlemen. All right. 10 on the bid, and Doobie's got the deal. Doobie's got the deal. I know Doobie likes nice drag cars, especially and anything pins oil. <laughs> if it's pins oil, he's generally all over it. <laughs> and this is a guy that's a, is a, he's a connoisseur of Camaros. Camaro connoisseur there. Here I we go. I have one he doesn't have. Oh, yeah, that big one? Yeah, that honking huge, uh, yeah, that crazy huge, like one ninth A scale M2. Sold, sold, sold. Doobie scores a good one there. All right. Good deal there, Doobie. Good deal there, buddy. All right. Man, oh, man, I went up to, ooh. You know what? Let's put this one up here. Let's put the uh, Indy Racer. Yeah. The Indy Racer up there. Check that out. Look at that nice little black wall piece right there, folks. That's a good little one there as well. Check that crazy thing out. What do you say there, ladies and gentlemen? What do you say there? Vintage little Indy style racer. And I have to tell you, you know, um, you know, Granted, you know, I've, my experience with working at Indy, I've not seen a lot of the older model car, style cars. They do bring them out every once in a while and take them out for a few laps around the track. Uh, it was really cool the year they brought the, Wa the Mormon Wasp out, which was the first winner of the Indy 500. Uh, that thing was blowing smoke, <laughs> blowing some uh, oil burning exhaust as it was coming around the track and then they had to put some uh, speedy dry down to clean up after it but uh, it was so cool to actually see it running on the track I mean so you know when you see these pieces it's just incredible check it out here folks what do you say what do you say how about a bid how about a bid there how about a bid how about a bid man oh man oh man I'll tell you what here. Okay, we'll jump back up front here because uh, I think we got. If I'm not mistaken. Let's uh, let's go back up front here and uh, let me come around here and see what we got still in the backyard. Like, uh, let, I cannot believe these are still here. I cannot believe that these legends of the quarter mile snake and mongoose pieces are still here. These are 35, right? Each. 30 each. 30 each. There's your snake. There's your mongoose, folks. $30 each here. Now pay attention, folks, because, uh, you know, there was there was the issue price, all right? And then by the time you paid taxes and your time to go pick them up, you had easily 25 in them to begin with. And Robert's only asking for 30 each. Folks, that's a steal of a deal on these. I'm telling you, you go to any collectible show and you're gonna pay a lot more than that for them. And there they are, my friends, $30 each. What do you say, what do you say? How about a bid here? How about a bid, how about a bid? We can sell them individually. Well, we like to keep them together, of course. You know, you wanna keep them together because they are, you know, it's, it's, that is just when it comes right down to it, that is the iconic duo as far as your, you know, your drag racing series is check it out there what do you say folks 60 for the pair 60 for the pair man that's a killer deal that is a killer deal for anything snake and mongoose absolutely anything snake and mongoose 
These two here are toy fair cars. Uh, what are they? Toy fair. Toy fair. New York toy fair. Oh, the Johnny Lightnings? Mm -hmm. Are they really? Yeah. I'll be darned. I did not know they ever did toy fair pieces. Mm -hmm. That's why we got 60 on the bid. John Cisco throws the 60. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. John Cisco knows a great deal when he sees it there. We got a 60 on the bid. 60 on the bid here. Legends of the quarter mile. I got to tell you, folks. I, 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 John's getting a good one here. Here we go. Clock is hot. 60 on the bid. 60 on the bid. Mr. Cisco stepping up, throwing it down. Throwing it down. These are great. Now, uh, these are Auto World. Uh, they're AFX compatible. Man, oh man, oh man. But then again, I, I would leave them. These, these are probably ones that I would never take out of the package. No matter how bad I'd want to put them on the, on the, set, on the drag set, nah, I'd leave them in the package. <laughs> you know, some things you just got to leave in the package. Uh, Mike Young and his candy striper and his golf Camaro. Yeah, you know, there's certain things you just don't take out of the package. And these would definitely be a pair of them right there. John cisco has got the deal. Here we go, here we go. Sit five seconds left on the clock there, and John's gonna take it. And that is sold, sold, sold. Good grab there, John, good grab. Thank you, John, we appreciate that. Good deal there, my friends, good deal. Now, Robert pointed out some on these Johnny Lightnings, and I had no clue it was this, that Johnny Lightning ever did toy fair cars. Of course, I said that the first time I found a muscle machine, uh, a, a muscle machine toy fair car. I'm like, no way, no way, no way, no how. But sure enough. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are toy fair. They only did 3,500 of these. Uh, John, no, thank you, buddy. We really appreciate it. Really appreciate that. That was a great deal. Here's your vicious bad. Now, check out the, uh, the badge here, or the coin, whatever you want to call it. One of 3,500. So that, that's how you tell that it's a toy fair piece, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Here's the vicious vet. Firestone tires. Now check that out. That's cool. There's your vicious vet. But man, I gotta tell you, Johnny Lightning makes a wicked El Camino. They do make a killer Elko here, ladies and gentlemen. Check this one out. Once again, one of only 3,500. There's your Elko. Got a couple surfboards in the back there. And oh man, there you go. Cool beans here. Check these out, folks. These are Toy Fair pieces. Uh, $20 winner's choice or $40 for the pair. What do you say? What do you say? The Toy Fairs, man. When do you ever see Toy Fair cars for under 40, 50 bucks? You usually don't. <laughs> so. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Check these out. How'd you come across these, Robert? I had a feller that actually went to him, and he had a whole case of them left. Oh, no kidding. And, uh, he asked me if I wanted to buy them, and I bought every one of them from him. Oh, hey, I don't blame him. Shoot, yeah, man, cool. All right, folks, there we are. Check it out. Toy Fair cars. Do uh, you know which uh, Toy Fair it is? I really don't remember. Hmm. Uh, I won't say it's like 93 or 92 or... Okay. It's in that area. Yeah. Oh, wow. These are cool pieces, folks. What do you say here? What do you say? $20 for choice, 20 for choice, or just grab the pair for 40 Just save us the time here and just throw that 40 at it. Throw that 40 at it. Add a couple Toy Fair cars to your collection. What do you say there, folks? I mean, you know, a couple cool Toy Fair pieces there. What on earth you got over there? Oh, we gotta switch that camera. All right, check this out, ladies and gentlemen. John Hoover Showtime. Oh, he man. always won the best looking card every time he showed up. Mm. And he would show up at every track with a different pay job, but it was always as nice as his. I mean, he, he really mm. had a nice paint job on his car all the time. Wow. Now, did uh, a lot of these drivers have multiple bodies that they would... Uh, or, they did. Or, or would they just repaint them from race to race? No, they had multiple bodies. There's certain bodies they would put on for certain tracks. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but the thing about it is, if they wrecked that body, they had to have the exact same body to put on it. They couldn't change to a different body style. Even though they used to do it, NHRA got strict to where they couldn't couldn't change things. Ah. Uh, because there was times that uh, people lose their body and other racers would all get together. And, you know, if they used their friends' body to win the race, mm -hmm. it happened. But they don't allow that too, too much anymore. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Man, oh man, that's that's cool. I, I and now these bodies were what fiberglass? They were fiberglass. Two people can actually pick them up and tow them off the car. No kidding. So the the majority of the weight in these cars is generally the motor, correct? It is the motor. The motor was where you got your center of the weight from. Okay. And then and how did they? <coughs> was there any specific way that they would? Uh, what, what put weights in the cars right, to they did offset? use lead weights on the front. Uh, I don't know if they have any on here or not. But a lot of times, especially right up underneath the fuel cell, mm -hmm. there would be a lead weight okay. of some kind. Uh, depending on how much the car wanted to lift, mm -hmm. is how much more lead they would add. Oh, wow. Because uh, I, know, I know from time to time, um, now I've not seen it. I've I've not seen it in any uh, any in any drag races, but occasionally in NASCAR, you know they'll have the lead weights packed into the frame to kind of offset the driver weight. Right. And uh, every once in a while, you see those fly out on the track, and that results in a big penalty for the team. But uh, wow, I, I just I wondered if they ever did that because I know the power that these things put down mm -hmm. is just insane. Well, they're a, a, a rocket without wings. Yeah, basically. That's exactly what they are. Yeah. Because, yeah, they go from, what, zero to 300 in, like, uh... Four seconds. Four seconds? Shh. I can't imagine. I mean, your, your, you know, your passenger jet planes don't even do that. They're, they're running real close to 9,000 horsepower right now. That's a lot of horses in, in the motor. Yeah, you know, when, when, you, when you try to picture 9,000 horses, you know, that's it's, just... It's just hard to picture. <laughs> Man. All right, and your start for this is going to be? That one there will be 10. All right, and Doobie's throwing the 10, folks. We got 10 on the top here. <coughs> got Doobie in here at 10, the Doobster with 10. Let me reset here. For somebody thinks we're, we're at 60, we're actually at 10. Check it out, and here we go. Clock is hot. Doobie with the deal. Doobie with the deal right now. Check it out there, my friends. Check it out there. And, hey, Doobie had a couple good scores the other day uh, on it. A local Walmart run. He found a super and a he found the chase version of the square bodies you brought in. All right. Yeah. He put he put a picture up on the diecast uh, TV collectors page. Right there. So we congratulations, got, Doobie. We got Doobie with the tin. Doobie with this one for tin. Great little grab here. Great little grab. So he would always always have a different color, huh? Always a different paint job. Wow. He he was. Even though he was a good competitor, uh, he never won a championship, but he always won the best looking car. Hey, well that's saying something. I mean, that's, you know, because these cars are all, I mean, they're all awesome. I mean, you know, they're, oh, yeah. the, the paint schemes and everything, but wow. There's several of them out there. They, they weren't out there to win the championship. They was out there to have fun. Uh-huh. Well, that, really, I think in result, that's what it should be all about. You know, I know racing's got to be such a big business that you know it's just anymore. Uh, oh, for those, oh, for those days of yesteryear, as they call it, you know. Doobie with the deal there. That's a good grab there, Doobie. Good grab, good grab. All right, what do we got for up front here? Oh my goodness! Ah, one of your neighbors here. Yeah. Oops. Here we go, folks. Check this out. We'll jump up front here. Top fuel legends. We have. Don Garlitz wins Charger. Now, this particular piece, it's front engine, and I remember you were telling a story about how um, he lost his toes to the flight. He did. Don Garlitz lost the front of his foot because the clutch pack right there where his foot would be at mm -hmm. exploded. Oh my gosh. And it cut the car in two. Oh, wow. And he, he was actually tilted forward looking at the ground 
and uh, that's the most famous photograph in drag racing history. Oh my gosh. Check that out, folks, from the Top Fuel Legends there. Sheesh. Uh, now, the collector card I noticed is missing. Yeah. But uh, check this out, folks. That's a good looking piece there. Good looking piece there, my friends. What's your start for that, Robert? 15. 15. Looking for a 15 here, my friends. What do you say? What do you say? A little 15 for this one. Let me give you the. Let's bring you up the wide shot so you can see the full card that it's on. Top Fuel Legends. Check that out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What do you say there, folks? Looking for a little 15. A little 15 for Big Daddy Don Garlitz. The Winds Charger. Man, oh man, oh man. You know, I, I know, you know, uh, when you look at videos and stuff, and you see some of these insane accidents, you know, that these drivers have had, you know, you, you wonder how they ever walked away from them. You know, it's just, it's something. Felon throws a 15. We got 15 on the bid from Felon. 15 on that bid there from Felon. I did that one time, and uh, I actually, actually wound up calling a 911 by accident. I was at a concert in uh, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Mm. Stage the car stepped on it. Everything went firing and black. Holy crap. I remember I thought I was tumbling down the drag strip, but I thought I was at speed. I probably yeah, blew the clutch in the lights with a lot of clutches that blown in the lights in those days. And it didn't come to a stop. Oh, I actually need to go to close up pan for them to really see that. For a second, I'll bring the close up, close up camera up there. All right, so, uh, whoops, 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 there we go. So, we got the close up cam. I've got Felon at 15, Felon at 15 on the bid there. All right, whenever you're ready, there. There we go. There you go, right there. Yep. All right, now, this is the incident we were talking about where uh, Big Daddy had his. Uh, had his problem. So I was prepared for something stupid to go on, but I didn't know what. Stage of car stepped on it. And everything went firing and black. And th that's one where he uh, took off part of the strip, right? correct? I thought I was at speed. I probably blown a clutch in the lights because a lot of clutches had blown in the lights in those days. And it come to a stop, and I realized I hadn't went very far at all. I was on the starting line, something else had happened. I had no idea what it was. Oh, wow. Man, oh, man. That's something else, folks. Whew. We got 15 on the bid here. Felon's in on this one. Felon is in on this one for 15. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, here we go. I tell you what, we're learning a lot. We're learning a lot here. You can, it really kind of puts everything in perspective. You know, when we see the die cast pieces here and then the stories that go along with them, something else. Goods. Ah, man. You can only imagine. I was actually there. I wasn't sitting in the grandstands. Mm -hmm. But I did see it, so. Wow. It was bad. I was actually a young kid then, so. It was one of my bad experiences of seeing something like that yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, I, I unfortunately, you know, when things like that do stay with you, um, I was working safety at Indy, um, and they were running, when the MotoGP motorcycle, you know, were running uh, the, the road course there at Indy, and they had a another division uh, where kids uh, from, uh, they were from, uh, I think it was 8 to 16 was the class, and these, these motorcycles would haul, and uh, a nine-year-old was in the front of the field, lost it, and uh, he slid on the track, but he immediately, what they teach him to do is, uh, instead of getting up, and especially when there's traffic coming, you throw your hands up. Mm -hmm. So he, he sat up and he had his hands in the air, 
But unfortunately, there was a huge pack behind him, and he got he got drilled from behind, and he died right there in the track. You know, okay. you know when you see those things, they like you say, they just it just it's something that never goes away, something that sticks with you, and that is sold, sold, sold. Doobie's got that one, or not Doobie, uh, Felton. I'm sorry. Boy, uh, no offense to either one of you guys there, calling <laughs> calling Felon Doobie. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. <coughs> in trouble now. Yeah, that one. That you know, that was that's probably the one that affected me the most out of all the things I've seen working at Indy. I mean, I've seen cars you know get up into the fence and just totally be destroyed, but the driver walks away. Right. You know, and well, unfortunately, in drag racing, there's a lot of bad things that do happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I was there when Don Garlic, or not Don Garlic, but Don Perdone, almost gave up drag racing. Oh man! And, uh, it was right over here uh, in Louisiana, uh, down at the end of the track, just as they went through the lights. Uh, his protege right next to him, he hit him, and of course he killed him and everything. And the cars both just. Oh wow! And Don, John, Don couldn't take it when he got down. When he got down to the end of the track, uh, he just told everybody he's finished. He's, he's not going to drag race anymore. Mm -hmm. He couldn't take it. Oh man! But he he bit the bullet and he come back. You know, you have, when you fall off a horse, you got to get back on. Yeah, that I know that that's what they tell them. And if they don't, you know, and you know, yeah, you're finished. Yeah, that's it. All right, so what is this? This, uh, this is Jerry e Eckers. Oh, Eckman, okay. I think. X, X man. No, Eckman. I could never pronounce it. I'm terrible with names. Yeah, Eckman. Uh, he won the Pro Stock Championship a couple of times, and this is Penn's old car. You said you mm -hmm. that you had somebody here that loved Penn's old cars. Based yeah. On drag racing. Yeah, good old Doobie. Well, there's about as pinned old as you can get in <laughs> about as drag racing as you can get. Uh, that's for sure. That's <laughs> for sure. And what's your start? It's missing the front tire. Is it missing the front tire? It sure is missing the front tire. Oh, no. I'll be blamed. I apologize. Hmm. I bet oh. you we got to, there's got to be a beater around here that we can steal a tire from. Man, oh man, oh man. We're getting so caught up in our stories here, folks, because I'm I love I love love learning. I love learning the stories behind these cars. I think I believe you guys do too as well. And uh, I think that's you know whew, something something cool. Okay, I found one. I took the tires off the other one. Hey, there we go. All right. It went too fast, says Fat Boy. The car went so fast it lost a wheel. There you go. There you go, there you go. It went so fast it lost a wheel, but we found it. We found it. Robert's, uh, Robert's replacing it right now, and we'll have it back up there. I've got Char has thrown a 10 out there. Robert, what are you looking for for that? Uh, we'll start at 10. All right, so we will start it at 10, and Shar has given us a 10 on the deal. 10 on the bid there. All right, check it out, folks. What do you say here? Little tire repair going on there. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, let me pop something else up front here real quick. Now, let's pop up this one, a new casting from, from Hot Wheels. It is a 67 Camaro, the worldwide in the gold metal flake from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage Series. Check it out there. Check it out there. Uh, no, it's, um, oh, who did Robert say that was? I, can, I could not remember the name. Doobie Stone 12 at it. Doobie Stone 12 at the pins oil piece. Uh, Doobie will go fight tooth and nail for pins oil cars. Well, the tire's on it, but I ain't got it on the good yet. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right. So. We're still working on that one, guys. Hang on. So we got Doobie right now at 12 on the loose. Doobie at 12 on the loose. And folks, we've got a there nice we go. come here. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Are you ready? Now we're ready. Okay, so now let's go back over here to that loose side. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> we'll jump back over here. Check it out. There it is, folks. And we've got 12 on the bid right now. Doobie's at 12. All right. 
right, so let's drop that down a couple bucks right there at 12 and we'll hit the clock. All right, take a good look there, folks. Take a good look. Man, oh man. It looks like I still don't have that one on good enough, but it's there. It's there, that's the important thing. It's there and uh, I'm sure whoever whoever gets this can will definitely make sure it's on there properly. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's on there. I don't, I don't, I can't really tell a difference. All right, here we go, guys. Let's clock that critter and go. Here we go. We got 12 on the bid. 12 on the bid, 12 on the bid, 12 on the bid. 12 on the bid there. Check that out. Crazy cool piece of stuff here. Great little piece. Pins oil. Um, oh, what do they call these? Um, Pro Stocks. Pro Stocks. That's it. Mm -hmm. Draw a blank. They had stock, super stock, and pro stock. Okay. And then they had modified, which actually turned into the pro mods. Mm -hmm. And then they had eliminated that. Oh, okay. Because there was, the pro mods got it to racing the same speeds as the funny cars and stuff. Shoot. But they was really, really wild. And there's a lot of bad accidents and a lot of people getting hurt. So mm -hmm. they, they just eliminated the program period. Oh, wow. Here we go, folks. 12 on the bid here. 12 on the bid, and Doobie's gonna grab this one. Sold, 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 good grab. All righty. All right, ooh, what you got there? All right, this was the one he kept taking the uh, championship away from. Aha! Uh -huh. This has got Jeff on. Um, look at that. Look at that. That's a cool looking car. There you go, folks. Mopar. Every time you'd go to a track, you'd see either Daryl Alderman, mm -hmm. Jerry Eckman, or Scott Jepper on up in the last two, the very last race. Them three always battled against each other so much. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Cool beans here, folks. Take a look at this thing. I tell you, a lot, a lot of these paint job, paint schemes and stuff in these cars are artwork, man. I'm telling you, They're just some really good looking stuff here. Man, can you imagine the blur that that thing going down the track? What do you say there, folks? That's that particular car has been on its roof a couple of times. Has it really? Oh man, man, oh man, oh man. So now that that scoop on the front there, mm -hmm. that that forces air down into that forces the air down into these humongous 1200 CFM dominators. Mm -hmm. uh, they are carbureted, they don't, they're not allowed to run fuel injection or uh, blowers, it has to be naturally aspirated motors. Okay. Uh, they, are, they did just recently change some uh, rules in the clutching area, area but I don't I'd have to read the new book. It's been a while since I've read, read the book. So. Yeah. Wow. All right, folks. So what do you say here? Check this one out. What do you say? How about a bid? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Man, oh, man. Doobie, you need this one to line it up next to the next to the Pennzoil one. As you heard, uh, you heard Robert tell, at least two were neck and neck. What do you say here, folks? How about a bid? How about a bid? How about a bid here, ladies and gentlemen? How about it? How about it? How about it? Muscle machine. Oh, man. Muscle machine makes killer pieces. All right, folks. Nobody on that one, huh? Nobody can jump in on that one. Well, 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 well. All right. I'll tell you what. What do we got? here. Steve Carbone? Car Steve Carbine. Steve Carbine? Right. Carbine. Yeah. I don't know if you guys seen this one yet today, but check it out. There's another cool little front ender. He's, he's one that just didn't run that many tracks at all. He, he's one that really liked to uh, play mm -hmm. more than try and make money. Ah. But he did become uh, very big in in team car racing. Steve was, I forget who he uh, pit crew for, but it was real big and he done good there. Oh, Not okay. as the racer, 
and Ed Horton. As a crew member, oh, okay. Well, there you go. I know, I know a lot of your, um, I know a lot of your, uh, oh, shoot, the pit crew, uh, the, uh, the oh, what are they called? Crew chiefs, a lot of the crew chiefs, especially in NASCAR, were all former racers in some form or another. Mm -hmm. But they more, you know, uh, and they found more success up on the box than they ever did behind the wheel. Right. But cool beans here, folks. What do you say? Nice car there. How about a bid? How about a bid? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it there, folks? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll jump up front here. I've got a Ram, Ram Charger. Ooh, I like this car. I like this car. Wait till you see what we got up front here. Johnny Lightning NHRA Legends. There it is, folks. It is the Ram Chargers. Shoo. Man, oh man, look at that beauty. That's some killer white. Look at those stripes. Good little piece there, folks. Good little piece on that one. Leroy Goldstein. Goldstein or Goldstein? Goldstein. Goldstein, okay. All right, that's a cool piece. Now, this is from the 1971 season, according to the card. I'm reading the card. I don't know, so the card's telling me a little bit. And then, But check it out, folks. That's a good one there. That's a really cool-looking piece there. Man, oh, man. Phew-wee. What do you say there from the Funny Car Legend series, the Johnny Lightning? All kinds of good cars here today, folks. All kinds of really good, cool cars and even cooler stories that go along with them. Right there, I gotta tell you, oh man. There's that new bank box. Oh yeah. All right, folks, I'll tell you what, here, let's put something up front here. Uh, let's see here, uh, we'll start with this one and then we'll go with the other one. This one's a little more colorful. Check this one out, folks. This is cool stuff here. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Check it out. I kind of pulled the uh, front end off of it just a little bit there to kind of show you what it does, and then I'll put it back, of course. I will put it back, but... Uh, so what, what do you call these, Robert? These were pro mods. Okay, these were the pro mods. And okay. we changed them up over the years uh, while they were racing mm -hmm. to different categories. And they finally just eliminated the category. There were so many people really getting hurt in, in these particular cars. Okay. But I loved watching, and I really got to where I wanted to build one mm -hmm. myself and run. They look cool. I mean, they they look wicked. So I imagine they were wicked fast. You you say they were getting up there at the same they speeds? They were running about the same speed as my cars. Oh my gosh! I noticed the fact it's got a crazy <coughs> super long. Um, what do they call that, a wheelie bar mm. in the back there? Incredibly long. So that tells you right there, they were definitely laying down the horsepower. They had, you know, that kind of a bar back there to keep them on the ground. Man, oh man. And what are you looking for? I'm fishing to see if I can pull up a pro mod racing for you. Aha, there we go. Man, oh man. These are just incredible pieces here, folks. These are muscle machines too. Muscle machines before they were M2. And real rider tires even folks, real rider tires on these beauties. They are something else. What do you say to my friends? Can we get a bid here? How about a bid? How about a bid? How about a bid here ladies and gentlemen? There's, that's the stinger. Hey guys, right now we're getting and this one says hot and nasty on the hood. Oh, on the side of the hood, the hood cover for it. I like that. Check this one out. I'll put two of them up here. We'll put them up here side by side so you can see. Check those out. Man, oh man. Oh, oh my. That's not wild, baby. Once those things start sideways, you can't catch them, can you? Man, oh man. 
What do you say here, folks? What do you say? What do you say? How about a bid here? How about a bid? How about a bid? A couple wicked little monsters right there. Man, whew, those things would haul the mail, as they say. Wow. Matchbox really stepped up their game, didn't they? With their premium, they sure did. Phew. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's Hot Wheels rims. <laughs> those are Hot Wheels rims there. Of course, granted, I know Matchbox and Hot Wheels are one and the same, but... But man, oh man, now this is what we've been waiting to see out of Matchbox. And check it out, folks. Man, oh man. I know Mike Young got one of these. I saw a photo. I've not seen this one yet until just now. Check that thing out, ladies and gentlemen. That is killer cool. Man, oh man. I tell you that. That right there. Little Henry J. Little Henry J, huh? So there's a bit of a story behind that one, or? Uh, not really. Matchbox just wanted to bring something out that was different that they hadn't done. Well, that, I have to say, that's definitely. They really stepped up right there. For a Matchbox, that is killer. Really good piece there. What do you want to start that at? I want to start at 10. At 10? All right, how about it, folks? What do you say? That's got, that's got real rider tires on it, even. That's unbelievable. Matchbox Premium. That is a beauty. Man, oh man. Cool stuff here. What do you say, folks? What do you say? Give me a 10. Give me a 10 here. Give me a 10. Whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. I'm gonna... It took me forever to find that. I bet. Let me clear that clock there. What do you say, folks? That's a good one there. Man, oh man. Oh, wait. That is one super cool piece, without a doubt there, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say there? How awesome is that? Oh, wowzers, what do we got? Oh, I see what we got here. A little Blue Max English leather. Dang. All right, folks, I cannot believe nobody's gonna jump on that one. Wow, that's got some weight to it, folks. That's not your typical matchbox right there. All right, here we go. We have none other than, oh, that's cool. Movie. Check it out. I'll hold it up here, folks, because I want you to see, uh, see the inside of this thing. Take a look there. It's got some great detail. Let's close her back down, and we'll let the wheel do its thing. And what do we got there, Robert? Raymond Bay, Blue Max. Aha! In the Western category, he was one of the very high contenders. But he had a problem at the last. He had a problem right by me. Mm. Uh, I really don't know if he ever got a handle on that. Uh, but I don't, I can't remember him ever seeing him at Gainesville mm -hmm. or up at uh, uh, Chicago. So I don't know if he ran this area out here or not. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I, t I tell you, that's got to be. Hitting that light just right has got to be a challenge. Yeah, there's some good ones out there. Unfortunately, I wouldn't want to. Mm. Uh, I was a point nine, and there's some that do a zero point nine, and that's low. I that even even at point nine, that's that's you can't blink that fast. No, uh -huh. you can't. I mean, jeez, how much of that would you say is more instinct than um, that's that's where you really work your foot in your eyes constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, instincts, no, uh, it's a reflex. It's more of a reflex. It's okay. More of a reflex. Yeah. Wow. It's a, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, and that's something I never did. There were several drivers that actually bought a Christmas tree and had a simulator just to try and get better at the reaction. Mm -hmm. But, of course, no two Christmas trees are alike, though, right? No, no, no. You can't judge each. Every one of them seem like you, they, they a different time as they mm -hmm. drop down. Do you, now, would particular events, would they, would they from, from um, say, from the qualifications to the elimination rounds, would they change the order or the timing on the lights? No, they would not do that. But they did change the lights itself. 
from different categories. Hmm. In the Pro Series, you went from stage, yellow, go. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a drop, 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 and then go. Like they do in bracket racing and stuff like that. I mean, you, it was a split second, and you better be ready to go. Oh, man. I, 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 whew. I'll tell you what, that's, um, wow. Compare that to coming to coming, you know, taking a green flag. A little, I yeah, yeah, definitely more. Got to be more skilled, more skilled with those lights. That's for sure. Wow. Just, just about every one of your races is one into light. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I noticed when I, you know, when I watch uh, watch the finals and stuff that uh, the even though uh, you know somebody else ha had a faster trip down the track, they got beat at the start. Right. And that's when, that's how they got beat at the line. They were had a faster top end speed, but they didn't get off the line as fast. That's right. Now the way they they measure the top end speed, you have three different lines at the end of the track. You have this line, you have your wind line, then you have your your top end speed. Your speed is measured from here to here. Mm -hmm. And so, even though you come across sooner. The other fella could come across faster and still get a good top speed, but he'd lose the race. Because, because he just didn't get off at the, at the light. Right. Man. Oh, man, folks, that's, that's incredible. That's incredible stuff there. So what do you say, folks? How about a bid here? Anybody on that one? If not, if not, we'll put something else up there. We'll throw a couple. Of, we got all kinds of goodies here. This is a 100% hunter. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, this is cool. All right, so here we go, <laughs> folks. Let's switch this out. We'll switch this out. This is this a uh, passing gasser? No. Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Hundred percent hot wheel there, folks. Check it out. Whoo, that's sweet. That's a wicked little beast right there. Check that thing out. There, right there. What do you say, my friends? That's a good one there. Good one there. We're looking at 20 to start this one, folks. We're looking at a 20 here, 100% Hot Wheel. I've never even seen this one before. And we've had a lot of the 100%s come through here. We've had a lot of them come through here, folks, but I have not ever seen this one before. And we're looking for a 20 here, folks. Robert would like to see a 20 on this one. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? How about a bid here? How about a bid? How about a bid? How's about to bid? Good one, my friends. Good one, good one, good one there. How about it? How about it? How about it? All right. Oh, let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, my goodness gracious. A couple pieces. I'm going to have to ask him about when he gets back. Sweet stuff here. Sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. Hey, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, let me show you. I've got a regular tea hunt. But it's, it's not, uh, I'll tell you. It's something a little special. It is the Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker Treasure Hunt right there. Check that out, folks. Bone Shaker Tea Hunter. Now, Robert would like to see 15 for this one. Looking for a little 15 there. How about it? How about it? How about it? How about it? For the Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker Tea Hunter there. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Pretty good looking piece there, folks. That is a pretty awesome little ride. My, 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 my. All right, guys, I'll pull that one and uh, now, Robert's got a bunch of these. He's just wanting $5 for folks like this one right here. We got a little Ferrari. Little Ferrari. Robert said any of those are five bucks to start. So what do you say there? Check it out, check it out. Looking for a five, looking for a five. Looking for a five on that one. How about it, my friends? What do you say, what do you say, what do you say? Looking for a fiver there. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Alrighty, 
my friends. What do you say here? What do you say? Anybody for the Ferrari? Anybody for the Ferrari? Uh, hey, let's put up a nice little 67 Camaro. So little 67 Camaro, $5 loose, $5 loose. $5 loose one right there, how about it? Little $5 loosey goosey. All right, and we'll jump back up front here because I have a Johnny Lightning Holiday piece. Nice little Johnny Lightning Holiday, classic 2006. It's the 68 AMC AMX. Check it out, folks. $10 start here. $10 start. $10 start on the Johnny. $10 start on the Holiday Classic. $10 start on that Holiday Classic. Check it out, folks. Check it out. Check it out. No, Rick's here. Rick's here. He just he wanted me to uh, he wanted me to do a program with Robert uh, Delaney, and uh, so I, I came in early. Uh, whether or not I'm alive for prime time remains to be seen. But uh, so yeah, I came in today. Uh, Robert's taking a little break, but we've been sharing. We've been having. We've been learning quite a bit here today, folks. Quite a bit here. Now we're looking for ten on that one there. Uh, Robert, I do need to step out for a second myself. So okay, I'll turn it over to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can. You can. Little uh, AMX by American Motors. Yeah. Uh, I had actually bought an AMX myself back in 1970, 72, somewhere in there. No, excuse me, 76. Uh, and it was just like that. It had the 390 motor in it. It had the red stripes. And uh, you talking about something that was fun? This thing would always always pull the wheels off the front and I really enjoyed the car uh, it just wasn't that fast I had a roadrunner outrun me so I ended up having to get me a roadrunner let's see nobody on the Camaro we'll put a a G body up. A famous one that everybody knows. Whoops, wrong, wrong button. I'll figure out which button it is here in a minute. Till he gets in here until I get the right right camera. But anyhow, uh, I'm asking Tim for the holiday classic. I do have another holiday rod here, but this is a Hot Wheel. It's a 67 Camaro. Real riders. In the green. And I guess nobody wants the green. I did have the white, blue, and the red one. But they are long gone. Those Johnny Lighten holiday pieces are awesome. I especially like the chrome colored ones. Mm -hmm. even, even in the Hot Wheels ones. I can only imagine with those, you know, if you actually put those up in the tree and then get the multicolor lights going. I've actually done that. Uh, my tree last year had a bunch of Hot Wheels and Johnny Lightning. Oh, wow. It was nice. Folks, I'm asking 20 for this holiday ride. That's a good deal. 
designed by Larry Wood. Uh, oh, the 67 Camaro. Holy crap, Real Rider tires. Guys, that ain't nothing. Which one of these buttons do I need to push for that? It is the third one over on the top there. Should be that one. Yep. There we go. Now I've got the right button. There's your key <laughs> body that I told you is pretty famous everybody knows. Well, that thing's clean, good and spacious. Look at that thing. And this, it'll start in a five, folks. Wow. What do you say there, my friends? That's a good deal. Ooh, five bucks there. G body, holy cow. Now I know they call those retro slots on the newer, you know, newer casting when they put them out there, but what would the, that, that, that's not what they're referred to though on the originals, right? No. Uh -huh. No, those are just regular basic wheels, what they call them. Regular basic wheels, okay. That's wild. Nobody on the holiday ride? Hmm. Can't believe it, can't believe it. Man, oh man, that holiday rod is killer cool. Got a little CT in here, somebody might want. Oh, a little, yeah, a little Chevy, a little fleet side. All right. Oh, check it out, Auto World. Uh, real brighter tires, beautiful little piece here. Here's a square body for you folks. If you like your squares, there you go. Auto World muscle trucks. That's an awful good one, my friends. What do you say there? How about it? How about it? How about it? Started at a 10. A 10? Ooh. We don't even start all the worlds at 10. Oh. <laughs> uh, all the world. Now, these are true 164 scales, too, right down to the tiniest of details. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, the one good thing that I can say about Auto World is that their attention to detail is really good. Everything to scale, and you know you got it, man. That's kind of that's got to be hard to do. Uh, probably not much so much as hard as just time consuming to get it right. Right. And all your dimensions here, thing. Of course, they got computers that actually figure that out now. So yeah. It's not like it's real bad. Right. Get that. Uh, get that uh, 3D printer. You know. The, you can make your own things like that anymore, but what do you say here, folks? Great little square body, $10 start. $10 start, check it out. Auto World, Chevy, Silverado. I believe everybody must be taking their new nap. I'm wondering, I think it might, you know, it might just be that, you know, it's Wednesday. Wednesday's kind of one of those days where it's just kind of a blah kind of day at times. Man, that is cool, 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 cool. All right, guys, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, folks. What, uh, if you, uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you ask us if uh, we've got anything in particular. Maybe Robert's got something that we haven't put up yet uh, in his collection. If there's something you might be looking for or whatever, let us know. Let us know here and we'll see if maybe we can, uh, if we got it, <coughs> we, we can go from there. Now, what exactly is that over there on the loose? That's the good old boy's truck. Okay. Uh, that's next to, the purple one is next to one, one of the holy grails to find. Ah. Now, is this, a, uh, this is the uh, metal plate blue one. There's an enamel blue one and a lighter enamel blue one. Oh, wow. This is the one that's pretty common to find here. Man, Timmy's looking for a blue and orange Porsche GT3 Super Treasure. No, <laughs> I haven't found that one, uh, Timmy. I'm sorry. Blue and orange Porsche GT3 Super T Hunt. Ah, uh, I, I can't even keep up with the supers. Uh, man, oh man. All right, folks, check that out. That's a pretty cool looking piece there. Now, I would say though that uh, these are probably pretty hard to find with both bikes still in the back. That is because a lot of your customizers buy this particular casting just to cut the bikes off to make dioramas and stuff, paint up the bikes and customize oh, wow. the bikes for their low riders. Okay. That's a cool looking piece though. Ah, 
pipes coming out under the doors? Is that, that what I'm seeing there? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. And I noticed it looks like bigger wheels on the back versus the front. My father actually built one of these for a friend of mine's father, Larry Weber. My friend was Kent Weber. Uh, he had a pearl white one with a maroon top. Mm. And he put a 346 pack Dodge motor in that truck. And I fell in love with that truck. Oh, wow. It would hang on there in it and everything. And it was, I just really liked it. Man, that's cool. But he did let his daughter use it to go to college in, and she wrote Oh, she no. The truck out. Uh, ooh. Check this one out, folks. Look what we got up front here. Limited to only 8,000. Holy cow. All right, folks. Uh, the picture will say it all here. When you see it, the picture will say it all. Check it out. Give the toys. The snake. Don Pudon Dragster. This is what they call a code two. Oh, now they in the Hot Wheel uh, community they have code one, two, and three. Your code ones is what you go to Walmart and buy and stuff like that. Code two is these cars that you go to Walmart and buy, and then you send them back to Mattel, and they make uh, limiteds for you or whoever. And uh, but you can't do just one or two. You have to. Do five thousand, eight thousand, so far. They've ah. stopped doing that, but you used to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And MD Toys actually uh, bought up a bunch of these dragsters, sent them back to Mattel, and had them uh, redo them like this. Oh gosh! So wow. This is code two. Your code threes are your very big customs when you're only going to find one of uh, lawyer customizing mm -hmm. Now sometimes you'll find ten of. That blood uh, 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 bone shaker I had. Yeah. That was a Code 3 car. <sighs> Made specially, you know, for mm -hmm. that convention. Uh, well, I remember that was a that was a that was a wicked mean looking piece. Mm -hmm. Fred Crow wound up with that, didn't he? I really don't remember. I I can't remember. I know. But check this out, folks. The snake drags. There's only eight thousand of these. I mean, 8,000 of those, and what's your, what's your start on this, Robert? I'll have to have 30 on it. 30 on that one? All right, folks, what do you say then? What do you say? Only 8,000 of these exist, and uh, Tina Protecto, the card looks really good. Snake Dragster. Ah, man, that is just, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Painted up, it's painted up real nice, folks. Looks real good there. Yeah, you got the snake behind the wheel. Or, or I don't know. You don't necessarily call it a wheel, did you? Mm -hmm. uh, the, st <laughs> the grips. The grips. There we go. The it's grips. Just like they didn't have a, a foot accelerator. It was a stick. Aha! Uh -huh. So there we go. Got to get. Got to get the. You got to get the. Uh, you got to have the the load uh, the uh, jargon right when it comes to these things. Otherwise, who? <laughs> yeah, they didn't use their foot to push down on the gas pedal. They had had a stick right here, and it was full pull. Oh, okay. Oh man. Wow, wow, wow. Well, there you go, folks. Check that thing out. What do you say? How about the bid? How about a bid? How about a bid here? All right. I'll tell you what. We'll leave that one up here because that's a cool piece. Maybe somebody will jump in on that one a little later. Uh, looks like we got a couple police cars over here on the loose. A couple black walls. Black walls, your, your choice in color. Yeah. Check those out, my friends. Those are good. Those are good and those are cool. Ooh. See the stick I'm talking about? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, oh, man, I'm learning, I'm learning so much today. Holy cow, if I can only retain half of it, I'll be all right. Man, oh, man. All right, folks, there we go there, there we go there. Um, as you're looking at those, let me put something else up front here. 
Uh, check this one out, folks. Check out what's up front here. We have another, of course, another snake. Now this is the uh, now this is the vintage one, right? Right. This is the vintage. Uh, the vintage. So this is technically uh, I don't want to say repot, but it is a reissue. It is a reissue on that one. But check that out, folks. Good one there. Good one there. Good one there. Uh, Cody, I think we need at least five on those loose, buddy. Five on those loose. This is out of Robert's personal collection. So I would, ha I would have to be at five, buddy, all right? If you can give me a five on that, you got it. Check it out here, folks. Uh, on this one, Robert, what are we looking at here? What are you, what are you gonna need for this uh, one? I need 20 out of it. 20 out of this one, and I'd say it's on a really good card, folks. Really good card. I mean, take a look here, my friends. This is a good looking, nice looking Don Prudhomme. Man, oh man, oh man. So, now he pretty much, <laughs> I've seen so many different styles of drag cars that he has run over, ran in his career. In the early years, he stuck with the uh, Barracuda body style. Mm -hmm. And there was one time he did run a Vega body but it wasn't one year only. He didn't like it, it just didn't handle right to him, so he went back to the Mopar. Now let's see, Hobbins did those in the Drag Strip Demons, I think, right? right? They, they, had, did, they had a Vega? They did have a Vega body in the Drag Strip Demons. Yeah, wow. Man, oh man, so check it out, folks, a little 20 here, 20 for this one, that's a pretty good deal, my friends. What do you say there? What do you say, what do you say? How about it, how about it? How about it, folks? Hmm. Man, oh man, what, uh, let's see here. Woo! Mmm. So many good pieces here. So many really good pieces here. Uh, is this? That's this a, the snake. Now is this a custom or is this yeah. a? No, that's Corgi. Oh, that's Corgi. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And here's the Corgi Mungo. Oh, okay. Well, it tells you right back there. They, they came as a set. Oh, limited edition. They only did 3,600 of each. Mm -hmm. And this one is number 224. Oh, wow. Guys, check out the mon uh, check out the mongoose here. Man, oh man, oh man. I'll tell you what, here, yeah, let's see. So these are both corgi pieces. Mm -hmm. Snake and mongoose. Front engine of, uh, yeah. Front engine dragsters. Front engine dragsters. Man, the detail on these things is great. I also have the same exact dragster right over here, which is his first dragster to win a uh, championship and his last dragster to win a championship. Right oh, there. no kidding. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. All right, folks, so take a look at these. Take a look at these. Let me give you a close-up to show you the detail on these. All right, let's drop down here, and I'll run these through here each one at a time. We'll start, of course, with the snake. And uh, let me set it here. I'm going to be extra careful there. There we go. All right, check this out. As you can see, there's your driver. The driver's sitting in the, in the cage. And there it is, folks. That is a... The detail on these things, I guess for this camera, I'm gonna have to go up higher. Get that focus in there, we go. Now that is his first championship dragster. When he won his first championship in. Aha. Uh -huh. That's cool beans there, folks. And then let's get the let's get his longtime friend slash nemesis slash competitor. Tom get McEwen. The, Tom McEwen here. Man, oh man, oh man. This is before Mattel was involved. So check these out, folks. Great detail. Great detail here. Great detail here. These are corgi pieces. These are really good. What are you looking for here, Robert? I'd have to have 100 for both, 50 a piece. 50 I really don't want to split them. Okay. So we're looking for 100 for the pair, folks. 100 for the pair here. I've got their front engine dragsters, I've got the rear engine dragsters, I've got their funny cars. Okay, 
So there you go. If, what if you're looking for these in any particular type, he's got them. Robert's got them and they are up for grabs, but right now we're looking at these two beauties. And I'll tell you what, that's some, um, for Corgi, these are really good. Corgi done an excellent job with these. Looking for a hundred for the pair here, folks. Robert does not want to split them up and I don't blame him, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either here on these. So how about it, how about it? How about a Picasaurus here? Somebody want to throw a pick? And also don't forget guys, I tell you what, if, you, if, if somebody grabs that, I'll op we'll open the invoices. We'll open up that invoice so you don't have to pay it all at once. You can pay it down in a couple payments there. Pretty easy. Pretty easy there, folks. More than happy to do that. So what do you say? Somebody want to go a hundo here? A little hundred dollar for it. Some good stuff there. Crazy cool good stuff. All right, well, I'll tell you, let's see here. So we'll set those back. Um, let me try a smaller track set here. Let's try a smaller track set and see. And see, and see, and see, and see. We'll just keep mixing it up here till something sticks. Let me set this little beauty back over here because that's just, man, oh man, oh man. Guys, I'll tell you, you're seeing pieces here that you'd be lucky to see in any other collection anywhere, let alone probably even a museum. We have the Super Chrome Stunt Set. Hot Wheels Super Chrome Stunt Set here. Whoops. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, your Super Chrome Stunt Set. So apparently this track is black with white striped. Mm -hmm. Hot Wheels Super Chrome Stunt Set. Speed flat out, somersault through the loop. Whoa. It's a cool track set, folks. And that's 1977 or 78, somewhere in there. All right, so late 70s release. Man, oh man. No, it's 76. I'm 76, sorry. yeah. It's because right here it says, other Hot Wheels cars available early in 76. Collect them all. Formula Pack, Gun Bucket, Rock Buster, Formula 5000, Maxi Taxi, of course, the Poison Pinto. Jet Threat 2, Twin Mill 2, Corvette Stingray, uh, Kathy Cooler? Mm -hmm, that's the band. Ah, okay. Neat Streeter, Low Down, and the Street Rotter. Hey, check this out, folks. Now, this is a really neat little track. Really neat little track there. Let's see here. Let me lay it on. Oh, let me turn it over to the back here. There we go. Show you a little more detail to this thing. There you go, and right there. Now this, now I know as kids we all did this, either on a stool, a kitchen chair, or even the coffee table. Coffee table, table most of the time. Yeah, most yeah most of the time coffee tables. Check it out, folks. Great the little set. Table was too tall. Uh -huh. Yep. So here we go, folks. I'll tell you what. The start on this thing blows my mind because uh, he's only asking thirty-five here for this set. Only asking 35 for this set, folks. Well, it is missing the cars. It is missing the cars, but still, still, still I mean, you can't, you can't even buy that track. You can't, you know, they don't make that, the track in that color. I don't color. have that particular car, but I do have a car of a different color. Mm. But any of the Super Chrome, man, oh man, Super Chrome stunt set, that's cool. So what do you say, folks? How about a bid here? How about a bid? How about a bid? We'll go 35. Who'll give us 35 for that set? This is an awful good set, friends. I gotta tell you. All kinds of good stuff here. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the type of car that should have been with it, the uh, Rock Blaster. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see the picture on the front. It's yeah, just not picture chrome. on the front. And here is the car. Now, that's not the super chrome version, but there it is. That is the car. There is the car that would have came with the set. So check it out, folks. What do you say here? What do you say? What do you say? Who will go 35 here? Who will go 35? Complete, except for the car. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild, pretty wild. It's a good little set. All righty there, folks. Nobody got nobody on that one? All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's 
see, let's see here. All right, so we got this one. We showed the Johnny's. We showed the crisscross of that one. Let's see here. The photo finish one we had up, the Cobra we had up there. Anybody like Ford panels? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, Ford panel, tow and go. Ford panel, tow and go. Johnny Lightning. It's a cool piece of folks. Real Rider tires. You get your panel, you get the travel trailer that goes with it there. Nice little piece. This is what a it's a 55 Ford panel delivery with small travel trailer. Small travel trailer tow and go right there. It's even got the propane tank right there on the front. Right there on the front. And oh man. I don't know, maybe it was just me and my evil thinking, but I always imagine being off of a distance with a rifle and popping those propane tanks. <laughs> Problem is it blow everything sky high. <laughs> Uh, Dave, looking for a 10 here, buddy. Just a 10. 10 on the tone go. 10 on the tone go here, dude. What do you say? They only did 4,240 of these. So that's that's a for that's a low print run. It's a low run to begin with. Johnny Lightning. Yeah. When they run usually around 9,000. Right. Now they're getting, Auto World's even getting up to 20,000. So. Mm hmm. Yep. For sure. Now Hot Wheels, their last. Um, their last, well, it's Hot Wheels Collectors Club now, or whatever, not RLC, but that, uh, I think they did 25,000 on the, uh, the the semi they just had out. Yeah. So yeah, the numbers keep climbing. Dave says 10, all right, so here we go. Dave Savard's gonna jump in here at a 10. So let's hit that clock, 10 on the bid here, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. Now that piece is making me hungry as I'm staring at it on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> We got 10 on the bid here, folks. Dave has got this one. Johnny Lightning Tow and Go. The most iconic promotional car out that I know of. Yeah, I can't think of one more famous. Definitely cannot think of one more famous or as well known, that's for sure. All right, folks, here we go, here we go. Dave's got the deal at 10. Dave has the deal right now at 10. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say here? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Looks like Dave's gonna take this one. <coughs> All right, I will start writing the ticket. Usually when I start writing tickets, other bids come in. Yeah. Just the way that works weird sometimes. But I don't think so this time. It's sold, sold, sold. Dave grabs that one. All right, nice grab there. And of course, now over here on the loose side, we have probably, as Robert said, the most iconic promotional car ever. Of course, the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. And I just saw not too long ago, they were looking to hire drivers to drive that thing across country. That would be kind of a fun gig, I think. It is, but they only want young ladies. Every one of them, the drivers that they hire is young ladies. Hmm. Why, I don't know. Never understood that. I'm not going to ask them why. I'm not going to cause no problems with it. But yeah, they just want one young ladies. Well, my twisted way of thinking on that would be, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, I, I won't. I won't, even, I won't even mention that. But but uh, if you ever get to see the car in real life and you meet the driver, it's, it's usually a usually a young lady. Hmm. I don't know if they have a better history of driving something like that or, or I really don't know what to tell you maybe they just pop it could be uh, could be maybe a little more uh, um, maybe a little more responsible or yeah. I don't know I don't know what the deal would be with that <laughs> sex sales I hear you Pat. yep well I was going that route but I wasn't going to say it I wasn't going to say it but yep that it does, but check that out there. Oscar. If anybody wants it, five dollars and it's yours. Hey, five dollars for the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Is that the first? Is that the first one? First no, edition? No, that's the one that's got the black wheels. It doesn't have the chrome wheels. That's oh, the okay. One. Okay. There you go, folks. What do you say? Five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. What do you say there? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Uh, 
And do they sell hot dogs? <laughs> do they make hot dogs? Um, well, I was, I, my thought had something to do with how they would cook them, but uh, I'm not going there either. Yes, Dave, they still still do them today. I still still buy them today myself. Yeah, Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Hot dog. yeah, you can still get them for sure. And definitely still get them. All right. Ooh. Really? Did Chet Howard see this beetle? I don't know. I don't know. You know, and I, I keep telling myself, I'm not going to get in that game that Rick plays. Does Chad Howard have this Volkswagen? Uh, not me. <laughs> not me, not me, not me. Because Chad told me his wife hates it when we play that game. Hey, check this out. Now, this is cool. Uh, you know, Johnny Lightning did a series that was called Project in Progress. Mm -hmm. And you had several really nice, iconic pieces that you saw as basically barn finds. Well, check this out. 1975 VW Super Beetle Convertible, Project in Progress. Uh, look at that, you got primer paint there, you've got, you got runny rust spots, I mean everything, everything that could be cool about this piece, you're seeing it right here. Nice little Johnny Lightning, now there's only 7,786 of these, and this is in the Barber Yellow Slash Primer. So it's a good looking piece right there, folks. And uh, for Johnny Lightning, just looking for a little $10 start here, folks. A little $10 start. Uh, Dave says, I don't think we can get the, get the Oscar Mayer up in Canada. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Dave. Don't know, buddy, but that, nothing would surprise me. <coughs> nothing would surprise me here. Check it out, folks. $10 here. Looking for a 10 for the project in progress for the BWs and Johnny Lightning Street Freaks. Street Freaks piece there. What do you say? How about a 10? How about a 10? How about a 10 here? Let's go. Let's get it. Come on, come on. All right, my friends. Ooh, with the bike. Nice. Nice, nice, nice there as well. What do you say here, folks? Anybody for the Beetle? Man, oh man, oh man. Can't even sell a beetle today. I suck. <laughs> All right, folks. Ooh, we got something cool over here on the loose side. Check out your loose. Check out your loose. Ooh, Goodyear panel. Real Rider tires. And it has the bike. There you go, there you go. That's cool. And our video froze. Our video feed is froze. Test, test, test. Guys, can you hear us? Oh, the wheel. It was the wheel that stopped, not the video. <laughs> but it got their attention, I think. <laughs> Patrick puts a 10 on it. All right. Are you good with that? With that? I'm good with that. All right. Here we go, folks. We got 10 on the bid here. Patrick's going to grab this one. Let's get that clocker going here. Good, nice little Goodyear panel there. Is that from this, uh, what they call the Slick Ride Club? Yeah, or is that the, from the Slick Ride series? Okay. Good piece here, folks. 10 is the bid. Patrick's got the deal. We got Patrick in here with a 10 right now. Dave, oh, Dave's firing an 11. We got a little action here, a little action in the auction. We now have an 11. Now have 11 on the bid. Rick keeps, to bring it, keeps forgetting to bring that new turntable in. I don't think he actually has a new turntable. Patrick goes 12. Patrick goes 12. I think he's just pulling our leg. I think he's getting your hopes up that we get a different turntable in there. Uh, one that, you know, this one's not clicking as bad as it used to. Either that or I'm talking more than I usually do. I don't know which. A little of both. And here we go. We got a comment from the glue gallery. <laughs> Glue, glue, glue. What's up, buddy? It is hot out there today. It's, it's warm in here. We got 13 on the bid now. Dave goes 13. Dave jumps up to 13. Now 14. Now 14. Now 14. Doobie in there. Doobie throws a 14 at it. Now we got 14 on the bid. We got some auction action here, folks. 15 on the bid now. Now 15. Now 15. Now 15 on the bid. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. Patrick back up on top of the 15. Oh, 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. 15 is the bid. Patrick's got it right now. Patrick has it right now at 15, 15, 15. It's clicked, done, clapped. Try to say that three times fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be like trying to say, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's mate three times real fast. And believe me, that one never comes out right. Here we go, folks, here we go, here we go. Patrick's got it right now for 15. I got a little five seconds on the clock. And that's going to be sold, sold, sold. All right. Patrick with the nice grab. Cool, 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 cool. All righty there, folks. Now, holy crap, this is real writers. All right, folks, now this next piece, it's missing the hood, but it does have the real rider tires. Check it out, check it out, check it out. It does have the real rider tires there, folks, so that's not nothing to begin with, as you can see right there. All right, now, with that said, that said there, it is missing the hood. Still, it's a good looking little piece there, folks. What do you say? 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 That boy says, I can't watch on Twitch. It just keeps buffering your internet. Your... Ay, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Here, here we go. Here, here we go. Here. Um, give me a bid. Give me a bid. Give me a bid. Give me a bid. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Alrighty, folks, I'll keep bringing some pieces up here. We'll keep running a few things through here. Alright. Let's see here, let's see here, let's see here, and let's see here. What do we got here? Give Robert set up here. Ooh. Alright, let's go up front. Folks, I have a Matchbox Premier Collection piece here. A Matchbox Rig Series 1. We have the Ford Aeromax for Midas Auto Sys Midas for Midas. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Midas. Great little matchbox piece there, folks. Check that out. One of only 25,000 to begin with. So that's pretty doggone cool. That's pretty doggone cool. Uh-oh. Oh man, I've never seen it in that color either. In pink. In pink. Check this out, folks. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Nice little matchbox there. Oh, a signed chair. Oh my goodness gracious, that's sweet. Here we go, folks. There, right there, matchbox premier. Midas Auto, Ex Midas Auto Systems Experts. All right, all right. I prefer the Trust the Midas Touch commercials to the ones they have now with that guy that everything turns to gold when he touches it. Yeah. You know, I, I get the reference. I do get the reference, but what's your start on this? All right, Dave, Dave, okay, we got 10 on the bid there. And Robert's like, yep, that's what I want. So here we go. We got 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid here, my friends. Yep, 10 on the bid. So let me drop that down by five and we'll hit the clock. Clock is hot here. Ten on the bid. Ten on the bid. Ten on the bid. Ten on the bid. Ooh, buddy. Wait till you uh, see what's coming up next. And it definitely isn't nothing. Oh, wait a minute. That's not saying it right. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to talk about. That's right. Ain't nothing to talk about. That's it. Here we go, folks. Ten is the bid. Dave's got this one. That's old Bill Jenkins' grumpy toy is saying. I got that big old stogie cigar hanging out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Grumpy's toy. Boy, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a cool name for, you know, 
for the, I, I know we got the white chase piece up here for that. Grumpy's toy. Sold, sold, sold there. All right, guys, check this out. It's a purple passion woody, but folks, it's pink. All right. Larry's Garage, purple passion woody. Beautiful pink color, the wood, uh, wood door and sides there, surfboard sticking out of the back. But as we turn it over this way, uh-oh. Well, by golly, uh, I see uh, somebody's signature under there, a uh, little Larry Wood signed chase piece here from Larry's Garage. Check the head out, folks. Now that's something. That's something, that's something there, that's something there. Twenty-five. Twenty-five for this one, folks. First of all, the pink color I think is harder to find, right? right it's the hardest one. Hardest one to find out of the set. Uh, so that you know, it, it's a premium right there to begin with. And then we have, of course, it is signed. It is signed. So we do need. We're looking for twenty-five here, folks. Twenty-five for this one. Larry's Garage signed Chase. It's in a protecto. It's in a five-dollar protector. Also, so check it out, folks. Good piece here. Fat Boy goes 25. Fat will throw the 25. All right. We got the 25 there, folks. Great little sign piece here. Hard to find pink. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Clock is hot and running. Fat Boy's got the deal right now. Fat Boy right now, 25 bucks. Good little sign chaser, real rider tires, white wall. I always, I always get a laugh when I, I don't know why. Something about white wall tires just tickles me. I, I don't, I, I don't know why. It just does. It, even when I was, I, it started when I was knee high to a grasshopper. I think you know because I was just used. You know, my dad was a oh, truck driver, and so you know, he would always if he had his either fifth wheel when he was driving those, or you know, he'd bring a semi tractor home and. Of course, it had the big black tires on it, and I think what, something about just seeing white walls on wheels just kind of made me giggle. And I think to this day it still does. It's just weird. Well, it's big over in California, so. Oh, I know it, it's huge. Uh, white wall tires are coming back strong, and that's going to be sold, sold, sold. Fat boy with the deal. Good score there, man. I had 189 loose ones on my coffee table, and a lot of them are Roberts. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Thank you, Fat Boy. Now, Fat Boy, you're not going to free this one, are you? You're going to keep it carded, I hope. Oh, not that it matters, because these signed chase pieces sell, sell pretty much the same loose as they do carded. It's just, you know, it's wild the way that works. All right, folks, what do we got next here? What do we got next? What do we got next? LAPD. Hey, let's, yeah, let's do that one. Uh, on the LAPD. Ooh. They actually built that car. Some kids actually helped the police department build that car. Oh, no kidding. And that's how it came about. And it kept, these were kids that were constantly getting in trouble. Ah, okay. 16, 17 year old kids. They just got them off the street and got them to do something. And they would let them come to the track with them and then help pit crew with the car and stuff. So it kind of become a big thing in California, in Los Angeles County, actually. Uh, they didn't really race it anywhere else mm -hmm. because, you know, it's just the kids couldn't get out. Right. Uh, it so was that's a real cool. big thing. That's cool. So that is one of those programs, you know, like you said, it got kids off the streets and gave them a sense of purpose. Right. Showing them that they can do whatever they want in life. That's cool. And it was a fast Camaro. That's a wicked little piece there. So there you go. The Johnny Lightning Dragster USA. And I'm not sure how do you pronounce that last name of the driver. Tony uh, F O T I? Mm -hmm. Fo Foti? Foodie. 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 Yeah, right. Foodie. So Tony Foodie. There you go. The LAPD. That's a good little piece there, folks. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Give me a 10. 
Give me a 10, give me a 10, give me a 10. Give me a 10 on that. Collector's Breakthrough, limited edition number on the base. Maybe I better look at that. Limited edition number on the base. Yep, yeah, okay, I see that there, that's cool. As you can see, it does have it stamped right there. The, the real wheel. And there you go, $10 start here, folks. $10 start on this one. Usually, uh, I, for some odd reason, any, anything police related, especially like uh, the DARE programs, those cars are always, always hot sellers here. What do you say here, folks? What do you say? Looking for a 10? Looking for a 10? 10 will get you going here. 10 will get you going here, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? Check it out. Check it out. How about it? How about it? How about it? Alrighty, I'll tell you what, let's cruise through the backyard of, of what Robert has up here, of some of his stuff, and uh, we'll go through that, and then we'll try to get a couple other pieces up here uh, before we call it an afternoon here. So let's do a quick backyard tour of those pieces. All right, do we put a 10? Uh, yep, but see it's not showing up, it's not showing up there. Uh, yeah, I see it right here. I see it five times now, five times now. We got 10 on the bid here, folks. 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. We gotta get that fixed. Oh, that's driving me crazy. 10 on the bid here, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Doobie's got the deal. Doobie's got the deal. 10 on the bid there, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. The sixth time he put it up, it shows up. It's yeah, not even up here on the side one. But yeah, there it is all right there. I was in the front, guys. I didn't have my phone with me to watch the Twitch feed. Sorry about that, Doobie, but hey, we got it, buddy. We got it, we got it, we got it. Here we go, here we go. Doobie on the deal. Doobie on the deal for a 10. 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid, 10 on the bid. Doobie's got it. Jeremy, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you uh, letting me know there. Oh, that's why I'm glad you guys are paying attention because man, that's helping me. I don't like missing bids. I hate it. Here we go. Here we go. We got ten on the bid. Newbie's got the deal. Off work now. I can hear you all. He says. <laughs> sold. 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 All right, newbie. All right. Good stuff, good stuff there, good stuff there. All right, guys, I will, we'll show you uh, some of the stuff in the backyard here. They all come out of Robert's collection. What is this? Is this something? That is something, it's not mine, it's y'all. Oh, well, we won't worry about that. We're not gonna worry about that one right now. We're gonna worry about Gooby cars. Very rich. I mean, uh, Robert's cars here. All right, so hey. So let's do a backyard tour. Oh, hang on. I gotta switch the camera. Sometimes my brain quits working. All right, folks, so here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have some Super T hunts still. All right, we got the King Cuda. Any of these Super T hunts here, 45 will start them. We got the, of course, the great little Ford Galaxy. That one's pretty cool. We have the Porsche 910 Spider in the Super. Of course, ah, this I'm surprised this one's still here. I guess we just don't have Mustang fans in the house. That 2007 Ford Mustang Super. That's a great one. All right. Then of course I've got that hundred dollar pair snake and uh, snake and mongoose uh, corgi pieces, hundred for the pair on those. And we'll go. We'll have to I'll have to show you those more on a wide shot, of course. Oh, <coughs> uh, uh, let's see. We have the white chase version of the '57 <coughs> Chevy Bel Air. Extraction Ultra G, muscle mach muscle car USA Auto World slot car. That's the good one, but that's not the best one. 
just in my opinion, it's this little beauty right here. Grumpy's toy. Little Nova, too. Oh, yeah, little yeah. Nova, ooh. Uh, the, the, a bad Timmy, any of those supers, $45. 45 bucks there, bad T. 45 on any of those supers. All right, so there's Grumpy's toy right there. And uh, I know you've got a few stories about Grumpy, don't you? Yeah, Grumpy was actually one that didn't like to be interviewed and stuff like that. Uh, he would walk away. He was a good person, don't get me wrong. And he wouldn't cuss you or nothing, but he just, he was a very private person. Yeah, yeah that's understandable. I get that, yeah. You know? Good, it's a good looking little slot car there, folks. That one's pretty cool right there. And uh, you're looking for what out of that? Some of you, I was thinking 75. Yeah, I believe that's what it was. Yeah, I was thinking it was 75 on that. Which is cool beans after the chase. Oh, oh we have, oh, we have, ah, uh, we have Dick Landy, the 64 Dodge 330. Mm -hmm. that's, he also raced against my father in that car. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, folks, uh, I said it earlier, the stories that go when you see these cars, the stories that go with them, uh, it just, it really, it really brings it more to the front, really brings it more to life, you know? When you know some of the stories behind these things, it's really cool. So there's that one. All right, what else we got here? Of course, we have, we still got the Hawaiian, got that cool Hawaiian right there. That one's nice. And folks, we're still sitting on the white lightning pair, the Honda Civic Hatchback and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Dual, dual two pack attack here on the white lightning, dual whites. A couple really cool ones there. Definitely a couple cool ones there. I don't know if we got any JDM guys in the house here. A couple really cool white lightnings. We got those right there, folks. All right, let's see here. What else we got? Ooh, oh my gosh. No kidding. 1983 release here, folks. Hot Wheels Extras with removable accessories. Oh, guys, this is way cool here. And oh man, how often do you see vintage carded Hot Wheels? The 31 Doozy. 31 Doozy, the uh, top of it's right there with the removable accessory. And check this out, folks. Ay, 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 look at the back of the card. Show you the back of the card here. I did, fat boy, I most certainly did, buddy. Cool stuff. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Check it out, my friends. That is a beauty for you. Right there, the Beach Patrol, it says Beach Patrol on that card, that's really sweet. Uh, so we got that one. Oh yeah, we got, uh, we do have a RLC Willie's Gasser. A nice little RLC Gasser, Gasser, Gasser. The Blue Willies. The Wild Blue. That Spectre Flame Blue is killer. It's a great color on that. Great little color there on that one. All right, folks. Uh, that's a lot of the, back, uh, Robert, uh, the cars that Robert brought in in the backyard there. We still have, of course, let me reach across the camera here, a faux pas, uh, something I shouldn't do, but I did it anyway. We have the 71 Ford Bronco Goodyear, M2 Goodyear piece. Right there, right there, right there. Check that out. Check that one out, folks. That's pretty slick. That's pretty slick right there. And that's only a ten dollar start on that on the good year, on the good year. Uh, the Auto World, uh, we do have the. Uh, I have a square body in the Auto World here, out of Robert's collection right here. The square body truck in the Auto World. Right there, folks. All right. And then uh, the other, the other Auto Worlds are the the slot car chases. Those white. Chase slot cars. All right, folks. So there we go. There, that's a that's a quick tour of what's in the backyard. There. Uh, didn't know if, if you've seen anything there you liked. 
or would like to look at again, let me know, all right? <coughs> let me know then, I'll be happy to put those back up. All right, guys, gals. All right, my friends, all right. Whew. Let's see here, what other kind, what else? So we got a couple minutes yet, a couple minutes here yet. All right, Patrick, the Bronco, the Goodyear Bronco, ten dollars start on the on that one on the um, on the square body. Same. Same. So it'd be ten dollars start on each of them, Patrick. Ten dollars start on each. On the Bronco and the Black All World Square Body right here. So if you want to throw a 20 on the pair, we'll sell, I'll sell it that way as a pair, but whatever, however, 10 bucks, buddy, 10 bucks for either one. 10 on each, he says, all right. All right, all right, all right. So here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we'll go to the wide, whoops. That's the really wide shot. That's not the wide shot I wanted, okay. Uh, so, okay, we'll start it at 10. We'll start it at 10, Patrick's at 10 on each. 10 on each, so I guess we can treat this as a winner's choice here. We'll treat it as a winner's choice. We got 10 on, Patrick's gonna go for both of them. And there you go. That cool, that Bronco's really cool. That Bronco, that's one of the cooler looking Broncos I've seen. Looks really neat, and of course we've got the black square body there, and Patrick's got the deal at 10. Patrick has the deal at 10. Good stuff there. All right, as we counter down here, we got uh, 15 seconds left. Patrick's gonna take them both. Good deal, good deal, good deal here. Sold, sold, and sold, all right. All right there. All right, my friends, if there's anything else here um, from Robert's collection that you've seen that we can pop back up there, let us know real quick. I have not showed this. Uh-oh, what are we not? Oh, let's put up a, yeah. All right, guys, we got a nice little 124th here. Uh, now, Diecast TV had one of these not too long ago, but, uh, a little something about that one was that uh, the spoiler was not attached to the trunk. This one is attached all the way. So this is a 71 Plymouth Cuda 440. 124 scale from M2. I love this paint. I love the colors here. That purple, that lime, and that white. Well, purple and white were my high school colors. But uh, that lime is a kind of a cool piece there. <laughs> Alright folks, so what do you say here? What do you say here? Robert, what are you needing for that? I at least give my money back. Alright. So we're looking at uh, $25. Alright folks, you heard it right here. $25 will start it. $25 will start it on the 124 scale. And that's a great, look. what I like the, the uh, steering wheel in there, it looks like it's a wooden steering wheel. Well, they actually came with wood steering wheel. That's what I thought. I and mean, wood pistol grip shif shifter. No kidding, mm -hmm. oh man. That's some cool stuff here, folks. Cool stuff here all the way around. Rapid Transit Systems, it says on the back. Plymouth four, Cuda 440 there. Check it out, folks. What do you say, what do you say, what do you say? 25, he just wants what he has in it. Man, oh man, oh man, what do you say, folks? How about it, how about it? Anybody for the 124th? Hmm, nobody, nobody, nobody? All right, folks. I don't know, I don't know today, ladies and gentlemen, I know Wednesday. Wednesday's crazy, Wednesday's crazy, right? All right, my friends. Hey, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I want to thank Robert, man. It was a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Great, 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 great. Learned a lot today, man. Learned a lot for sure. I, I know I may have asked a lot of questions, but you know, curiosity right. sometimes gets the better of me. But I was taught long ago, you'll never find out if you don't ask. Very true. Very true. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, we're gonna call it for this afternoon, there, folks. Uh, 
Now, prime time, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm pretty beat. I'm, uh, as you guys know, I was here really late last night and then uh, turned around and got here early today. But uh, we'll see. Uh, just watch for the announcements there uh, when, we, when we launch. Uh, if I don't start right at 7, I'll try to start right in that time frame if I'm still on my feet, folks. All right. So, but hey, on, on behalf of Robert, myself, and everybody else here at Diecast TV, folks, thank you all so much. And thank uh, you. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Uh, a little bit later. In the meantime, though, we're going to take you over to the stream store for now, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. This is the new Japanese historic set number three, the 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. Check out the real riders, the metal on metal, very cool looking Mazda. If you want to pick this one up, type in the item number 60536. That's 60536. What's that 75 on the card, you say? Well, that's to commemorate Mattel's 75th anniversary. Formed in 1945, we have the new Circle Tracker in red in the L-Box, 2020 L-Box. Nice gold, red, white, love those wheels. From HW Race Day, Circle Tracker in red. Pick it up right now. Type in 13686. Type in the item number 13686. Hey there, folks. Here we have another beautiful design, of course, Hot Wheels Volkswagen. Out of this series, this is number 9 out of 10. There we go. We can see if we can get it up close. It says Hot Wheels Tire Shop on the side there. Uh, these trucks were actually a, a rear engine, so those little, those little slots you have on the side there are actually the slotted cooling vents for the engine. Got a little spear, looks like a little spear tire toolbox in the back. There we go. Check it out, check it out. If you'd like this one, just go ahead, type in 10658. That is 10658. Hot Wheel Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator, Nissan Comset 2020 Vision GT. Hmm. Look at this. You want the card? Just type the number 27041. 27041. Green light, baby. What a beautiful hauler. Check out this international Eurostar box van. Man, I love the people who serve our country. U.S. Army. Look at that, my friends. Thank you for your service. If you love Army vehicles like I do, you want to pick this up. Check out this gorgeous real rider, metal on metal, Army truck, international Eurostar box van. Get it now. All you have to do is type in the number 10098. That's 10098. Here we have another gorgeous one from M2, the 1964 Ford Econoline truck. Another limited edition piece, 8 of 8,075, metal on metal, real rubber, real chrome bumpers. There we go. Take a peek, take a peek. Got a little extra tire spare there going on in the back. If you'd like this one on its way to you, just go down to the comments, type in 10693, 10693. Alrighty, here we have another oldie but goodie. This is a 1999 first edition, number five out of 26 in this series. We have the old Aurora GTS1. Check it out, check it out. Look at that old big wing in the back. Got the gold rims and, of course, the Hot Wheel logo. And number seven on the roof. If you'd like this one, very simple. Down in the comments, type in 10674. That is 10674. Here we have another beauty from Auto World, limited edition, metal on metal, rubber tires, and the opening hood. This beauty, 2019 Chevy Silverado, LTZZ, 
Z71, excuse me, finished out in satin steel metallic. Take a look, take a look. Version A out of the release five. Look at that one. Beautiful, beautiful casting. If you'd like this one for your collection, you just go right down in the comments, type in 10455 for this beautiful Silverado. 10455. Well, here we have a 2000, year 2000, first edition. Norwick says, always grab the first editions and the final runs. Final runs and the first editions. Here we have the Lotus Elise 340R. Take a peek at this one. Little convertible. Little wing on the back. Big old fat tires on this one. Really big old fat tires on this one. Here we go. If you'd like this one on its way to you, very simple, down in the comments. Just type in 10663. 10663. Crimson Crusher, boys. Look at that green light, 1973 Ford F-250. Crimson Crusher. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that beautiful. Crushing the cars, it's awesome. That's an F-250, 1973. Beautiful headlights on that. What a great de attention to detail. Hey, if you like monster trucks, I got to tell you, green light makes the best monster trucks of all. So to pick it up, just get it. Just get it, get it, get it. Go type in the number 10721. That's 10721. All right, like I promised, here is the white counterpart. This is the teal. Johnny Lightning, legendary bad birds from the 50s and 60s. This is the 1959 T-Bird in teal with the teal interior. There we go. Metal on metal. Really good looking little car. If you'd like this one, great number here. Just type in 10700. 10700. Green Light Collectible. Indy 500 Hobby Exclusive 2017 Chevrolet Camaro Beautiful Camaro You want this car just type the number 13701 13701 Very cool, very cool 56 Ford, gotta love it It's got the patina It's got the cool color Blower What else you want in a truck And lowered Awesome Take a look all the way through, tubbed out, wheels, front ends, mean looking, pretty cool, pretty cool, that's for sure. HW Hot Wheel Truck Series is number two of ten. Don't forget to collect all the variations. There are a couple of them, so you want to get them all, and this is part one of them. So if you want to get this one for your collection, it's 10128. Just put that in the chat below, and it's yours. So that's 10128. Ross the Boss here with one of my favorite square body trucks. Take a look at this from M2 machines only 600 6880 made worldwide check this out it's a 1976 gmc sierra grand 15 custom yeah it's custom look at them pipes on the back sweetness all the way around let's take the front pretty awesome the hood up take a look at the back side not much to see but you know what's there beauty <laughs> it's got its smoke pipes you gotta love them all right the square body is a beauty and it's a premier edition limited you love it if you want to get one no problem just type in the number 10082 in the chat that's 10082 johnny lightning topper series replicas of topper originals this is the 1970 sandstormer replica how about that die cast metal body and metal chassis and man, it is almost just like the original. It's got the paint job of that dark brown with the chrome wheels and the real heavy metal bottom. The motor sits right up back just like the original. If you have a collection of Johnny Lightning, this has got to be part of it. So please type 60692 in the chat. 60692 in the chat. you got to have this Johnny Lightning replica. Here we have another fine one from the Hot Wheels Art Cars. This is number two out of ten. This is the custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. Take a look at all the graphics all over this car. I believe all of them in the series have little piece symbols somewhere located on them. But you just have this fully, fully covered. <laughs> Here we go. 
I like this series. I really do. All right. If you'd like this one, just go ahead. 10657. Down in the comments, just type in 10657. And here we go, folks. A new casting from Auto World and their Muscle Truck Series. Limited edition, one of 11,104. Here we have... Let's take a peek. Release 3, version A, 2019 Chevy Silverado Z71 Custom Trail Boss. That's a lot going on right there, isn't it? Here we go. Take a peek. Love those rims on this. And it is the Cajun Red Metallic. Cajun Red Metallic. So that is the version A. 2019 Chevy Silverado Z71 Custom Trail Boss. Boss, I wish you could feel how, how heavy this casting is. If you'd like this one, just go right down in the comments. Type in 10518. 10518. Well, look at this beauty, guys. Green light. GL Muscle Series. This one also comes with the bonus trading card. The 2016 Chevy Camaro SS. This baby in real life has a 6.2, 455 pounds of horse pressure, and this one is decked out in bright yellow with your black racing stripes. Here we go. There is, I believe, yep, there's six in this series as well. Alrighty, if you'd like this one, all you have to do, go type in 10634. That is 106. Three, four. Okay, folks, check this one out by Hot Wheels. Uh, of course, got a little rally car, a little Mini Cooper S challenge. This is number four out of six in the series. Got all the sponsorship and the stickers going down the side there. There you go. Little spoiler up on the back. I always try to get these, and you can see the little um, Boss logo up on the hood. Okay, if you like this one, just go ahead and type in 10549. 10549 for the Mini Cooper. Well, hello there, folks. Check out this beauty from Hot Wheels. It is the Rod Squad. This is number seven out of ten. It is the X Crate. Now, I'll take a peek in here. It has actually a clear roof. You can see through all the detailing inside there. It looks like a big old chrome engine in the back. Look, 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 look. Isn't that sharp? All right, take a peek, take a peek. I like this one. If you'd like to have this one on its way to you, all you have to do is type in 10653. 10653. Ross the Boss here with another Ross pick. Every time you see a Ross pick, you want to take a close look at what it is. Auto World Muscle Wagons, cool. Limited edition, cool. One of 4,000, cool. New casting, very cool. It's the 1976 Buick Estate Wagon, but hold on a sec. That picture and this car isn't the same. I wonder why. You know why? It's an ultra red. Ultra red sweetness. It's a pretty cool, it's a chase. You want to get this one, it is a definitely chase, so that's kind of cool. They make So the chases work like this. They made one of 4,000 in the regular casting, which is kind of cool. But then you take 2% of that, which means that there are only a few, like 80 cars. This is one of 80. This is pretty cool. So if you want to get something that's really cool and collectible, you want to get this, no problem. Just take the number 10145. Put this down in the chat below, and it is yours. So 10145. Check this one out, guys and gals. Green light, black, bandit collection, limited edition, very low, one out of 3,000. We have the 1974 Dodge Monaco. Little police lights up there. Here you go, chrome all the way around. There we go. If you'd like this one, just go down in the comments, type in 10626. 10626. Check out this Hot Wheels Mercedes C Class. This was two of four cars in the 1995 Race Team Series 4. It's got the Hot Wheels badging, the blue, the white, the red. Looks really good with the tail fin there on that C-Class Mercedes. If Hot Wheels was a real race team, they'd be winning a lot. To add this car to your collection, put 60641 in the chat. That's 60641 in the chat. Grab it now.
Okay, folks, here's another oldie but goodie a lot of people like. We got the True Grip tires. This is Matchbox. So they don't uh, call them real rubber. They call them True Grip tires. And, of course, the, the metal on metal, we'll just call it that. And then you have the extra little storage box in there, collector box. This is the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. If you'd like this one for your collection, all you do is go down into the comments and type in 10575. 10575. All right, now for something completely different. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a try on the, uh, and we're just getting into the slot cars. This is an Auto World four gear. Pretty cool uh, NHRA drag racing set. Uh, if you do tune in to Diecast TV, which you should, and uh, we do all give do a giveaway or do some raffles and stuff like that, and uh, last man standing, as we like to call it, and we were giving away uh, the prize was a uh, drag strip. So if you do have one of those drag strips, or if you have already one now and you want to get some cool drag cars or some funny cars, this is a beautiful Ronnie Caps NHRA funny car. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool all the way through. Take a look at that. It's pretty awesome. Oh, it's, these these Auto World uh, slots are pretty cool. The slots are you see nice and clean. Their magnets are cool. Um, they're red, nice and strong. So really cool. So if you want to get one of these, I thought we'd uh, put it in the old stream shot there. And very simply, just take the number one zero one seventy eight, put it down in the chat, and it's yours. So if you're a slot car fan, just take the number one zero one seventy eight, and it's yours. Alrighty, and here we go, here we go. Number 10508 is going to be limited edition from Auto World, one of 9,880. We have the 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS in the Capri Cream. This is release number four, version B. The only difference really on the versions of A and B is, is really um, the color. Again, this one here is the Capri cream and uh, it is metal on metal rubber tires the opening hood of course all right if you'd like this one just go down add in 10508 that is 10508 hey there all my diecast fans here we have a little zamic action going by hot wheels the 1971 datsun 510 wagon check this one out folks let's see take a look over here it has a gold gold interior take a look at the front over here excellent condition I don't know if this, this camera is going to pick this up I think you can see maybe a little bit of the uh, reflection of that that uh, gold interior oh there we go maybe that'll work a little bit better so folks if you'd like to add this one to your collection you just go in and type one zero three eight four it's that simple if you'd like this Hot Wheels, little Zamic Zamic going on, 1971 Datsun 510 Wagon. Just go right and click 10384. Again, just type in 10384. Hey, hey, enjoy Sprite. Yes, from M2 Machines. Check it out. 164 scale. Pretty cool. Premium diecast collection. You got to love this. And you know what? It's one of my favorites. V-Dub, V-Dub, V-Dub. It's the V-Dub double cab. And it's got the little camper on the outside. American version. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Pretty cool. All the details on the M2s are amazing. Look at that. All the way through. 1959. Double cab. Sweet as can be. And the green and white is pretty cool looking from M2 Machines. And if you think it's cool and you want it for your collection, I do not blame you. You want to get it. 10203 is the number. Put it in the chat and it's all yours. That's number 10203. Check out the green light here. Hobby Hobby exclusive Pennzoil 2017 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. Awesome color. Look at that beautiful paint job. If you want to pick this up, type in the item number 60537. That's 60537. 
Ross the Boss here with some cool cars. This is the Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle, and we mean muscle. This is the re the new uh, casting for this one. You gotta love the Buick Grand National. Of course, it looks wicked all the way through. Check it out, even right down to the small details of the logo on the side. Take a look at that. It's number three out of the five of that set. It's metal on metal, real riders. If you want it, no problem. Just type in the chat 10062. That's type in the chat below 10062. All right, here's another one I really like. I like this series, period. The Hot Wheels Art Cars. This is number 8 out of 10. The Cool Combi. Check it out, check it out. You got the peace signs up on the top as well. Big old wing back there. You got the little wheelie bar. And then you got the uh, two different color tires for the front and the back if you would like this pretty little casting all you have to do is type in 10651 10651 let's take a peek at this pretty one from green light from the Tlingua racing team number 07 limited edition metal on metal there we go you see the graphics up on the hood the racing stripe all the way up and over and this is a hobby exclusive. You can check out the bottom on that metal chassis, 0697. You have the limited edition number down the bottom. Let's see if there's anything up. There's a big old 07 on the back. If you'd like this one, beautiful, beautiful looking car. Look at that. And the card. Wow. If you'd like this one, 10641. Just type in down in those comments, 10641. Well, lo and behold, we got a little R world in the house, okay? A little Hemi's classic car. Pretty cool. <laughs> we got a less front drive face off. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So it looks like they put the Oldsmobile Tornado and the uh, versus the Cadillac Eldorado. This particular one is obviously a 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. It's uh, pretty awesome. In uh, Gre is it called Gratian White? <laughs> oh, take a look at this bad boy. Love the top. Love the two tone details. Are awesome on Auto World, all the way throughout. Pretty cool looking. Metal on metal casting. It's a caddy. Giant boat, that's for sure. All right, if you want to get one, no problem. Just take the number 10276. Put that in the chat below. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hit you up, and it's yours. So you just claim it at that. So that's 10276. Here we have another Johnny Lightning Wacky Winners. This is one of the top ten designs by Tom Daniel. Um, he's a famous illustrator um for model cars this is the t ranchula folks this is over 25 years old the copyright on the back of this card is 1996 comes with that little additional button and the limited edition number is on the base as you can see right there it says tom daniel illustrated so the t ranchula if you'd like to add this oldie to your collection very reasonably priced just type in 10495. 10495. Check it out. Dually drivers, even for the Florida State Patrol troopers. Gotta love it. Florida Highway Patrol F350 Lariat Ford. Gotta love it. 2019. It is cool. It's got all the Florida colors. I know because I see them every day. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool little dually, that's for sure. Great little setup. Great little set to collect. It's got six in the set. It's a limited edition. This is from Series 3. Uh, if you want to get this one and you want to collect them, no problem. It's number 10139. Uh, very simply put that in the chat. That's number 10139. Well, here we go, guys. Another beauty from Hot Wheels from the Quicksilver Series. We have the Hurricane, which is the Chevy Stalker. Check out the graphics on there. Here we go says fast on track and there's a whole bunch of graphics up there on the hood hopefully you can see that coming in all right if you'd like the chevy stalker on its way to you just down in the comments all you have to do is type in 10562 that is 10562 all right auto world check it out i love when they do square bodies and this is very cool uh again this was a it looks like a hemmings uh, motor news it was uh 
uh, featured in the June 2018 uh, magazine article with vintage pickups and SUVs. So this is a 1979 Chevy C10 Scottsdale Sport Square Body Beauty. And it's uh, red and black. The pink hoods are there. If you like how this one's painted, you want to do your truck up like this, no problem. Pretty cool detail. The Chevy on the back is nice. The front end is very cool. All right. Yep, no rust on this bad boy. <laughs> you got to love that. Metal on metal. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you want to get it and you want to get a collector, no problem. If you just want it because it's cool, no problem. Just uh, take the number 10282. Put that in the chat below. That's 10282. Just so you know, shipping. Everybody asks about shipping. Very simple. It's a dollar a car. And we have, if you're in the U.S., it's a box fee of $3.50. If you get over 50 bucks, guess what? Free shipping. There you go. Thanks again. See you later. And here is another one from that same series. This is number six out of six, of course, by Hot Wheels. Look at those big old tires. We got the Baja Bone Shaker. I guess those really wouldn't be mud tires. Those would be sand tires. <laughs> right? Look at all that chrome going on. Check it out. Really cool, cool looking car. If you'd like this one, just down in the comments, super easy. Just add in 10650. Type in 10650. All right, we got Johnny Lightning Chevy Copo Muscle uh, Muscle Cars USA. Uh, this is a, a set of Chevys that they did, a six-car set in two versions, a version A, version B, and this is the second release of them. So it's pretty cool. If you're a collector of Johnny Lightning, you want to collect them all, this is a great way to get all everything there. This is Forest Green Poly on a 1970 Copo, Yenko, Deuce, Nova. All the way through, it is a very cool, I'm sure it's a very fast car. You got to love it. Okay, so there's that. Let's take a look at the top of this. Pretty wicked all the way through. Back end. I like how that uh, Yanko stripes are coming back. I love the uh, racing wheels, the little red line around them. That's pretty nice. A little stripe on it. A little addition is nice. Okay, it's all the way through. Pretty cool car. Okay, so if you want to get this very simple, take the number one zero. 298 put it in the chat below and it is yours that's 10298 and let's take a peek at this beauty from auto world we have the 1971 ford mustang boss 351 this one here is on the cover from hemmings motor news that's the series this one is from limited edition one of 10,001 20 in medium yellow gold this one is version a there was uh six actually in this series and this is the medium yellow gold 71 ford mustang boss 351 rubber tires metal on metal opening hood would you like this one? All you have to do, go type in 10452. That's 10452. Hey, hey, Ross is here. I got some cool stuff. Check it out. Auto World Vintage Muscle. Yeah, it's cool. It's a 1968 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Ultra Red. It's an Ultra Red. Yes. <laughs> Check it out. It says new tools. It's pretty cool. It's a 1960. It's pretty awesome with the Ultra Red look. Gotta love it. Okay, it's got that. Usually the color of the paint is the same color as the card. All right, now this particular card has a little crease in the corner. That's why we've discounted it a little bit. Normally, this would be selling at a much, much higher price. But we've given it a super deal to you for today. If you want to get it, just type in the number 10165. Put it in the chat, and it's yours. That's number 10165. Green light, country row. 2015 Ford F-150 It's a really nice truck Look at this White truck Really nice You want that truck Just type the number 27039 27039 Love, love, love Yes, it's the Chevy Love And here's Ross with you all right, check this one out. If you're collecting them, I know some guys want to collect the whole series. It's part of the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. It's a 1972 Chevy Love and Green. Look at all those tubbed out wheels. Man, those things are fat. Gotta love them though. Look at those rims. Lower to the ground, blow it out. You want it to go fast? This one will go fast. It's a number nine of the ten of the series. And if you want to collect them, collect all the, all the variations of. Very simply, take this one. 
The number is 10130, and it's yours. So that's 10130. Hey, guys. Check it out. Check it out. From Fast and Furious, we have Roman Chevy Camaro. Check it out. All right, that's a, what, 67 Camaro RSSS, produced by Jada. If you'd like this one for your collection, just type in 10542, 10542. Attention Volkswagen diehards, I got your Samba van. Look at the Samba van hauled by the Alameda trailer from the Tow and Go from Maisto Design. Nice VW. I know a lot of you guys love the VWs. I got one here for you. All you have to do to get it is type in the item number 09014-09014. Matchbox, super fast, 50th anniversary, blue chart. Look at that beauty. Hmm, beautiful blue chart. You want this car, just type the number 13709. Well, okie dokie, folks. Here we have, this is one of my favorite castings on these. It's from Auto World. A lot to say on this. It is a new casting variation. This one is the version B. I've mentioned it before. The type of versions are usually just the difference in the schematics of the color of the casting. This one here, as you can see, is white and that's it there's no particular white it's just white it is a limited edition one of 10,120 and of course it is the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT premium series release number four there we go she is a beauty if you're into the muscle cars you gotta grab this one all right all you do is go down in the comments one zero five three four very simple just type in one zero five three four Look at this beauty, and I got something extra to show you on here. Johnny Lightning from the legendary Bad Birds, 50s and 60s. We have the 1959 T-Bird. Hope you can see this one up close here. This one here has the teal interior. It's almost a, I guess it is, it's a white pearl paint job finish on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous paint job on this car. Take a peek at the details in the back. And uh, metal on metal. Just going to show you something real quick. I'm going to set this one down. This is the other one. We normally get these in pairs. And this is the other one. I'm going to throw this one up here too. This one is the teal with the teal interior. But it's a flat, flat teal on the paint job. Not the pearl like this one. I'm going to throw this one here, the teal one, uh, on Stream Store as well. Uh, but this one's up here right now. If you'd like this pearl white one, 10699. Okay, my friends. So here we have a cute little casting. It's from the Hot Wheels Art Cars. This is number 7 of 10. Have a few of these uh, other ones in this series floating around the stream store. This one is the Quick Bite. The, you can see it has ice cream graphics on the side. The gold rims. Uh, e E on top. <laughs> Not sure. Alrighty. If you want this one on its way to you, all you have to do is go down in the comments, type in 10622. 10622. Well, check this one out. If you love Ford F350 Super Duties, you got to take a look at this one. This is a Racing Champions Mint. It's a 1999 Ford F350 Super Duty. Beauty. It's a dually. Dually. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's limited edition, one of two twenty five hundred. Okay, it's metal on metal. It's pretty cool. But what's so really cool about it? It's even more special than that. This is one of twenty five hundred. Yes, but this particular one is a gold strike. Now, gold strikes originally they really come in two percent of whatever the production run is. So twenty five hundred, two percent, fifty pieces. So this is one of fifty. Pretty cool. That's what I like. Check that out. All the way around gold. It's pretty awesome looking. Okay, it's pretty nice. If you want to put it in your collection, this is a very, very sweet thing to put in your collection. Real easy. All you have to do is take the number 10169, put it in the chat below, and it's yours. So that's number 10169. M2 Machi Mustang Detroit Muscle is right here. It's us. 68 Ford Mustang GT. You want this car? Type the number 60570. 60570. 
Very cool, very cool. The 1968 Cougar from the Tag Ride series of Hot Wheels. This Cougar has graffiti on it, and that's what the Tag Ride series is all about. They got the quarter panels covered up. They got a little etching on the top there. This gold on green, man, stands out on the boulevard. To make this awesome 1968 Cougar yours, type the number 60658 in the chat. Type 606. Five eight in the chat and tag this for, for yourself today. Oh, some really cool stuff came in from M2 Machines. You gotta love this one. It's the Ford Econoline van, a 1965. Pretty awesome in the blue and the white stripe there. Let's take a close look at this. Now, this is a model kit, which is what's really cool about this. It comes with the old lift. All right, so you see the lift there. It comes with that. It's got the car, the base. It's got all the wheels. Okay, ready for the track. For track days or just everyday driving and the tools are supplied right there <laughs> you gotta love that take a look at this the detail is amazing if you want to get this one it's a great thing to do i love putting them together They're kind of fun especially if kids and stuff get involved with this stuff get them into it uh it's awesome so if you want to get this very simple just write the number one zero two six zero put that in the chat below and that's yours it's claimed yours so that's one zero two six zero Back in 1982, Howard Johnson, R&B recorded artist, had a song called So Fine, Blow My Mind. Maybe he was talking about this Hot Wheels Real Riders limited edition, So Fine. Look at that. And isn't that so fine? This is boxed up, packaged up in a nice bubble dome here. You can get a good look at this car. Tailpipe sticking out, red on white, classic, nice white walls. Nice dark cave on those white walls, too, and that grill. How about that for a collector's piece? So fine, blow my mind. Thanks, Howard Johnson. Well, we'll give you that credit to you. But if anybody wants this car, 60673 in the chat will do it. Just put 60673 in the chat. So fine. Hey, hey, uh, Ross in the house. I've got something really, really uh, cool looking. It's from Auto World. It's the NHRA drag, drag racing set that they have from 4Gear. This is the J.R. Todd DHL Funny Car. And it is very cool, very sweet. And it's a slot car. So if those who, uh, uh, you know, has got that drag, uh, drag strip uh, slot car racing set, if you got it, this is another great addition to have. If you don't, no problem. They are available in the stream shop. Or you can always win it. Just tune into Diecast TV and uh, participate in the, uh, you know, we have all those last man standings. They're cool. But this is extremely cool because I love it because it is, it is a chase. And it is the awesome chase. I love the white tires. Check it out. All white around. Beauty. DHL clearly on the side. Gotta love that. It is very cool. It'll be smoking down your track in no time. If you want to get this, I only have the one piece, and I reiterate, I only have one. If you put it, the, this number, 10200, so that's 10200 in the chat below, and you see all yours. So again, the number is 10200. Guys and girls, check this out. Auto World Muscle Trucks. The Olympic Edition 1976 Chevy Scottsdale. This is a C10 fleet side, but they call this the square body. Check it out. Check it out. Look at the detail they did on those tires on that underside. Yeah, I need to turn these cars under so you can see the bottom of that bad boy. Square body at its best. I love the red. It's got that Olympic Edition license plate on there, if you can see that. This car is true 164 sweetness, so don't be square. Don't be a square body yourself, but you can have the square body by putting 60702 in the chat. That's right. Put 60702 in the chat. And here's another good looking one from M2 in conjunction with Go Goodyear. Here we go. 1970 Dodge A100 panel van. You have the logos of Goodyear on the side. Metal on metal, real rubber, real chrome bumpers. There we go. 
And there we go. No chrome bumper on the back of that one, though. All right. If you'd like this one, all you have to do, limited edition, by the way, number 10695. All you have to do, type down in the comments, 10695. Okay, my diecast friends, here we go. 10441, we're going to have the 1967 Mustang Coupe. Zamic, out of the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary. And check it out. We got the uh, red on the wheels and the 50th anniversary on right above that back wheel well. Check it out. Excellent condition. Here we go. If you'd like to add this one to your collection, all you do is go right down in those comments, type in 10441. That's 10441. Okay, lots of value in this one, folks. We have the Hot Wheels Dealer's Choice Series. This is number four out of the four cars. You have the 63 Corvette High Rolling Royalty. Check it out. Check it out. Has the queen of hearts on the hood, on the roof. The red base, got a lot going on. Sharp, sharp looking card. Uh, cards in excellent condition too. If you'd like this one for your collection, this, she's going to be number 10472. That one's going to be 10472. Here we go, folks. How about a classic 25th anniversary edition, the Beatnik Bandit. Has the matching collector's button there as well. Take a peek, take a peek. If you'd like this one for your collection, I have a few more I'm going to be adding to Stream Store as well. This one's going to be number 10434. That's 10434. Hot Wheel Premium. Team Transport Real Rider Metal Metal. 69 Ford Mustang Bus 302 Retro Rig. Number 19, okay? Look at this beauty right here. Beautiful Mustang. If you want that card, you need to type the number. 10091. Type the number. 10091. And here we go with number 6 of 6 in this series. We have the Volkswagen 12 pickup. There we go. The flatbed pickup. All that detail going on. Those bright, bright rims. Volkswagen logo in the front. If you'd like this one for your collection today, down in the comments, type 10486. 10486. Green Light Collectibles have done it with the monster trucks. Gotta love this. Kings of Crunch Series 3. Uh, it's very cool. I love this one. It's a 1972 Chevy K10. And it's the, called the AMPM Boss. <laughs> He's trucking down the road. Look at that. He'll crush anything. It's awesome, these Kings of Crunches. I love that. I love the little lights on top of this bad boy AMPM. He's pretty cool. He's the boss. That's for sure. All right. He must be driving around like that. He is the boss. That's for sure. Here we go. If you want to get this for your collection, there's six of them in the collection. It's a Series C3. You want to get them all. Uh, this one is number 10135. Now, just be aware that it's on flash sale, so you get a really good deal. So, check a look at the price, too. You want to get it? You want it? I don't blame you. It's number 10135. Hey, Diecast fans, check this one out. From Greenlight, we have the HD Truck Series. This is series number three. There was three in these. This one here is from the NYPD, and the vehicle is the International Doorstar Box Van. This is a limited edition. I'm going to see if I can flip this around here. Check this out. Here we go on the front. There we go. And let's take a peek in the back. You got the uh, NYPD logos there in the back. And you also have the back has a really nice uh, graphic. You can see the hologram there. That's from the licensing from NYPD. Um, then it also shows the other two vehicles in this series, which looks like it is a fire rescue and then the U.S. Army vehicle. So if you'd like this one to add to your collection today, all you have to do is type in number 10400. Here we go. Let's see if I can get that lined up again. Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe I'm going to get lucky. There we go. All right. So again, if you'd like this green light HD truck series three, the International Door Star Box Fan, all you have to do is type in 10400.
zero zero one zero four zero zero. All right, you Chevy truck fans, check this out. It's a 1950 Chevy 3100 pickup. It is awesome. It looks cool. It's in Omaha orange. It's part of the classic gold collections from Johnny Lightning. It's all die cast, of course, metal body, metal chassis. Pretty awesome. Pretty cool, authentic coloring to that. Look at that orange pops. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's take a look at the back there. Chevy on the back. This is release two. So this is version A, release two. So there's another color this year, collector of Johnny Lightning. You know, the nice part about Johnny Lightning is you can collect them all. There's a chance to get every car. It's really easy. And uh, one way is to get it is right here. 10271 is your chance to get this particular one. Uh, so if you want to get it, get it right now. Just put the number in the chat below. So that's number 10271. Well, look at here. Ross has got some cool stuff. It looks like an auto world land yachts. <laughs> These are definitely land yachts. Uh, I have to admit, I had, I think back in the day, a girlfriend who had a caddy just like this, Coupe de Ville. Of course, 1967 caddy Coupe de Ville. It's pretty cool looking. It's a land yacht. And of course, this particular one that you see here is an ultra red, which is kind of cool. So I want to take a close look at it. It's an older card. Okay. So it's pretty cool looking. Uh, I put the ultra red and, of course, the real one here. Just want to point out on this one, the car has got a little bit of a crease there and a sticker on it. But take a look at this. This is amazing. Really cool castings. I would be opening them up and putting them out on display. Definitely, it's pretty cool. If you want to do that, you want to put it in your collection, just take the number 10264. Put that in the chat below. And it's yours, and you get it. So it's 10264. Okay, guys, check it out from Matchbox. We have the Texaco Collection. Uh, this was one of six. It also has the collected card in the back, the 1921 Ford Model T van. Now, I just want to explain something. There's there's two layers of protective um, plastic. There's an inner and an outer. That's why it's really hard to video these because there is just so much glare going on. But I'm trying to do my best there on the front grill. You get the chrome. Again, you get the card in the back. Metal on metal. There we go. Texaco Petroleum Products. Then we have the six that are on part of this series. Uh, so if you'd like this one, good little bang for the buck on this one. If you'd like this one, just go ahead. Type in 10647. 10647. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Lightning. Here's Johnny. Street Freaks edition, of course, the Demolition Derby, as you know, they come in the Street Freaks. Uh, very cool car right now. It's a 1990 Ford LTD Crown Vic. And this is, of course, the Demolition Derby car. And it comes in fire-breathing red monsters. <laughs> you got to love that title, the pink code. All right, so this is one of 2,000. It is a limited edition. It's very cool. Uh, I love how this is. Just so you know, this is just off the boat. I just got it here. And uh, Johnny Lightning told me they got a new shipment in. They sent it to us right away. And I'm putting it on the block here so you guys get a chance on the off hours here at Diecast TV to get some good deals. So this particular one is very cool. Um, I think you should check this a close look at it. Awesome. I love the teeth of how they did, how they painted this one. It'd be a fun car to be in a demolition derby with, that's for sure. All right, if you want to get this one for your collection, it's brand spanking new. Uh, all you got to do is take the number 10184 from the chat here, put it in the chat, and it's yours. So that's number 10184. Hey there, folks. Look at this beauty from M2. We have the limited edition, one of 6,000 worldwide, metal on metal. This one has real rubber tires. Gorgeous, gorgeous casting. It's a 66 Shelby GT350. Let's take a peek, shall we? We have the uh, real chrome bumpers there up front. You got the racing stripes going up the hood, over the roof, and down through the trunk. Here we go. Take a look, of course. You have the classic M2, the 1966 little plate on the back there for this Shelby GT350. 
This one's going to be number 10422. If you'd like to add this one to your collection, she's a beauty. She's a beauty. M2. Limited production, one of 6,000. The 66 Shelby GT350. Just go down to the chat, type in 10422. That's 10422. I love the hobby exclusives from Green Lake Collectibles. This is the uh, 2013 Ford Mustang GT Falcon tires. Gotta be cool. Gotta be cool. I love the tampos on this. Looking it's pretty sharp all the way around. Let's take a look at that. All the way front to rear. Gotta love it. Detail is cool. Metal on metal. Awesome. 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 If you want to get this, I don't blame you. It's very cool to have in a collection, especially if you collect them. You can collect all the Falcon Tire stuff, or you collect Mustangs. You'll want to have this one, okay? It's 10240. If you want to get it, just put the number in the chat below when you claim it, and it's yours. So that's number 10240. Kings of Crunch from Greenlight. They make a very cool casting, and these are awesome monster trucks. It's in the Series 3. It's a 1972 Chevy K10. Sweet. Look at that. In white, black interior, white on black, tuxedo style. Look at that Chevy in the back. It is awesome. Great lift kit on this. And it's cool. If you want to collect them, uh, yeah, you get there's six in the series. You want to get them all. It's a great idea, especially now. We got it on flash sale here in the stream shop. Okay. All you have to do is take the number 10134, put that down in the chat, and it's yours. 10134. Matchbox Moving Part 2000 Nissan Sterra. Beautiful Nissan Sterra. You want that Nissan? Just type the number 13713. Type the number now, 13713. All right, my friends, we have a lot going on here. This is the 2000 first editions, the 41 Willys, number 14 out of 36 cars. You have all that graphics on there. Look at the motor. All righty. There we go. There we go. Card is in great shape for this 41 Willys. 2000 first edition in this bright orange Wild Willy written down the side. If you'd like this one, all you do is go down into the comments and type 10538. 10538. Oh boy, we have some pretty trucks up here today from Auto World. I just listed the version A. This is the version B of the 1980 Chevy Custom Deluxe Stepside. This one is in the bright green. Again, metal on metal, rubber tires, opening hood. Check out the detail. Limited edition, folks. Limited edition. If you'd like this one for your collection, just go down in the comments. Type in 10456. That's 10456. Here's Johnny. Johnny Lightning Street Freaks, the spoilers. <laughs> I love these series when they came out. This is new for 2016 when it came out. Very cool. Uh, it's from that series. It's 1976 Chevy Camaro. Super mega blown. <laughs> you gotta love that. Look, take, let's take a look at this car. It's awesome. All right, look at the engine. Look at that, how it's done metal on metal. The detail is unbelievable. Very cool. All right, all the way through, metal, metal. You got rubber tires. It's ready to race. All right, if you want to get this, very simple. Just take the number 10248. Put it in the chat below. When you do that, if you're a newbie, no problem. Just uh, make sure you register at uh, diecasttv.com. And press the register button. It takes about two seconds, and then you're registered. So, again, if you want to get this car, make sure you're registered and take the number 10248. Put it in the chat below. Hey guys, it's Krista from Diecast TV. Check out what I have here today. We have the 2016 Honda Civic Type R. Now check it out. We have the camo paint on this one, camo paint. If you're interested in adding this one to your collection, all you have to do is go down to the chat box and add number 10357. Again, that's number 10357. For the Camouflage Paint 2016 Honda Civic Type R. 
Again, it is number 10357, and we'll get it on the way to you today. Hey, diecast guys and gals, Krista here. Here we have a Matchbox Super Fast. This is the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. A lot of graphics going on on this one. I'll try to get it a little bit closer. Um, and of course, it's on top of the, the collector box inside there, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Japanese nostalgic car. That's one of the graphics on the back, and you get the eight. And boy, I wish my eyes were good enough to read all that tiny stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. Look at the hood. We have the graphics on the hood going down the back. I'm going to turn that that way. If you can see that, it's hard to get this to focus. There we go. So, again, this is the Matchbox Superfast 71 Nissan. If you'd like this for your collection, all you do, super simple, just type in 10402. That's 10402 for the 1971 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX. Just type that in, 10402. Well, here we have one for all of our folks out here that love the muscle trucks. Check it out. Check it out. Limited edition. One of 11,104. She is done in the Cajun Red Metallic, which for this series will be version A, release 3. 2019 Chevy Silverado Z71 Custom Trail Boss. Check it out. Crew cab. You got the running boards. You got the blacked out grill. There we go, there we go, color-coded in the rear. Beautiful, beautiful truck, beautiful casting. If you'd like this one, just type in 10553. That is 10553. Hey there, Krista here. All right, this one here, we have the Johnny Lightning Wacky Winners. This one is an original illustration, Tom Daniel. We have the garbage truck, and it is limited edition, and check it out. Of course, you have the garbage truck with the surfboards. <laughs> All right, metal base, there we go. Limited edition number is on the base. Series two. All right, if you'd like this one added to your collection today, all you have to do is go down to the comments and type in 10505. 10505. All right, check this one out. This one's a real flashy one. This is from the Hot Wheels Art cars series this is number three of ten it's the bone shaker here we go get the graphics up on top the blue tires yellow base just like the picture on the card number three of ten if you would like this one all you have to do is go down in the comments type in one zero six one four one zero six one four all right here's ross the boss and i've got some cool things this is a Hot Wheels uh, Neo Classic Series. It's number five of six if you're collecting them. Uh, if you're looking around for them, you finally found the 55 Chevy panel. Here it is. I love the Chevy panels because a lot, most of them have motorcycles in the back. And if you open that up, you'll see there's a motorcycle inside. It's pretty cool. This is green. Spectre Flame all the way throughout. It's nice. It's from series number seven. Uh, it's all metal. Pretty cool looking, that's for sure. I love these panels. And I love the motorcycles in the back. I know this is also a numbered one. The number is uh, 2298 out of 10,000. All right, just, just so you know. The card is in good shape. Okay, pretty cool looking. If you want to get this, this is the only one I've got in the stream shop, so you want to get it now. It's number 10318. Put that number in the chat, and it's yours. Now, if you do happen to put the number down and you don't get an invoice from us, that's obvious that we've sold it already. So we just make sure you get in on it right away as soon as you can. As soon as you see it, put it in there. Put in the number and it's yours, okay? So, again, it's uh, number 10318. Well, Ross is in the house with some green light. Hobby, lobby, hobby, hobby, hobby exclusive. That's what I like. It's pretty cool. This is a 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Look at this. BF Goodrich tires, of course. Showing the radial tires off. Sweet. Shaker hood, beauty, nice front end. I'd like to take a look at the rear end. <laughs> there we go. BF Goodrich, 164 green light, beautiful collector model. 
If you want to get this, very simple, take the number 10230, put it in the chat below, and that claims it for you. And there you go. So it's the number 10230. All righty, here we are. This is the Johnny Lightning Chevy Copo Muscle. This is of the Muscle Cars USA uh, collection. This is a very cool 1971 Copo Yanko Chevy Vega Stinger. <laughs> These cars, I remember this one. This is in Hornet Green. So this is an authentic color that they put out. And the paint coat is actually on the card. This is an alternate color. This is from version B. Uh, this is release two. And uh, it's number four of the set. So if you want to collect the whole set, it's all in the stream shop. You want to get it, no problem. It take, it's very simply just take the number 10289 and put it in the chat below. And the car is yours. So that is 10289. Okay, folks, Krista here. This is one of my favorites. I love the nostalgic logoing on this. It's from M2 Machines, Coca-Cola, of course. And then you have the 1960 VW delivery van. You have those big racks up on top, the ladder, chrome ladder on the side. Take a look. Love the color on this one, too. Of course, the drink Coca-Cola logo in the back. Cards in perfect condition. There we go. Drink Coca-Cola. All right. So if you'd like this one, this is a real nice one. If you'd like this one, all you do down in the comments, type in 10586. That's 10586. Check out this killer hot pursuit to serve and protect Georgia, Georgia State Patrol from Georgia, USA, 1967 Ford Custom. Let me tell you about this, this car. This is a great hot pursuit. Now, I know a lot of you guys love collecting these police cars, but check out the paint job on this. Red letters, black body. Look at the wheels, black wheels. Oh, man, you got to get this now. Type in the number 10717. 10717. Get that hot pursuit. Love Disney? Check out this Hot Wheels Disney Pixar Toy Story RC to go. Look at that baby. All the young ones are going to love that car. If you want to pick it up, all you have to do is type in the number 60511. All righty. Check out this little beauty, guys. I love the Hot Wheel Roadsters. This is number one of five in the series. Here we have the 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata, little convertible, little hair flowing in the breeze there on this one. Cards in excellent shape. Take a peek, take a peek. Out of the Hot Wheel Roadsters, this is number one of five. If you'd like this one to add to your collection today, just go down in the comments. Type in 10447, 10447. Alrighty, folks, so I have um, the whole series of these sprinkled throughout Stream Store. Here we have, this is number three out of six of this series, we have the Fast Bed Hauler. Look at all that bright, bright, bright chrome going around, 52 on the side and the front. If you'd like this one for your collection today, all you do is go down in the comments, add number 10484. 10484. All right, check this one out, folks, from 1998. Look at this card. It's perfect. 1998, the Velocitor. Of course, you got the Mattel, the Hot Wheels, all over the place on this one. But check it out, 1998. This card is 20, what, 2, 23 years old. Look at this. Collector number 471. Scoop it up, scoop it up. Or the next guy will. Number 10597. Just type in 10597. Hey, all my diecast fans. How's everybody doing? Check this one out. This one is an M2. Limited production. One of about 3,600 pieces made. 3,680 to be exact. This one is a hobby exclusive, 1949 Mercury Custom Moon Eyes. And, of course, as you can see, liquid gold. Look at those big white walls on there. Now, let's turn this around so you can see some detailing on the front and that grill. 
And let's look at look at the flame going up that liquid gold paint job. And let's look in the back. And of course, on the back you have the logo. It says the Moon Equipment. I think it says Moonies on the license plate. And it says something on the back window. Oh, you have the, I think you have another set of Moon Eyes on the top on that rear window as well. Okay, so if you guys would like to add this one to your collection, all you have to do is go down in the chat. You're going to type in number 10366. Again, that is 10366 for this beautiful M2 limited production. 1949 Mercury Custom Moon Eyes Liquid Gold. Just go ahead and type in if you'd like to snag this one. 10366. Brand new Johnny Lightning. Look at this, kids, my friends and neighbors. On their Johnny Lightning Volkswagen, there's only made 4,972 of these. Now, this has got the tin collection, the storage tin. It's got that metal tin. You can save them in there. They are awesome. That cabriolet is beautiful. Now, I've had three Volkswagens in my life. I know what this is all about. you got to get this right now. All you have to do is type in the number 10722. 10722. Ross the Boss here, Johnny Lightning Project uh, in progress. You got to love it. You might have a truck like this at home too. <laughs> so if you want to get a 1950 F1 pickup, which I kind of like it, it's all the way in the patina and all that stuff is beauty on it. All right, it's got the Tuscan tan. <laughs> got to love it. If you want to get this, it's very simple. Just type in the number 10013 in the comment section there. It's 10013. Snoopy's off to the Red Baron again. There he is, but this time he's on the road. He ain't flying around. He's driving. Check out this souped-up coupe. Gotta love it. <laughs> he's driving around. Super cool. He's Mr. Cool. Don't forget. All right, so that's pretty cool. Look at it. <laughs> All the way around, he's got the engine. He's got it blown. He's got them bad tires. Check this sweetness out. It's pretty cool. Snoopy's a happy camper. He looks like he's flying down the road. That's the from the HW Screen Time. That's number nine of that series, and it's a good one to get, and you want to get it, and it's you can. All you have to do is take the number 10127, put that in the chat below, and that's it. It's yours. So that's 10127. Hey there, folks. Check out this Hot Wheels Premium. Beautiful, beautiful Euro hauler with the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL coming out of the rear. we got a real rider, metal on metal. Let's take a look at the card. Beautiful condition. Here we go. And there's that 300 SL coming out of the back. There we go. You can see it has the IWC racing on the side, your AMG logos. The details on the front as well. Super simple. All you have to do, type in 10414. 10414 if you'd like to add this to your collection. This beautiful Hot Wheels Premium. Real Riders, metal on metal. Mercedes-Benz 300 SL coming out of the rear of that beautiful Euro hauler. Again, 10414. Just type in 10414. Hey, hey, Ross the Boss here, giving you some cool Hot Wheels. Here you are. This is the race team. You got to love this one. Okay, it's the Corvette Grand Sport with the uh, Hot Wheels uh, flags all over it. Beautiful car. Take a look. If you want to get this, very simply, all you got to do is type in the comment section 10016, and it's yours. So for one, just remember the number, it's 10016. Racing champions, Mint have done it again. Look at this, 1986 Chevrolet El Camino, limited edition, one of 2000. It is a premier edition. Uh, you want to get this kind of stuff because the premium stuff always has metal bodies and chassis. It's awesome. It's a great collectible. Uh, this is their release A, or version A rather, release 3. It's the 1986 Elko, which is really awesome. It's kind of a goldish and copper so our tones on them. It's pretty awesome looking though. All the way through check out the front end of that pretty awesome look at that sweet 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 bottom is nice all the way through rubber tires you gotta love it from racing champions they always make a good die cast and a good die it's awesome if you want to get it for your collection i don't blame you it's number one zero two zero eight all you got to do is put that in the chat below and it's yours so that's number one zero two zero eight 
Alrighty, folks, here we have from M2 the South Bend Shaker 1950 Studebaker to our truck, limited edition, one of 4,400 worldwide. Take a peek, a little bit of metal flake in this blue paint. Of course, it says 289 cubic inches up there on the side. Take a peek, take a peek. Beautiful, beautiful little truck. This packaging does have a display stand included. Um, the wheels are actually up off that display sand stand um, if you were to free it from the packaging. There we go. This one is going to be number 10675 for the South Bend Shaker. 10675. Kings of Crunch, green light style. You gotta love it, Series 3. It's the limited edition 1979 Ford F350. High roller! Gotta love the dice on the rear quarter panel. Gotta love that. It's cool. Red on red. Sweet. Big giant tires. How can you go wrong with this? Well, we're gonna do one step further. It's on flash sale. That's right. It's a flash sale right now. If you get it, check out the price. You want to get it because it is a good price and it's good value for money. Just take the number 10133, put that in the chat below, and you'll get a deal. 10133. And look what we have here from Johnny Lightning, little, little dune buggy, the Sandstormer. Original topper vehicle from 1970. Have that on the card right there included in this pack. Got metal on metal metal body metal chassis if you'd like this one little sandstormer for your collection you just go right down in those comments type in one zero five one zero one zero five one zero well look what we have here we got johnny lightning a chevy copo muscle series they did an entire six car set of chevys and copo series pretty cool limited edition this particular one is one of 2500 uh, this is a Daytona yellow. Okay. Let's take a close look at that one. Pretty awesome. All the way through. The yellow. We do the little Vanna White on it. We look at those rubber wheels. Metal on metal. You got to love that. This particular one is a version A release 2. This is a 1969 Copo Chevy Camaro ZL1. You got to love it. Pretty nice looking car. I love the card. Pretty cool. If you want to get it, 10297, you know what to do. Put it in the chat below. 10297, click. Hello there. Okay. Ooh, isn't this one pretty? Hot Wheel Exotics. We have the McLaren Senna. Take a peek, take a peek. Look at the lines on this car. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. Okay. If you would like this one for your collection, all you have to do is go down in the comments, 10463, for the McLaren, 10463. And what do we have here out of the Hot Wheels Turbo Series? This is number two of five. Check it out. Sharp looking car, Audi RS5 Coupe. Gorgeous, gorgeous little Casting on this one, check out the details. I've gotten more speeding tickets, I think, in Audis than I care to admit. <laughs> anyway, if you'd like this one for your collection, all you do is go down in the comments, type in 10445. 10445. Okay, like I said, I was going to add some more of the movie and character cars in here a little bit. So, of course, this one here is the infamous Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. It's also a 2018 casting, so you also have the little 50th anniversary logo on there. This is out of the Screen Time series, and there you go. There's Cruella de Vil's car. Here we go. So if you'd like this one for your collection down in the comments, just go ahead and put in 10532. That is 10532. Hey there, let's check out this little one from Matchbox. Across America, the 50th birthday series. It was one for every state. This is California. We have the 1955 Chevy Balier from the Dream and Surf Shop. Here we go. Look at that little cute convertible. 2001, so 20 year old old car here we go cards in great shape if you'd like this one all you do is go down in the comments type in one zero six eight five that is one zero six eight five hey guys 
right there you have the full set of the Hot Wheel Premium Team Transport BW Bug, Mercedes Benz, 2016 Ford GT Race, and the 69 Ford Mustang Bus. Let me tell you something right there you have the opportunity to take the last team transport with the factory sear box okay factory sear box if you want this box right here you need to type the number one zero zero nine four one zero zero nine four and let's check out this m2 limited edition one of 3,680 pieces. We have the Moon Eyes. 65 Ford Econoline Van in liquid gold. Here we go. Check it out. Check it out. Great little piece right here. Great little piece. Lots of value in this one. If you'd like this M2 Moon Eyes added to your collection, you just go down in that chat. Type in 10438. That's 10438. Help. I need somebody help, Beatles baby, check out the help album, my goodness, what a gorgeous corgi, wow, London double decker bus, look at that, look at that, corgi, help, 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 from the Beatles, my friends, one of my favorite albums of all time, wow, you should get this in your collection, if you want it, type in the number 10095, that's right, 10095. Look at this Hot Wheels Classics Tail Dragger Motorcycle. It's got the silver pearl body lineage on that burgundy. Nice pipes. It would be a woozy to take down the boulevard for sure. Got those chromed out rims. To make this motorcycle part of your bike collection, and you definitely need to consider that, definitely type 60663 in the chat. That's 60663 in the chat. Hey, hey, fellas, check this out. This just in. This is the Johnny Lightning Street Freaks uh, Spoiler 20. It's pretty cool. It's a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. This is a limited edition. It's one of 2,000. Pretty awesome. Okay, this is in a metallic bright silver. Let's take a close look at this one. All right, look at that. Pretty cool. Let's take a nice look at that. Sweetness. I love the dark. I love the black engine in it. Blown all the way. Pretty awesome. This is version B. Now, this is just released. I just got them. The Johnny Lightning called me. They said they just got a shipment. I said, I want them. They threw them on, a, a, uh, on UPS, and here they are. Brand new, spanking new. Can't find them anywhere. If you, have, you, know, you can't go out of the house, no problem. We bring it to you. All you got to do is take the number 10181 down. Put it in the chat and it's yours. So that's number 10181. All right, for all you Batmobile fans, this is the 15th anniversary, number four out of five of the series. Here we go. This one has the black base. It's kind of that violet, deep blue color on this one. It's not necessarily black, black. If you'd like this one for your collection, all you have to do is go down in the comments, type in 10573. 10573. Hey there, folks. Check out this one. This is Purple Passion, collection number 200 from Hot Wheels. Got the little dice and flames going down the side. I'm not sure about the lucky number 13 up top, but here we go. Check out that big billet grill. So I want you to take Pay close attention. This is uh, a 2001, so this is a 20-year-old collectible. Card is in perfect condition. A lot of bang for the buck right there. If you'd like this one, just type in 10678. That is 10678. Ross the Boss here with some Johnny Lightning Muscle Cars USA. Gotta love the Ramrod. <laughs> 1968 Olds Cutlass. This is limited to one of 2,500. Gotta love that. Take a look at that. Beauty. It's got the old matching blue interior as well. So this is called Sapphire Blue Poly. If you like the paint, get your own car painted that. You'll love it. All right. It's 1968 Old Cutlass. It is there. If you want to get it for yourself, just in the chat, just put 10039. That means in the chat, just type in the number 10039. It's yours.
And finally, here we have another one from the Captain America series. This is number four of eight. This is the RDO8. And like that Sir Ominous one that I also have floating around on the stream store, this also has that, hope you can catch it on here. Let's see if I can do it that way. It has a really bright red, almost a chrome-like interior. You have his shield there on the back. There we go. If you'd like this one, just go down in the comments, type in 10617. Right there, you got the new ones. Hot Wheel Premium, Japan Historic 3, Nissan Silvia, CSP 311, Real Rider. You want this car? Just type the number 60528. Type the number. 6052A. Really nice car. Hot Wheels Premium Car Cultures Team Transport. The Jaguar Lightweight E Type. Carry on. It's pretty cool. It's a real riders, a metal on metal. These are pretty cool team transports. I've heard them through the grapevine that they're not really making the team transports like they used to anymore. Uh, so these might actually become a little collector's items later on down the road. So you might want to pick these up. These are awesome anyway. But take a look close. Let's take a close look at that. Look at the front end of that hauler. Awesome. The Jag is not too bad. Not too shabby itself. All metal on metal. They got that uh, deep sort of green uh, racing green. British racing green on it. Pretty awesome Jag. Uh, if you want to get this one, if you have a collection, you know, you're collecting all of them, uh, all the uh, team transports. So this is number 14. And very simply, if you want to get this, all you got to do is take the number 10193, put that in the chat below, and it's yours. It's just that simple. So just, again, do it now, 10193. Dooley, dooley, dooley drivers. Got to love them. Buy green light collectibles. This is Series 3. This is a very cool truck. I like this one. 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD with the snow plow. Gotta love that. All right. Wish I had one when I was growing up. That's for sure. I needed a snow plow to clear out our driveways. They always got tubbed in. All right. This is pretty cool. It's got all the, the tool modifications on the back. It is very cool work truck. If you want to get this, very simply plate the number 10137 in the chat below, and it's yours. That's number one. 0137. Ross the boss here with some Dooley drivers. That's right, Dooley's. And they're driving. It's awesome. Green light makes it. Series 3 limited edition. Check this one out. It's the 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD. Sweet. US Border Patrol. <laughs> you don't want this thing chasing you. That's for sure. Check this one out, though. It's all stacked up. Got the Dooley's Border Patrol written on it. It is pretty cool looking. All right, if you want to get this, this completes the six car truck set. It's the Series 3. You got to love it. All you got to do, if you want this, 10142. Put that in the chat below and it's yours. That's number 10142. 7,300 pieces produced. We have a nice little 2018 Ford F-150 Lariat. Beautiful little truck. All metal. Nice real rider tires get this one today just type in 27046 into the chat that is 27046 Hot Wheel Premium Team Transport Real Rider Metal Metal 69 Ford Mustang Bus 302 Retro Rig number 19 okay look at this beauty right here beautiful Mustang if you want that card you need to type the number Check out this little Hot Wheels. It's from Star Wars. We have the little Yoda mobile. Dual produced by Disney. Look at that. Got those shiny chrome rims on there. Star Wars logo on the back window. If you'd like this one for your collection or your little one or your little grandchild, all you got to do, type in 10677. 10677. Hey, Ross is in the house, and I've got a few cool things. It's called Hot Wheels Classics. Series 2, this one. This is a 1940s Ford Coupe chromed out to the nines. Look at that. It's number 19 of 30 if you're collecting that set complete. Check it out. It's pretty cool all the way throughout. Front end's nice, too. All right, just going to put it there. And all you got to do, if you want to get this for your set and you're collecting these, no, I don't blame you. 
Take the number 10155, put it in the chat below, and it's yours. That's number 10155. Green light, hobby exclusive, GT350 Track Attack for Performance Racing School 2016 for Jerby GT350 Limit Edition. You want this card? Just type the number 60532. Type the number now, 60532. My goodness gracious, look at the detail on that 1988 Ford 5610. We have this tractor. I believe we have this tractor on the farm. It's in blue. But I'm going to tell you something. Green light does an amazing job on the tractor. Look at the tension to detail on there. My gosh, right inside, you can almost turn the air conditioning on in that cab. That is a killer tractor. Get yours now down on the farm. Item number 10713. Type it in right there in the chat. 10713. Do it now. Hey, all you Hot Wheels fans, it is the custom Ford Bronco. It's a sweet one. Looks like a 70 or something like that. Sweet. All right, it's the Surf's Up edition. <laughs> it's going down to the surf, that's for sure. He's got the spare in the back. He's ready to go. He's got the little surf tempo on the side. Lights in the front. Looking good. Looking good. All right, I love these in convertible version, too. They're pretty cool. It's got a nice little stance. Got a little uh, nice lift kit on that bad boy, too. If you want it for your uh, collection there, no problem. Take the number 10126, put that in the chat, and it's yours. That's number 10126. All right, 10580 is the Matchbox Premier Collection, the Plymouth Prowler with the collector box inside. There we go. 125,000. Excellent shape, excellent shape. There you go. Select Class Series 1. Okay, if you'd like this one for your collection, all you have to do is down in the comments. Type in 10580. That is 10580. Check out this 1997 Chevy Tahoe from the 2019 third release. Check it out, check it out. Beautiful 1997 Chevy Tahoe to speed and connect, baby. Look at that. Only 2,000 have been made. Only 2,000 made. If you want to pick it up, just type in the item number 60501-60501. Here we go, folks, for Hot Wheels Race Day, number 4 out of 10, new for 2019. We have the jerry-rigged 64 Nover Wagon Gasser. Take a peek, take a peek. A lot of details going on right there. This one's going to be number 10496. If you'd like to add this 64 Nova Wagon Gasser from Hot Wheels Race Day to your collection, all you do is go down in the comments and type in 10496. Johnny Lightning has done it again. Street Freaks, brand new, spanking new, that's for sure. I just got him in. Johnny Lightning, I got the guy's call. They said they got some new stuff. I said, bring it on. So here it is. This is pretty cool. The Street Freaks Off-Road. They did something very interesting. A 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. And they call it the Dirty Old Bird. <laughs> I wonder if Fred's watching. All right, check this out. Special corporate blue. It's pretty wicked. All right, let's take a close look at this bad boy. Look at that. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. 69. The bottom is all dirty. <laughs> it's been off-roaded. It's amazing. I love how they come up with these ideas. Version B, this is the release 2. It's brand new. I'm telling you right now, I only have a few of them. If you want to get them today, get them now. The number is 10185. Uh, just put that in the chat there. We book it for you, and there you go. You get invoice in there. It's all, it's all good. So that's number 10185. Brand new for 2020. I don't even think it's in the stores yet. Look at this beautiful 2019 Chevy Silverado. High country. It's my truck. Dually diesel on there. No, I don't think it's a dually diesel. It's a single, but look at that beautiful dual cab. Check it out. True 164 is the trademark for Auto World. Get it now. In this beautiful blue, there's only 8,816 of them. Brand new casting. Type in the item number 09019. 09019. Hot Wheel Premium Team Transport 2016 Ford GT Racer. Ford 
C800 beautiful team transport you want that team transport type the number All right, well, doesn't this one bring back memories, folks? Here we have the 1998. It is a first edition Pontiac I Rock Firebird. You got the Goodyear tires on there, the true value. You got the built in wing Firebird, the number one logo. Goodyear logo is up on top, and of course, the true value splashed across the hood. This is a nice one, folks. Scoop it up, scoop it up. Type in 10606. 10606. Hey guys, this is Krista from Diecast TV, and check out what I have here today. 1968, I love this car. Look at this. 1968 Shelby GT, the 500KR. Let's take a peek at this. Woo, look, it even has the Enjoy Coke surfboard tucked into the back there. Let's look at the front. Check this out. I love this car. I love this car. Again, it's the 1968 Shelby GT500. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that. If you'd like to add this beauty to your collection today, all you have to do is go down into the chat, add number 10349. Down in the chat, 10349 for this M2 1968 Shelby GT 500 KR down in the chat 10349. Here we go, folks. Check it out. Check it out. Here we have the Corvette C6 convertible, red interior, red stripes up and down, package in fairly good condition, number 7, 8 out of 8 out of the series. If you'd like this one, all you do, go down in the comments, type in 10460, 10460 for the Corvette C6. Hey, let's check this cool one out from Johnny Lightning, and it's a MyJ exclusive, one of only 2,400. This one here is for the Off-Road Series. What do we have? We have the 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. This one is in custom Baja graphics with green, white, and black. Take a peek. All the off-road aftermarket accessories. You got the little rack up top, the spare tire, the dual exhaust. And what do we got going on in the back there? I'm not sure what that is in the back. There we go. And this one is metal on metal, real rubber. Actually, it's oversized tires as well. If you'd like this one, really cool little one. If you'd like this one, 10640-10640. Ross is here with some Racing Champions Mint. Okay, it's a 1975 Chevy van. Pretty cool paint job on the side. It's uh, one of 2,000, so it's a limited edition. It's pretty cool. It's premium style, so it's got a metal body and metal chassis. Uh, it's awesome how they did this. I love the graphic on the side. It's got a little bit of horses, so it's perfect for my sister-in-law. She loves horses, of course. Take a look. Pretty awesome all the way through. All right. Pretty real looking, too. When I was a kid, I used to play baseball in a Midnight Truckers Van Club. That was our sponsor. They used to pull up on these custom vans all the time, and that's the same kind of thing. Reminds me of it all the time when I see this. So if you want to get it for your collection, I don't blame you. This Chevy van is pretty awesome. Just got to take the 10207, the number, put it down in the chat, and it's yours. So, again, it's 10207. Hey there, folks. Check this one out out of the Hot Wheel Classic Series 1. 
we have the pit cruiser number 21 out of 25 we have that uh kind of it's kind of a neon green it's that spectra flame paint that they brought back from the original hot wheels 16. this one is going to be number 10391 again so if you'd like to add this one to your collection this is the hot wheels classic series one this is number 21 out of 25 the pit cruiser with that green spectra flame let me look at the top card is in excellent condition there we go so again it's real simple folks if you would like this one to be sent to your home your collection you just go in and type number one zero three nine one one zero three nine one okay krista here wish me well on doing this video <laughs> hope i can get this in this is a matchbox uh police rescue pack of five of course the nypd take a peek all in excellent shape you got the tow truck the dodge charger uh what looks to be a explorer the suburban and then that little um gator type vehicle up top there we go all five of them i'm hoping you're able to see oh and there we go there's the tow truck down the bottom all five for the price listed all you have to do type in one zero five eight eight one zero five eight eight well throwing a little something in here different this one here we have hot wheels mad props mad props she is a beauty card is in great shape 2004 first edition first edition take a peek look at this this card's in great shape if you'd like this special one again, 2004 first edition, the Mad Props, type in 10539. That is 10539. And here we have another one from Hot Wheels that's pretty cool. The Subaru Brat. Little Baja type action going on. Those big oversized tires. There we go. This is number five out of six. Six in this series. Take a look, those big chrome up there, get the splash up on the hood, 200 labeled up there. And then, of course, the sponsor stickers, Goodyear and whatnot. If you'd like this one, just go ahead and add 10649 down in the comments. That is 10649. Green Light Hobby exclusive. Why? 71 Chevrolet Camaro. Beautiful Chevrolet Camaro. You want this card just type the number one three seven zero two one three seven zero two available in the 2020 k box as well as the 2020 l box check out the grand cross from the hw race team wow slick i love these rims look at that yellow rims on the side there that gold look at the blue you can see the interior top sunroof what a killer car hw race team grand cross buy it now type in the item number one three six eight eight type in that item number one three six eight eight green light Dolly Drivers 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 SD USA Border Patrol. Look at this beauty. You want this car? Type the number 60564. Type the number 60564. Back in 1999, Matchbox was coming out with this awesome BMW 3 Series Scoop with the world wide wheels. Look at the detail on this. I got to say, Matchbox makes some incredible detailed casting. Look at that on the back. It says, I love my BMW. Buy it now. Type in the item number 60594. 60594. Hey, Diecast fans, here we have from M2 Machines Limited Production. This is one of 8,980 pieces. Moon Eyes Equipment. So you can see that all over, all over the car, all over the box. We have the 1969 Datsun Bluebird 1600 SSS. Pick this up a little bit for you here. You can see the detail up on the hood. And get a shot of the front there. There we go. Box is in good condition. Let me see the rear. So if you'd like this one to add to your 
collection, a little bit of moon equipment. All you have to do is go down in the chat, add number 10370. Again, that is number 10370 for this M2 Machines Moon Eyes 1969 Dotson Bluebird 1600 SSS. Just go right down to the chat. Type in 10370 if you'd like this shipped to you and on its way. Hey, let's check out this beauty from Auto World, a new casting, limited edition, one of 10,720. We have in the color of Red Hot, the Chevy, 2019 Chevy Silverado, LTZ Z71. LTZ is up at the top there, other than the high country. All loaded up, loaded up. Here we go. Take a peek. Packaging in excellent condition. If you'd like to add this bad boy to your collection, all you do is go down in the comments, type in 10453. That's 10453. Hey, folks, what do we have here? We have a really cool Johnny Lightning from the Surf Rod series, The Endless Summers of 60s Surfing. This one is the Santa Mana Maniacs, it says on the side there. We got the uh, surfbirds up on top of the roof. Got an eight-pack sticking out of the hood. Check it out, check it out. And you got the, you even got the straight pipes down on the side. Look at the bottom of that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Is in great shape on the card. And there we have the back. There was 12. Let's look in the back of this. It even has your uh, major surfing beaches of California and Oahu, Hawaii. 12 surf rods in this series. And this one is the... Santa Monica Maniacs, <laughs> the surf wagon. If you'd like to add this Johnny Lightning to your collection, all you do is down in the chat, add in 10418. All you have to do for this Johnny Lightning, here we go, Santa, Mon Ma Santa Monica Maniacs wagon with the boards, with the 8-pack, with straight pipes, and you even have a little card there as a bonus inside the packaging. All you do, get down to the chat, type in 10418. That is 10418. Well, check this out. Johnny Lightning Chevy Copal Muscle Series. It's the Muscle Car USA. This is a version B alternate color. This is a release two. This is a 1970 Copal Yanko De Deuce Nova. Pretty, pretty, pretty fine stuff. I'd love to have this in, uh, in real life, that's for sure. A real Yanko like this would be awesome. It's in Hugger Orange. Pink code's on the card if you like it. Pretty sweet looking color. Pretty nice. Nice little Yanko. Look at that. Beautiful Nova. It's got nice fat meats on the back. It's all rubber tires, all metal. Metal, no rust under the hood. Gotta love that. Johnny Lightning. If you want it, 10290. That's it. 10290. Put that in the chat below and it's yours. So that's 10290. Okay, what do we think of this one, guys? Hot Wheels and a little Zimic action going on. This is the Aristo Rat. Instead of Aristocrat, we got the Aristo Rat. This one can be yours. Type in number 10439 if you'd like this one to your collection. You just go right down there in the comments. And we type in 10439. Right here, we have the M2 limited edition, one of 9,800 pieces. I'm going to pull this up front here because this is a very dark paint job on this car, so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. It, of course, is the 1971 Nissan Skyline GTR, and I'm assuming that's what it says next to it in Japanese. <laughs> All right, look at the detail on that. There we go. Let me see if I can show you the side. Look, it's all blacked out. Hood obviously opens. There we go. There we go, folks. If you'd like this 71 Nissan Skyline GTR, all you do, type in 10592. That is 10592. Ross the Boss here with some green light collectibles. Ramikam Auctions, check this out. It's a 1969 Ford Mustang Suite. 
Sweet ride. Love the silver stripes. Silver interior. Sweet rubber tires. Got to love this. It's also a limited edition. All right. You got to love this if you want it for your collection. It's real simple. All you do is uh, type the number 10041 in the chat below. And that's number 10041. Do 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 Abbey Road, baby! Look at that album cover, Beatles! Album cover diecast collectible from Corgi! Yeah, baby! Now pay attention. This is a gorgeous London cab. Now I have spent a lot of times in a London cab. I always went to London when I'm on working on television, and this is what a London cab looks like. And on Abbey Road looks like this Abbey Road with the iconic Beatles crossing the crosswalk. There it is. Get it now. My goodness, if you're a fan of the Beatles like I am, you should get this now. How do you get it? Type in the number 10096. 10096. All righty, Mopar lovers, check this out. Auto World Hemmings Muscle Machines. It's got the Hemi Heritage then and now package. It's pretty cool. <laughs> From track pack to red eye. You got to love it. All right, this is a pretty cool casting from Auto World. Very simple. It's really awesome. This just came in. These guys are brand new. Uh, so this is a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT that they made. It's really killer casting. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. It's in a dark green uh, poly. Awesome. The card is nice. All right. So there you go. If you want to get them, uh, we do have a stock of few of them, but they are running out. and They're going fast. So if you want to get one, get them now. It's number 10268. And just put that in the chat below. That's 10268. Okay, so here we have another one from the Minecraft series. This is number three out of six. Uh, let's see. I just put in the one I did before. Oh, the zombie is the one I did before. This is the skeleton. I think I said in the other video as well, it almost looks like it's put together with like Legos. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Cards in great shape. If you'd like this one for your collection, just go down in those comments and type in 10531. That is 10531. Green light, all terrain, 
2017 Chevrolet Silverado Rally 2 Beauty 2017 Chevrolet Silverado Rally 2 You want this truck? Type the number 60576 Type this number in the chat below 60576 Green Light Collectible Tokyo Torque Series 7 2018 Nissan Titan XD Pro Beautiful Nissan Look at that beauty You want this car? Just type the number 13704 13704 Ladies and gentlemen, check out the Miho exclusive Johnny Lightning Only 2400 of this one made It is the 1999 Ford F450 tow truck Look at this beauty, look at this beauty. Add this to your collection today. Just type in 27045 into the chat. That is 27045. Alrighty, here we have another little fun one. The Combat Ambulances, Weiss Ice Teaser. There on the side, those bright blue rims. Have the uh, blue backing on the back and the bumper and on the front and the grill. This is from the Carbonated Cruiser Series. This is number five of five. Combat Ambulance. Add this one to your collection today. Just go down to the comments. Type in 10482. 10482. Green Light. Commemorating the 102nd running of the Indy 500 on May 27th, 2010. What a killer 2018 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Look at the Indy logo on the side. What a fantastic commemorative green light Indy 500. Pick it up now. Type in the number 60539. That's 60539. All right, Johnny Lightning Classic Gold Collection. This is the Corvette Stingray. And this is a 1965 Chevy Corvette Stingray with a hard top. Pretty awesome looking. This is in tuxedo black. All right. Got to love it. One of the hardest paint coats, I guess, to paint because it shows every detail in it. So this is one of uh, 3,008. Take a look all the way around. It's pretty cool looking. All right. All right. This is, again, of the release two. It just came out. This is version eight, release two. Uh, and if you want to get this, is number three of the series. There's six cars in the set. If you want to get this one, very simply take the number 10274 and put it in the chat below. That's 10274. Ooh, look at this beauty here. 1969 Camaro SS. We have the Goodyear logo on the side door there. This is number three out of five of the Hot Wheel Roadsters series check it out check it out cards in excellent condition look at that beauty you got the stripes going over the trunk down the hood beautiful beautiful casting on this car this one can be yours guys all you have to do is go down in the comments type in one zero four four eight that is one zero four four eight for this 69 camaro ss convertible beautiful beautiful car all right, well, look what we have here. This is a cool one, 50th anniversary. It is the Sky Show Rig Fire Patrol. Here we go. Let me get a little bit close. Got a lot of chrome going on there. Of course, you got the plane. Of course, you have uh, 68 there on the side for 1968 when Hot Wheels began. Don't think I can show you the bottom of that. No, I can't. It does have the uh, detachable trailer. Cool little casting, cool little casting. If you'd like this one, all you have to do down the bottom, type in 10623. That is 10623. All righty, let's check this one out. Lots to say on this one. Johnny Lightning, Demolition Derby from the Street Freaks series. This is number four, the 1990 Ford LTT Crown Victoria. Fire breathing red monster. This one is version B. I've mentioned before the really only difference is the schematics of the paint. You even have the uh, Jaws theme going on up front there on that front grill. Limited edition, one of 2000. This one can be yours. Just go ahead and type in 10550. 10550. 
Hey there, all my diecast fans. Krista here. Check this one out, Johnny Lightning. This one's celebrating also the 50 years. The Toe and Go series. I just love these. These are so cool. This one is a limited edition, one of 4,000, with that claret red Jeep Cherokee XJ down there. This one here is pulling the world's best barbecue food truck in the back. And I'm going to try to show you a little bit going on on this one here. Uh, you get the, the propane tanks in the front, the AC, the vent, a little hitch. There we go. This one is, uh, it is the version A of the release one. Um, on the back of these, you can see it does show that for each one of these releases, they came in a version A and a version B. Um, and on the back of each package there, as you can see, it shows you right there. It shows you uh, the two different versions of each release. So it's a really, really cool, really, really cool. I'm going to put a few of these up on Stream Store here. Uh, really cool little packaging, really cool release. I just, I, I really, really like these little uh, Toe and Go series. Okay, so if you'd like to add this one to your collection, very simple. All you do is type in 10397. That's 10397 for this Johnny Lightning Toe and Go series version A limited edition, one of 4,000. Again, that's number 10397. Green Light Collectible Hobby 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 Exclusive United States Postal Service 70 Plymouth Hemi Kuda Beautiful car You want this car just type the number now The number is 13694 13694 Alrighty check out from the car culture the Japan history Dorics, here we go, 5 out of 5, metal on metal folks, real riders, 68, Mazda Cosmo Sport, check it out, check it out, here we go, the underneath, 1968 Cosmo Sport, metal on metal, real riders, if you'd like this beauty, all you have to do down in the comments, type in 10687, that is 10687. Hey there, check this matchbox out. Little smart cabrio. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. These are actually manufactured, I believe, by Mercedes. Metal Dave was just telling me that uh, the driver's compartment is actually surrounded and stronger than, than, a, than a race car. Which, then I said, well, they probably would have to be. But <laughs> anyway, that's a cute little one, huh? Metro Rules Smart Cabrio. Go ahead and type in 106. Three two. Whoops. That is one zero six three two. All right, my friends, check out this M two for eighteen mags. Put a little, put on a little class. <laughs> there we go. Check it out. Check it out. Nineteen sixty eight Mercury Cougar R code. There we go. Got the chrome grill, split grill. The ET logo in the back. Chrome bumper. Nice looking casting. If you'd like this one, all you have to do, go down in the comments. Type in 10639. 10639. Okay, here's another special one, my friend, from Greenlight, the Super Duty Truck Series 1. This one has the opening rear door. They always tell you it has a little extra going on there that we have in the back. I guess that does open up. Metal on metal. Real rubber. Here we go. And she is a Chase. Limited edition Chase. 2017 International Workstar Tanker. Workstar Tanker. If you'd like this one, just go down in the comments. 10501. It's just that simple. Type in 10501. Hey guys, it's Krista from Diecast TV. Check this one out. This one here has so much going on. We have a green light the from the Hitch and Toe series, the Krispy Kreme Donuts, which is the 1968 Chevy C10, then with a concession trailer on the back. This even has an adjustable trailer jack with the hitch. Uh, you can see you have the Krispy Kreme um, logos on the hood. And then you have the AC vents and the other vents up on top of the trailer. You even have the little uh, 
propane tanks there. Check that out. You can see the front of that C10 right there. Let's move this. Then you have that concession trailer. It has a little door on the side. And then it even has the little, uh, I guess you'd call it a little serving door in the back for those delicious crispy cream donuts. Making me hungry now. All right, so if you guys want to add this one to your collection, you just go down to the chat section, type in 10367. That is 10367 for this green light limited edition, edition from the Hitch and Toe series. I don't think I showed you the back there. There you go. There's apparently four in this series. This is one of the four. And again, as you can see right there, it says includes the adjustable trailer jack. There we go. So if you'd like this one, just go ahead down in the chat. Number on this very, very hard to grab limited edition on this one is 10367. You just go type that in, 10367. Well, look at here. Isn't she a pretty one? 1971 Plymouth Barracuda by Racing Champions Mint. Limited edition, one of only 2,000, folks. Pay attention. Version B, release number three. 1971 Plymouth Barracuda. Lots of value here, folks. Lots of value. Take a peek, take a peek. I'm pricing this one really right. Scoop it up, scoop it up. All you have to do, 10491. You know what to do down in the comments. Just type in 10491. Well, isn't this one pretty from Hot Wheels? The Hot Wheels Exotic Series number one out of ten. The 17 a Lamborghini Urus. Take a peek. Look at that, folks. Bright, bright yellow finish on there. Got Urus in the back for the uh, plate. There we go. Cards in excellent condition. If you'd like this Lambo in your collection today, just go down in the comments. 10471. 10471. Ross the Boss here. Green Light Collectibles. You gotta love this. Kings of Crunch, Series 4. 1972 Chevrolet C20, the Big Bear. All in yellow, dressed up to the nines. You gotta love those wheels. Check out that suspension. If you want to get this, and I know you might, you want to, all you have to do is just easily type in the number 10011 in the comment section. That's 10011. Johnny, 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 Johnny Lightning, Street Freaks, blacked out. All right, check out this blacked out. It's pretty awesome. They always, I've seen a lot of blacked outs, and they've always been pretty cool. And this one, of course, is also cool. Take a look. It's a limited edition. It's one of 2,000. This is a 1976 Chevy G20 cargo van. <laughs> you got to love it. Take a close look. All right, it's the black and the white, almost tuxedo style. White pipes, white trim. It's midnight black. Pretty awesome, blacked out. If you want to get this one, it's very simple. All you do is take the number 10186, put that in the chat below, and it's yours. So that's number 10186. Ross the Boss here with some Hot Wheels action. Check it out. A little JDM beauty. Mazda RX-7. It's from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. Gotta like it. Look at them gold wheels. Pretty cool. It's got a little silver action on top with a black stripe. Love it. Coney, it is fast. I know that rotor engine will kick up some steam, that's for sure. And if you want it for your collection, very simply, type the number 10032 in the comment section below. That's number 10032. All right, who's the Captain America fans? This series is 8 of 8. This is number 8. I want to point out something here on this. This is the Quamby. There's a red skull on there. And there is an actual red skull on the side. There we go. Um, I do want to point out that on this card, all these little marks you're seeing are actually part of the card. They are not a defect. They are actually part of the graphics on the card. So if you'd like the Quamby, just go ahead and type in 10613. 10613. Hey, guys. It's Krista from DieCast TV. Check out what I have for you today. 
It is a Hummer H2, the Camouflage Edition. Actually, this one looks like it's, it's a little bit lifted here going on. Probably like an 0405, doesn't have the specific year on here. But here we go. Check out the front. And you see what I'm saying on the wheel space on that? It does look like it's lifted on some oversized rubber all the way around. So if you guys would like to add this one to your collection, all you have to do is type in number 10358 in the chat. Again, down in the chat for this Hummer, the Camouflage Edition, just type in 10358. All right, my friends, there's a lot to say about this M2 piece, of course. As you can see, it's a hobby exclusive, and it's a Moon Eyes. Limited production, one of 3,000. That's it. Real low number, one of 3,000 worldwide. You got the Liquid Gold 1970 Nissan Fair Lady Z 432. Take a peek. I love these collector boxes because on M2, they have... You can see all the way around, these have these little windows in the front and the back. You can see all the detailing that they put into these. There we go. She's the 1970 Nissan Fair Lady Z432 Moon Eyes. Limited production, one of 3,000. Scoop this one up by typing in 10598. 10598. Hey there, where's all my square body fans? Here we have the 1973 Chevrolet Cheyenne 10, good old square body, rubber on rubber, metal on metal. There we go, real chrome bumpers, front and back, separate display can, uh, separate display stand inside there we go all right if you'd like this one 10696 just go ahead down in the comments type in 10696 ah the elite transport from maestro design who, who likes volkswagens look at that beetle cabriolet they are being pulled by the international durastar flatbed love the detail on this that is one fantastic transport get it now Type in the item number 09012-09012. Sam Walton's pickup truck, 1979 Ford F-150. Look at the Walmart on the tires, all written out there for you. Real riders, even a place where his dog went. That's Sam Walton's truck if you want to pick up this item. Just all you have to do is type in 60506 and it's yours. Well, look at, look at what we have here. Sweet ride. All right, let's take a look. Let's describe it a little bit. Okay, so we got a Racing Champions Mint. It's pretty cool. It's a limited edition, one of 2,000. Also very cool. It's metal body, metal chassis. Cool, cool, cool. Three cools. That's good. 1971 Plymouth Barracuda. To top it all off, it is... Alrighty, hey there folks. This one here I just checked the back of. We have a uh, copyright on a 1997, so about 14 years old. Card's in great shape. We have the T-Bird Stalker, collected number 857. Take a peek, take a peek. It says Extreme. Boy, I gotta get better glasses. Extreme Comp Pump, I think it says on there. I can't make that out on the side. <laughs> Maybe your eyes are better than mine. Fill me in when it, it arrives at your house. All right. So if you'd like this one, all you do is go down, type in 10525. That is 10525. You just, very simple, just go down, type that in the comments, and we get it right out to you. And here we have number two in this series that I'm putting up on Stream Store today. It's the 32 Ford. Take a look at that beauty. Here we go. If you'd like this one for your collection, just type in 10485, 10485.
Johnny Lightning Copo Muscle, Chevy Copo Muscle. That's pretty cool. Muscle Cars USA. This is a metal on metal. Pretty, pretty awesome. If you are a Chevy lover and you love the Camaros, you will definitely like this one. 1968 Copo Chevy Camaro RSSS. In Matador Red, for that matter. Oops. In Matador Red. Let's take a close look at this. Pretty nice. The front end is just amazing. Okay. Pretty cool. Looks like the hood gives it an open up. Rubber tires. Rear end is nice. Pretty cool. No rust. <laughs> you got to love that. This is version B. So this is the alternate color. I will have the other color also in the stream shop. So keep uh, hunting. You, you'll see them there. If you want to get this one. Claim it. 10287 and it's yours. Okay, that's it. That's the number 10287. M2s are in the house. Fanta. Fantastically flavorful. <laughs> you gotta love that. Tastes so good. You gotta like it. It is the Fanta 1969F100 Ranger truck. You gotta love it. Ford. Beauty. Take a close look. Let's take a look. It's awesome. All the way through. Pretty cool. Drink Fanta. There you go. Pretty cool. The Fanta grape. I remember that when I was a kid. Gotta love it. If you want to get this for your collection, it's pretty cool. We have them in now. They're brand new. And, you know, you see them going around. If you didn't find one in uh, when you're hunting, now's the time to get them. All you have to do is take the number 10202. Put it down in the chat. And it's yours. So that's 10202. Pretty cool things from M2 Machines have arrived. This is the Autolift 2-pack. Pretty cool. A 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS 350. It's pretty cool. Uh, they're both both the same car except different uh, styles. Pretty nice. Different colors. Let's take a close look at the front end. Pretty nice. Look at that. Let's take a look at that. It's pretty cool. It's on that auto lift, which is really cool. So if you do like a diorama, it's pretty nice to have in the in the set. If you do collect that kind of thing, you want to get this one. If you're a Camaro guy, you want to get this one. It's pretty awesome. The, the castings are very good. They're very clear, very concise. And I love them. If you want to get this, very simple. Take the number 10258. Put it in the chat below. And it's yours. You claim it. So that's that's 10258. Hey there, all my diecast fans. Here we have another of the Johnny Lightning commemorative 50-year Tow and Go series, limited edition, one of 4,000. Now, I have another one, if you are lucky enough to pop it up on the stream store here. This is, we, I had already put up version A. This is version B, okay? So each one of these series, when they released them, they did a series A and a series B. For example, this is the series B with that Jeep Cherokee XJ in the Dover Gray pulling that Lark's concession food truck, which is making me so hungry right now because I would love everything that's on there. I would love a fried cookie and a corn dog and a, an Italian ice and a funnel cake. Ooh, funnel cake. Yum. So anyway, this one here is the B version. The A version is also a Jeep Cherokee, only it's in the uh, red and it's pulling the barbecue food truck. Okay. So this one here can be yours. All you have to do is type in number 10399. Again, that is 10399. All right, my hippie-loving friends, and this one is from the Hippie series, the Hippie Mobiles. It says, funky speed on the side, on the hood. Got a little split window action back there on this Corvette. This is the 63. There we go. Clock to number 090. This is also a 2001 20-year-old casting. There we go. If you'd like this one, just go ahead, type in 10686. One zero six eight six. Okay, and here we have another from the Art Cars, number 10 out of 10. Last one I put up was, I believe, the red. This is the bright blue. Your 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. Take a peek there of everything we got going on. This one has the yellow in front with, I guess you can call those purple in the back there. This is the Art Cars, the 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. If you'd like this one, all you do is go down in the comments. Super simple. Just type in 10499. 10499. Hey, check this one out, folks. 
from year 2000, year 2000, pay attention, first edition, we have the Holden, number 21 of 38, 36, 36 cars, there we go, lots of detail graphics on this one, I wish my camera would focus a little bit better, you could see, here we go, we get that big wing in the back. Lots of says awesome. All right. If you'd like this 2000 first edition on its way to you today, just down in the comments, type in 10475. 10475. Check out this Unimog, Mercedes Benz Unimog 158 on the blue card. In fact, it's a brown back. Check out the back. Look at that. Collector number 158. The most iconic. It's a black wall wheels. Basic wheels on that one from the Castro, Ca Castro Research Team. Hey, pick it up right now. Type in the number 60601. 60601. Hey, Diecast Buddies, Krista here. Check this one out. This is another one of those uh, specialty bonus billboard Johnny Lightning Yesterday and Today collections. This one here is the 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. And we pull that little tab. And the 01 Volkswagen New Beetle. If you'd like to add this one to your collection, this one's going to be number 10388. That's all you have to do is type in 10388. Again, it's the Johnny Lightning yesterday and today. Um, has the both of the die casts are in there. Uh, both of the castings. One is the 01 new Volkswagen Beetle. And then let me slide it back. Let me slide it back. I like playing with these little billboards. And then the 1964 Volkswagen Beetle. So if you'd like this one on the way to your collection today, you just go down there. It's as simple as that. Type in 10388. 10388. Green light, all terrain, 2018 Nissan Titan XD. Look at this beauty. 2018 Nissan Titan. You want this truck? Just type the number 60575. Type the number now. 60575. Uh hey, Ross the Boss here, talking about trucks. That's right, and Patina. Check this one out. Pretty cool custom Ford truck. Pretty awesome, 56. It's got, you know, it's got a little hood scoop in there. Beauty. All the way around, nice patina on this bad boy. Wouldn't mind having a real one myself. This is from the Hot Wheels, of course, Hot Truck Series. That's number two of ten. And if you want to get that to complete your set, it's very simple. All you got to do is take the number 10120, put that in the chat below, and it's yours. So 10120. And here we have a really cool little casting. We have the Beatles Yellow Submarine. This one came out in 2018, so it does. it is stamped right over here with the 50th commemorative edition for Hot Wheels. And it's out of the Hot Wheels Screen Time series. This is number 6 out of 10. The Beatles Yellow Submarine has little wheels underneath there tucked in the bottom. Check out the top. There we go. I'd like to add this one to your collection. All you have to do is go down in the comments. Make sure you're registered and type in number 10429. That's 10429. Ross the Boss here. M2. Pretty cool. MP equipped. Check it out. Inch, inch pincher. You got to love it. Instant power on this VW. It's a 1960 VW delivery van. USA model. Take a look all the way through. Let's take a look at the front end. It's pretty awesome. Okay, it's all nicely detailed. The M2s are very good for the detail. Love the white and orange. And they come out with a set of these. There's three of them. If you want to go through the shop itself, you can see them all. You can see how it's limited production. 6,000 pieces were made worldwide, and that's an actual number. So it's the truth, and that one is pretty cool. So it's one of 6,000. It's a premier edition, so it's all got all the good stuff like rubber wheels, metal on metal. All that, that uh, the goodness of M2 machines. If you want to get this, you want to put it in your collection, I don't blame you. It's a good idea. Take the number 10322, put it in the chat below, and it's yours. So that's exactly it. Do it now. And if you put it and you didn't get an invoice, guess what? Somebody's already bought it ahead of you. So just make sure you get it right now. Get it now. 10322. Hot Wheels Premium Japanese Historics Car Culture brings you this awesome 1985 
Honda City Turbo. It's all orange with number 11 on the side. Lamborghinis look out, these little boys with some nitrous can pass you on by. This is definitely a JDM Lovers Collector. I would pick this thing up, and all you have to do is type 60679 in the chat. That's 60679 in the chat. Get it before it's gone. Hey there, all my diecast fans. Look what we have here. We have a lot going on from M2. This is the 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner 440 with the good old six-pack going on. This one is out of the series of wide boots. That was re in reference to the wide tires. They're about one-third wider than your regular tires produced for regular cars on the road versus race cars. Again, from Goodyear. This one here on this Plymouth, we have a metal-on-metal. Metal. We have real chrome bumpers. And we have real rubber tires. There you go. Take a look. Look at that beauty. Yeah, you see the chrome bumpers. Take a look from up top. Package is in excellent condition as new. And there's a look at the back. Here we go. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? Okay, so if you'd like to add this one to your collection, super simple. Down in the comments, all you have to do is type in 10425. That's 10425. Of course, make sure you're registered with diecasttv.com so we know who to invoice to. So if you'd like this one for your collection, that's all you have to do. Type in 10425 for this 1969 Plymouth Beauty. Well, here's a fun one, folks. Hot Wheels, the Purple Passion from the Monster Series. Got the uh, googly eye flames going down the side. And a uh, little monster googly eyes up on the top. <laughs> That's a fun one. That's a fun one. Okay, if you like this one for your collection, just go in and type 10480. That is 10480. Well, hello. Where's my Jeep fans? Here we have Auto World. Out of the six in this series, this is the only sport utility. It is the 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sport. This one is sitting on rubber tires. Limited edition, as you can see right there, one of 10,240. Uh, this, these now in this series come in version A, version B. This is the version B, which is the Gobi Beige, and I am going to be having the other one also in Stream Store, which is the Chief Blue. If you'd like to add this one to your collection, you just simply type in 10411. That is 10411 if you'd like this Auto World 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sport. That is a long name. <laughs> Again, you just type in 10411. Hey there, folks. Well, this will bring back memories from Nickelodeon, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Leonardo's car. Actually, it's not a bad-looking car. It even includes the uh, shelf for the hatchback. <laughs> there we go. There was five in this series, one for each of the turtles, and then the shredder. Okay, if you'd like this one, all you have to do, type in 10636. That is 10636. Ross the Boss here, Johnny Lightning Off-Road Series, Me Joe Exclusive, gotta love this. Yes, they made one of 4,800, but this is 2%, so this one actually is one of 96, you'll love this. White wheels, white everything, gotta love it. If you want it, just type in the item number 10003, that's item number 10003. All right, guys, here we go. This is the Captain America series. This is number one of eight. I do have others of the series. I think I might actually have the whole series scattered out through Stream Store. This is the 1940s Ford Coupe. There we go. You have a shield up on top there. Insignia on the side. Dual split window in the back. There we go. If you'd like this one, just go ahead and type in 10615. That's 10615. Ross is in the house, and he's got some Johnnies. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny blacked out. Street Freaks, 
blacked out of that uh, Street Freaks. This is, uh, of course, the release 2 version A this time. Uh, we do have version uh, B. If you are looking, just keep looking in the chat. You'll find it. It's there. And this is a 1976 Chevy G20 van. A pretty cool uh, cargo van. It reminds me of my childhood days when uh, I used to play baseball for a team called the Midnight Truckers Van Club. And they had all kinds of these. So these are pretty cool. This is a limited to one in 2000. This really is a blacked out, blacked out. I believe the it's like almost chrome smoked on there. It's pretty cool. It's got rubber tires. Pretty awesome all the way through. A great looking van. Great looking piece. If you want to get it for your collection, it's brand spanking new. It just came out. And you can get it today. 10187 is the number. Just put it in the chat and it's yours. So that's number 10187. Hey folks, here we have produced by Hot Wheels from the Star Wars collection. This is number six of eight, Luke Skywalker and Yoda's Boulevard Bruiser. Check it out, check it out. Look at those side pipes. Look at the top. Card is in excellent condition. If you'd like this one for your collection, just go down in the comments, type in 10543. That is 10543. Okay, and how cool is this one? Walmart exclusive, Monster Jam has the holograph on there for the authenticity. <laughs> I say that right. Uh, so this is Fire and Ice. There's two out of the fire, three on the ice in this series. This is the special edition Soldier Fortune. If you flip it around back here, you can see you had the Grave Digger, Monster Mutt for the fire, and then the ice, you had the Alien Invasion, Blue Thunder, and then, of course, right here, the Soldier Fortune. This is a really, really cool 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 i like this one look at that all jacked up all right if you'd like this one just go down to the comments type in one zero six two nine one zero six two nine Hey there, folks. Check this one out. Presented by Greenlight, we have the 102nd Indy 500 official car. Presented by Pengrade, limited edition, die-cast metal-on-metal chassis. We have the 2018 Chevrolet Camaro SS. You like this one? You want it sent to you? Just go down in the comments. Type in 10431 for this beautiful Chevy Camaro SS, limited edition, Hobby Hobby Exclusive, 10431. Hey there, my diecast friends. Here we have a 21-year-old card in perfect condition. Check it out. Chevy Pro Stalker Truck. There we go. Got the little wheelie thing in the back there going on in chrome. All the sponsorship stickers along the side, which... Wish my eyes were good enough to read all those, but <laughs> clearly there's Hot Wheels on there, of course. So, 2000 First Edition Chevy Pro Stock Truck. All you have to do if you want this on the way to you is type in 10620. 10620. Hey there, folks. Krista here. Check out this Johnny Lightning Limited Edition, one of 20.